A beautiful night in downtown LA, and what a night for the Lakers and their fans as a new star has arrived. And throughout the storied franchise of the Los Angeles Lakers, it has featured some of the NBA's all-time legends, including MVPs, champions, Hall of Famers, and the latest legend to wear purple and gold makes his home debut tonight. LeBron James and the Lakers at the Staples Center. He played a lot of minutes. He'll play more minutes with this Laker team than he did for the Golden State Warriors, helping win two titles. Ingram, nice turnaround jumper. To me, he's going to be a big-time scorer in this league. And playing with LeBron only makes him better. But he's got to be aggressive every time he's on the floor. No help defense there, and Harden easily gets to the basket for his first bucket. The veteran Rondo starting at the point guard is James Harden. A long three-pointer and a smile as he backtracks. Ingram trying to use his length on Harden. Nice pass to Green in the corner. That's a three. Hart gets up into Harden. Anthony straight on three. That's good. Carmelo Anthony in the first game. Had just nine points on three of ten shooting, but knocks down his first shot tonight. As Harden goes to the basket and banks it home. Kuzma, catch and shoot. Harden gets a little room, and this time it goes down. James Harden, his second three-pointer. He's got 12 points here in the first half. Harden blows past James and throws it down. Harden, nobody near him, sets all the time and nails the three-pointer. 23 first half points for Harden. Harden makes his move, kicks it out. P.J. Tucker. And Tucker gets his first points. Harden using Capella. Now gets inside, throws it up. Capella with a left hand. Took a shot in the mouth as well. He and Harden are so good together. Again, Ingram isolated with James Harden. Harden blows past him, and no help at all. James Harden, an easy layup. He's got 25. Too many times a night we've seen direct line drives by the Houston perimeter players. Now McGee picks up Harden, steps back, open three, got it! James Harden from downtown, he's got 28. That's unfair for a seven-foot center to have to switch and try to guard James Harden in isolation. Ball picks up Harden. Shot clock at five. Corner to Tucker, open three. P.J. Tucker hits a big three-pointer, and the Rockets go up five. Shot clock at five. Harden steps back, puts up a three. It goes, bounces and drops through. James Harden from downtown, and the Rockets have some breathing room. Again, Harden letting it go down. Drives into the lane, running layup, banks it home. Big buckets for James Harden. A number of punches thrown and players ejected. And LeBron's James's home debut spoiled by the Houston Rockets. A wild bunch of events here at the Staples Center on opening night. The home opener for the Lakers ends in defeat. Of course, the story for tomorrow. The NBA will take a look at the tape, will talk to the players, and then decide on the fate of the players who threw punches. James Harden again, 36 points, 13 of them here in the fourth. He's with Doris. It's magnificent down the stretch, but James, a very competitive game turned ugly. Can you give us some perspective from somebody who was between the lines of why it got so out of hand so quickly? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, it escalated really, really quick, but uh, besides that, I'm happy we got our first win. Um, you know, we'll handle or they'll handle that. How it's supposed to be handled for us as a basketball club. Coming to L.A. on the road to get our first win is uh, it's pretty cool. Can you talk about the effort you got from P.J. Tucker? Because when action went back in, he makes a three. Yeah. And what you asked of him on the defensive end? Time to lock in. You know, time to lock in and get stops when we need to. Uh, you know, I always got trust in my guys to, to make the make the big plays, make the big shots. And just like any other time, I'm going to pass it to P.J. He knocked down a big shot for us. Down the stretch, as usual, you take over. Can you just talk about what you're thinking as the game is unfolding and possessions are important? Winning time. <laughs> Winning time. And I'm going to live with the shots that I take just because I work on them every single day. So, uh, you know, I shoot them, I make them, and uh, we move on. Thank you, James. Thank you, Doris. Inside the right hand, very nicely done by Marcin Gortat. The Clippers get the first score of the ball game.
like trying to establish him early, maybe even get Capella in a little bit of foul trouble to start without Chris Paul. Be interesting to see how deep D'Antoni goes in his lineup in his rotation. And there's Harden doing the Harden things. Doc Rivers said before the game, he said, everybody says, don't you guys know you can't let him go left? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, how do you stop him from going left? People have been trying that throughout his career. That one is rejected by Capella. James Harden's one of the best players I've ever seen at creating contact and playing off of it or drawing fouls. Boy, Capella the block at one end and runs the court the other way to give the Rockets a 4-2 lead. Bradley battling with Harris, gets free. That's when Harden's a problem. Harden wow. goes all the way to the goal. The lob inside, tapped home nicely by Capella. Loose. Lost the handle, but... Montrez found the handle. Look at this by nine. Capella. Oh, that big man can run the court, wow. can't he? That's something. Capella with the stuff. See, that's the one thing about Harden. You see the numbers and you think he just jacks it every time, but he does make the right play most of the time. Harden. Basket counts and he's fouled. So Harden can just absolutely take over a game. Here comes Harden. Rifles it into the corner to Ennis. Bingo! Yeah, that's why he's out there. Now he can make the three. Harden picked up by Gallo on the switch. Pretty good job by Gallinari. Pretty good job by Harden. Active hands. Capella in traffic despite the giant paw of Mojanovic in his face. Gets the bucket to go. Clippers still by one. Harden fly to the basket and score. He has 14. Harden will work. See, that's a shot I want. I don't care that it went in. No, absolutely agree. That. Absolutely agree. I mean, Harris played just fine. Oh, Harden seems like going to just eclipse all of your rookie <laughs> records, obviously. <laughs> There's the lob and the tap home. That's the eighth assist for Harden. Harden lobs it again. Once he's in there, he's either scoring it himself, you're either fouling him, or he's throwing it up to Capella. The Rockets have been especially susceptible to points in the paint, allowing the most in the NBA to their opponents. 73 through those first two games, already giving the Clippers 36 tonight, 32 in that first half. The Clippers in the first half, really great at finding that guy, cutting to the basket. But, Ralph, it looks like the defense needs to step up here in the second half. Clippers by four. Bradley tried to draw the charge, doesn't get it. Anthony for three. Bingo. Carmelo Anthony throws down the long ball. Plenty of time. Hard over the top to Clint. Hook shot over Luke. So they got to stop after the timeout. A couple of baskets as well. Nice move by Hard. Dunk for Capella. <laughs> Harden just sees the entire floor. He's got two Clippers now trying to guard him, and yet he's still able to get by them and drop a nice alley-oop. Avery Bradley's out there to try to check James Harden. Runner scores. Good luck. Harden one-on-one -on -one against the rookie. Gets by him. He goes back to Clint. It's an easy game for James Harden, isn't it? Big three for Green, keeping the Rockets in it. Get a stop, get a score. One step at a time. Hard steps back. Got it! Even better when that score is a three. Hard trying to do it all. 27 and 14 dimes. With 90 seconds or thereabouts to go, Matt, you're in to the Rockets, you're in the territory where you need to stop every time down. Hard gets it back from Tucker. Resets, got fouled! He got fouled! Four point play on the way for James Harden. The door is still slightly open en route to a Rockets win here. What a shot by James. Make it a one possession game and he does. Timeout Clippers, 29 and a half to go in the fourth quarter. Can the Rockets pull it off? We'll find out. Four, Lou with three.
Shoots a long two. No, got to get it, got to get it. Eric Gordon got it. And now the Rockets call a timeout with 2.9. The Rockets are out of timeout, so they've got to get it inbounded. Hard. Fumbled it. They don't foul. Got it off for the tie. Missed it. Wild ending here in L.A. As the Rockets split the doubleheader, beating the Lakers, losing to the Clippers. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Utah Jazz. Harden to the basket for two. So Utah decided to stay with Capella to start the game and make James make a difficult layup. Donovan Mitchell with the pickup on Harden. James is really shooting. He's not shooting his free throws well, but he's shooting three better this year to start with. Now, he could have done either one, and he decided to pass it off. Capella shooting 62% from the field to start the season. Carmelo! There you go, Carmelo. Good play out of the timeout from Mike D'Antoni to get Carmelo a shot. And there's goaltending on Gobert. And they even ran a double teamer at James Harden, and James still blows by Gobert and gets to the backboard. And there's a basket. And so Melo looks like he's into the offense early tonight. That's five points. James steps back and hits. He's shooting over 40% now for the first time in his career from the three-point line, even this early in the season. James Harden, the two-pointer, 12 points. James puts it up, rattles it out, and gets the rebound. James walks it in, puts it up and in. Gobert had to stay with Clint Capella. So that lets James take his time in the paint, get the shot that he wants. James with a long range three. He could have stepped into that catch and shoot, but he didn't. He waited and he got his rhythm. James is a real good off the dribble rhythm shooter. James to the basket for two and one. Turnover by Utah to chance the Rockets. Get it down to single digits. Inside, and a good basket by Carter Williams. What a great pass from James Harden. The pass was everything right there. That little Harden picked up by Crowder. Crowder has four fouls. Can't hold it, gotta go with it. Yeah. Got it. And a good steal by Harden. He saw that coming all the way. Of course, Capella! And that draws a timeout from the Utah Jazz. Finally, the Toyota Center crowd with something to cheer about. Talking to some folks here with Chicago. Carter is the real deal. Cameron Payne, best known as Russell Westbrook's dance partner, misses the three, and then Ennis gets loose, and he has scored all five points for Houston. And that got deflected off the leg, scooped up by Parker, kicks it ahead to Payne. It's in turn stolen by Houston. Ennis open. How about that? And that's a shot that Mike D'Antoni wants his team to take. He wants to look at open threes in transition early in the shot clock. Carmelo, 28 points in the win last night. The people were really supporting him. And over the last four games, Melo averaging 21 points per. He's hit 15 of his last 29 threes, making 16 of his last 30. And his confidence is going sky high. I don't think Carmelo's ever played on a team where he's gotten so many wide open looks. Melo over Parker. Long two, though. He was trying to stay behind the three-point line with a little side dribble. James Harden 0 for 2. After missing the last three games with a hammy string. Avoids trouble and then throws the lock to Clint. <laughs> what a pass. What a great pass. Crossover, Levine drive. Good help by Clark. Stuffed him. Harden. Green. Whoa. Way up above the rim. Drops it off to Arnstein. 
mid-range two for Carmelo is up, and then he's got seven. You see how Hardenstein, when he got the ball in the paint, he was looking to pass. And that's, that's the right play when he's rolling like that, is he knows the Bulls are going to be dropping in on him, find an open shooter. Hello, small guy. Oh, hey. That's just easy basketball right there. Mouse in the house. Yeah, and Melo knew it right from the start, so he went right down to his block there and got it right where he wanted. Hard. Oh, what a nifty pass oh. that was. James doesn't have any points, but that pass right there, that should count for something. Hard to tackle Parker, and there's his first two of the game. Jim Boyle, the next Rockets assistant, is here, as is Sean Westbrook. Harden with the three, five in a row, shaking the rust off. Harden in the corner. Three straight baskets for James Harden, a pair of threes, and he appears to be just fine. Yeah, and he pointed at the bench, and the bench had a nice reaction back for him, so James just telling his fellas, hey, I'm good. Carmelo, the leaner, and one. Parker, the trailing defender, got him from behind. We'll step back. Field goal number six for Melo. He's got 13, and the Bulls, Fred Hoiberg, the mayor, will call for time. 7.28 to go in quarter number three. The quality of play here in this game in this third quarter has dropped down dramatically. And that's the unfortunate part of second nights of back-to-backs. Hard knocks down the three is third. He's got 13. James got the whole side of the court to himself. Got all that space in the paint for him. Going at Payne, gonna shoot the three. Got it. This is Houston's biggest lead. Ten straight Rockets points. Harden trying to add to it and does. 13 straight for Houston. Number 13's got 21, his fifth three. Houston's biggest lead and a timeout. Second straight night where the Rockets have been significantly better defensively in the third quarter. Love oh, and the finish. Oh, 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 Gerald Green. Getting up. That's the feeling that you get when you're playing cornhole for an extra hour tonight. <laughs> Carmelo with 15. See, that shot right there for Carmelo is what he's been doing his entire career, and it's a very high percentage shot for him. Ball keeping his dribble alive, kicks it back out to Carmelo. And he knocks it down. 17 on 8 for 12 shooting. Another efficient shooting and scoring game for Carmelo Anthony. Harden into the lane, and one. That's his bully ball right there. James got hit in the face. You can see him trying to shake that off, but he just goes right through the young fella. Banks it in off the glass. There's nothing you can do about that when you're trying to stop James Harden. You, you just can't. If you don't have enough weight to, to wall off against him, he's just going to put you in the basket. 24 for the beard. From Bankers Live Fieldhouse in downtown Indianapolis, AT&T Sportsnet presents Houston Rockets basketball. As tonight, the three and five Rockets, winners of their last two, begin a challenging two-week stretch against the seven and three Indiana Pacers, who've won three straights. Hard cuts back door. That was just as easy for Houston. Hard and open. Maybe a little bit of a moving screen by Tucker that wasn't called. Slightly. Slightly. And, and if you can get away with it, then it's a good screen. Yeah, why not? Harden thought about it. One on one with Oladipo. Shot clock winding down. Oh, he just shook him. Oh, and he hit the shot too. <laughs> and the, the fans behind us in the front row were calling for that step back the entire play, and they got it. Harden to Capella. Rockets are really getting whatever they want. James Harden is just slicing and dicing their defense. Hard in the corner. One on one again with Oladipo. Going to step into the corner. Going to shoot a very tough shot and buries it with the shot clock winding down. That could not have been defended any better. James Harden is just too good. Harden off the screen. Has hit three first half threes. Just get your hands up. I mean, he's just that good. He can get, it doesn't matter how big you are, he can get you off stride and then just challenge you. So Sabonis at that point has to back up and challenge late on the drive, on the jump shot. And Capella. And it's all set up by Harden. It's by Harden, and you've got to be definitive in what you're doing on, with Harden. 
And if you're going to take him, take him. If not, you got to get back to your man. Now it's Young guarding hard. Five seconds is the difference on the game and shot clock with the Pacers up five as we end the first half. And you just have to worry about the drive that you give him enough room to shoot the three. Love it up again and Capella. It's a, it's a tough play. Miles is, is trying to figure out how to react. It's a tough play. For Mike and Tony, Erica, and you and Chris know, what you get is a great offensive coach. Jeff Biz Bizdelic is one of the best defensive coaches in the business, and there would be an argument. It's part of the reason that this team has struggled early. And Green for three. And still a good, uh, hey, that, that was a good challenge by D.C. Just over 90 seconds to play. Oladipo takes the screen. He has Capella guarding him. Yeah, Capella's pretty good because he's long enough. Oladipo over Capella, and the game is tied at 87. And I thought he got fouled. Tucker for three in the corner. You can't lose P.J. Tucker in his favorite spot on the floor. Oladipo has the matchup again against Capella. That was the 14-3 by Houston. And now McDonovich. Should have run him off the three-point line. Oladipo! Another clutch three! Victor makes the three, but they were trying to run the Pacers off the, the three-point line. That's a heck of a shot. They've got Tucker hanging out in the corner. And now Hart run off the three-pointer. Hart another three. The three-point shooting of the Houston Rockets has been big here in the final minutes. And Oladipo lost it. Paul is fouled. I, I think James Harden, believe it or not, I believe James Harden got to the ball uh, as Victor thought he was going to get to the basket. And Victor was looking to see where else he could be able to make the next play. You can see right there underneath coming, right underneath, you'll see all of a sudden that ball come free because Harden got his hands on it. And Victor never was prepared for anybody from Houston to be in position to get their hands on the ball. On a depot, a long three. Got it! Boy, that thing was on line from the time in his hand. They got a foul. And they found James Harden. Oladipo rushes it up the floor, fires it up, and missed it, and that's going to be it. And the Houston Rockets have won three straight over Indiana, and they've won back-to-back -back years. Last year was a blowout 118-95 win. Tonight, the Pacers led by six heading into the fourth quarter, and they've lost their second game this year after leading after three quarters. They were 40-4 and four a year ago with a third quarter lead. On a windy and chilly 39 degree night in Oklahoma City, we welcome you to Chesapeake Energy Arena. The usual packed house better than 18,000 making their way in. It is the 344th consecutive setup. The NBA on TNT presented by State Farm. The Houston Rockets facing the Oklahoma City Thunder who have won six straight games. Rockets last ball, Capella on the lob from Harden. Rockets played this past Monday night at Indiana, an impressive win for Houston over the Pacers. Rockets did it down the stretch by hitting some big threes. P.J. Tucker did, James Ennis did, underplayed last night, winning in Cleveland. Ball's deflected out of bounds. It'll be Oklahoma City ball. Here comes George, one on two, gets it off, and fired up. Harden accelerates and scores. It counts. And the foul. We've talked about this before, Chris. He is the best or the quickest player I've ever seen. In and this terms is of slowing down, just decelerates. Yes. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Decelerating. Decelerates. Yes. No, decelerates. Great job by him and bearded one with the step back trait. Oklahoma City with a three-point lead. We're halfway through the first quarter. Hart got the step. He scores. Again, I hear everybody saying, oh, don't let him go left. Well, he, you didn't let him go left. He crossed you over right. This time, he crossed you over from the right and went left. Capella is blocked, kept alive. Was Tucker for three. Well, McAdoo made reference to the fact that even to this day, he felt that he started. Erlens Noel committed that last uh, foul. Oh, P.J. Tucker on fire from that right-hand corner. 
That's his third three. Three for three, all from the same spot. Power looking for the reverse and hits. So underrated inside. Finishing strong for his teammates. Guys, OKC getting a lot of coaching. Uh, Billy Donovan first spoke to the team. He gave a lot of specific eye contact to Dennis Schroeder about letting the offense run naturally and moving the ball. Then afterwards, all of the five guys on the court, Russell Westbrook called them to huddle around him, to which he continued to talk and speak specifically to Schroeder as well. All right, Russ Harden able to knock it down from the angle. So it's a 66-55 lead for Oklahoma City. Agrinas lost it Monday night against New Orleans. With Westbrook going down, he finished up and scored 16 of his 22 in the second half. James Harden had just returned, able to knock down a, a three. They are 9 for 31 from downtown. Harden gets it up. And it. On a military appreciation night brought to you by USAA, we welcome you to Spurs basketball at the AT&T Center on Ken's 5 tonight. Your San Antonio Spurs trying to get back to their winning ways are 6-4. and four. The Houston Rockets are a surprising 4-6. and six. Both teams coming off disappointing road losses. Grin comes up firing over Capella. Now sit down. Yeah, our guys move the ball tonight, Bill, and they're patient on the offensive end of the floor. I mean, you don't have to take a quick shot, move it around, throw, make make the white jerseys move around a little bit. You can get whatever you want. DJ Tucker, the one-time Texas star, former Big 12 player of the year, has become a three-point shooter. He's 45% from distance, and that's his 23rd made three this year. Harden sells that one and will get a pair of free throws. Oh, no. No. The shame of it. And you can see the disappointment. <laughs> that it didn't splash on his coat. Uh, we, we're, the old saying is we can't cry over spilt milk, right? <laughs> but what about a spilt beer? Definitely brings tears. And, and one as James Harden gets the benefit of the doubt there. And Quincy Pondexter doing a pretty nice job of guarding James Harden to Capella and just dropped it in. Spurs have turned it over nine times. The Rockets just three. I mentioned the Spurs only average 11 turnovers per game. James Harden. DeRozan to Marco and the three ball. DeRozan started that by faking like he was going to hand it off to Patty and found him found Marco wide open in the corner. And that pass, I'm surprised he got through. The Rock is trying to do a good job covering up the baseline pass. Harden is. That two was late to come out and close there, and Houston swings back on top, 48-47. Harden guarded. DeRozan. Tough fadeaway, and Harden got a piece of it. Punch right back to him. Not in time. And shot clock violation. Spurs by four. Yeah, LA wants to take on the leadership role and has done a great job. And last year he was phenomenal. Harden James James right into him and banks it in. The Spurs just have to not touch. White on the attack. Into the teeth of the defense. Got it knocked away. Saved by Capella. And here's Harden. Harden 17 to make it 19. James Harden. And that Spurs once. The 11-point lead has now trimmed to six. And James Harden. James Harden. Wow. That is James Harden. an offensive machine, even on a night where he hasn't been able to buy the three. One of 12. He's got 25. 96-87. Ten seconds to go. And Gordon inside to Capella. He'll dunk it with four There's seconds to go. And the Rockets, who are held to 80 points by Oklahoma City, only get 89 tonight. And the Spurs defense responds and holds Houston to 33% shooting. You know, one of them guys who always, you don't know, he's not a household name, but he always plays well against the Rockets. That's Thaddeus Young. Well, he's a household name. Georgia Tech. Well, from one corner of three, the other corner of three. 
Touchdown! The steal by Chris Paul is the kind of plays that the Rockets need to get themselves going. That's just two extra points that they normally wouldn't have had. There's another steal by Harden. And he's right behind him at number four. Rockets showing that energy, Clyde, that you wanted in your keys to the game. Great drop-off pass to Hartenstein. The Rockets off to a 10-3 start with a 7-0 run. Oladipo, Chris Paul takes it right out of his hands. Steal number three for Chris. Alley up at the basket. See, that's Rockets basketball. Great defense, getting it up in transition, letting the defense score points for the offense. Rockets are 7 of 10 from the field for 70%. Three-pointer by Harden. Rockets are now four for six behind the three-point line here in the first quarter. Say it again, Bill. Four for six. Oh, that sounds Ooh, so that nice. Sounds good. It's been a while. Well, the depot, pretty good defensive players, too. Down to Capella, who did a good job of coming down and going back up. Harden goes right between a couple of defenders. I think Harden went one on four on that possession. Four seconds, down to three, down to two. It's shooting time for Harden. And he got it. Just beat the buzzer. That's good to see a layup go in for James. He's only shooting 51% on layups this year. Harden had the three if he wanted it. Collison right up in Harden's face. Inside the Capella! Oh, yes! In your face! About halfway through the second quarter here in Houston. Harden hits it. Beer. Eight for 14 for Houston, 57% behind the arc. Shot clock at four seconds, down to three. It's Harden time, has to force one up and it went in. And when he gets hot, folks, that's the way it is. Oladipo steps back and misses. Rockets have really done a good job on Oladipo. He has only two points. Inside of Capella. Harden and Capella got their own act back together. Tucker for the three. Who are these guys? Boy, that's the Rockets that used to make shots. The Rockets have a lot of defense in their offense, and Harden is foul will shoot two. That brought the crowd up out of their seats. Larry Evans, good defense by Harden. And Clark, now Harden in the open court to T.J. Tucker. Puts up a three short. Good rebound by Clark, gets it outside. Harden takes very little time. And buries a three. Highest scoring first half this year by the Rockets. The previous was 66 in the Lakers. There's some teams around the league going to look at this stat and go, uh oh. What happened? <laughs> That's an oh. offensive explosion. Oh, from Delina Park. James Harden hits a three. 15 to 4 Houston run. And that was a heat check, and he's hot. James allows Oladipo to get right in his pocket. Oh, what a crossover. Back outside to Tucker. There you go. Really well executed ISO situation for Harden to create a wide open corner three. Harden gets around the center. Back out to Chris Paul. It gets a wide open look. Beautiful play and pass by Harden. 13 point advantage here in the third quarter by Indiana. Harden with a three and one. Harden gets a three. James Harden with his seventh three-pointer of the game. Five seconds again on the shot clock. It's been all Harden's basketball. He's got to finish when he's got it the whole 24, and he does. That's a 20th made three for the Rockets. First time they've made 20 in the game this season. Eric Gordon with another miss. Offensive rebound. Harden to the basket, and he's fouled. He'll shoot two. Jamal Murray and Gary Harris continue in the backcourt with Nikola Jokic. Paul Millsap coming off a season high. And Wancho Hernan Gomez up front.
Chris Paul, James Harden with Clint Capella averaging a double-double. P.J. Tucker is the defender and dirty work guy. And James Innes the third, shooting almost 40%. Inside, Capella has to back it out. Good rotation. Now Harden's on the roll. Innes for three, and he hits. Well, we talked about a while ago that inside out for the, the Nuggets. You need an inside kick to three, and that's all it was. A little penetration by Hart. Sean and standing still. Nice hedge out under to Capella, and Capella lays it in. So weak side defense has to get there quicker on Capella. Yeah, because he was already to the basket, and they just no one re reacted to that. They had Hart trapped a little bit. See, you, you come out, you get two, give them two threes and an easy dunk, and all of a sudden that big lead that you had down three now. Yep. Gary's on the run, and it's blocked by Capella. And Harden cherry picking at the other end. First bucket. You know, James Harden. When you ever started, you got to get a couple cherry picks. Here oh, you got to. While, right? Oh, you got to. You got to. <laughs> and he's been the king of it. Can't against a team that played as fast as Houston. You know, take three or four minutes to decide you want to play. You turn over on one end and give a dunk on the other end. Both rotation guys, I'm watching them, just, just took their time. Oh, Corner three. three. Watch out. Shots you got to make. Joker directed traffic and called for the cutter. And when the cutter came, Wancho had no one on him. And Harden throws it down. You know, Harden with his fifth point. Capella, Whoa! there it goes again. Oh! But there's a double screen and then a, a dribble handoff, and all you're trying to do is get Capella to the rim. Harden for three. See, Harden has not shot threes well, then he doesn't block out. Hey, Tucker. Harden's not shooting threes well. Paul Millsap keeps giving him the shot. He keeps missing. And then your guards on the outside has got to be rebounders also. Give up a second chance point. Three-pointer in the corner. Now Denver finds himself down five points. A silly foul. This time Joker is in the rotation. Now Lyles is out on Harden. Oh, nearly had it. Harden. And that's what his shot's been for the last couple of years, but has not hit it as much. And components away. So once again, a little confusion there. Well, they, they switched out, and, and listen, Paul Millsap was playing great on that high pick and roll, and since they've switched out, Capel's gotten two layups. Here, come underneath, lost it. Here, great pass. And and pass. Ennis lays it in. That angle and transition deep. You just can't fade on that hook shot. It, it, it's a tough shot anyway with a body on you. But by fading out, it makes it even tougher. Timeout, Denver. Nuggets need to D up and then score a lot. Harden. Harden lays it in. Paul was telling the official he's pushing off there, and then he let him get beat for the first time on that left side. Now Harden's going to have the ball in his hand every possession. And you're going to have to figure that out a couple yeah. times, right? Well, they talked about doing different things. Harden over the top. Three pointer is good. Now going under the screen, I'm not sure if he's doing different things. Jokic working his way in. Oh! Oh, Tucker got his hand on it. They strip it. Harden had just three points at halftime. 17 here in the second half. There he goes again. And he lays it in on the right. He just killed it. Monte Morris off the mark. Long lead pass. And hard to take a bow. Well, this is uh, this team is shaking, shaking heads, rolling eyes, and walking now. And we may see the first signs of depression. Yep. We welcome you to the Toyota Center, Houston, Texas. Marv Albert, Chris Weber, Ali LaForce as we get ready for the first of four regular season matchups between these two clubs, the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets. There's Harden, and he draws the foul. Two-point lead for the Warriors. For Harden to push the pace and take it in his hands to try to get the foul, but also facilitate and make sure he makes the play. Harden working on Rooney and gets it off. And hits 
from downtown. Oh, beautiful move by Hart. You know, last season, Chris, Houston 34 and 7 on their home court, tied with Toronto for the best home record in the NBA. And uh, turnover, and not a good looking one there. No, and, and yeah, that was Golden State's fault, but Houston kind of caused that by communicating and beat and being up on the play. Just like Houston caused that because it was no communication again by Golden State letting Capella run to the rim. Harden able to penetrate. Oh, wait. Send Harden to his right. That's what I hear every expert in every barbershop and airport say. Well, you saw that. He went to the right. And what happened? Finish strong. Shot clock to five. Harden got the step on Looney. Takes all the way. Seconds on the shot clock as Durant is called for a, a carry. Ah, that's the first carry call this year, Mark. Sorry to cut you off. Wow. Ninth turnover for Golden State. Oh, Harden from way downtown. Warriors shot 43% overall. Harden with another three pointer. And for Houston, it's their seventh three-point shot, seven of his 20 from downtown. This after Capella is able to put it down. Now, when you look around the NBA, these are two of the most well-respected, most thoughtful people, organizational people that Harden takes to the rim. And the onslaught continues to Houston. I hate being in these positions where I try to jump into the mind of players but having been there before again I've never been in a situation where the team had to suspend one of their own so number one that means he went way beyond whatever we want to say and take up for him because they decided in the locker room the second thing, as, as Hart is going to tell you he called glass you just wonder how this is going to play out but if I'm a Golden State fan I'll say listen we've won 73 we've won back to back we're looking for our three-peat Repco on Hart Catch and shoot. Gary Clark, who has been very impressive for the Rockets. He's playing hurt. There was a question whether he would play as a, an injured hit. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. And tonight, the Rockets taking on the Sacramento Kings. You can't turn it over against them. They are one of the fastest teams in the league. They're very athletic. The backcourt is young and fresh. Shot clock down to 10 seconds. Fox and Harden. Oh, Harden goes to the left, puts it up with the right. Oh, a little teaching moment by James Harden. The beard. If you reach, he will teach. That shot will not go. Up ahead to Ennis. Great run of the court. Boy, he's starting to settle in now. And that's going to be a steal by James and a foul by Fox. Is that where most of the mistakes are made? Defensively, not offensively when you're young? But as a coach, you hope so. <laughs> Harden puts it up and in. The beard. With the year roll step going the opposite way from the basket. That shouldn't fool anybody out on the floor for Sacramento. <laughs> Gary Clark. Oh, man. This kid, Gary Clark, came to Cincinnati four years ago as a center. Oh, backdoor pass by Capella to Harden. There's a switch. Yeah, Capella returning the favor for all the passes that he gets from James. He's clicking on all cylinders. I like it when their defense. Kind of, oh man! <laughs> Look at Capella, my fella. Alley <laughs> up. Forget it. Forget about it. Capella working him over. There's Harden all the way to the basket. Just comes out, but he'll shoot two. James Harden now number four in the NBA in scoring average, over 27 points a game. Well, you'd think the same thing with Capella. 
but he was able to slither inside for two. Harden right around Cauley Stein. No contest. Well, he let him go left. <laughs> the scouting report says we can go right. <laughs> Because Harden says, I'll just make up for it in the offense. Three is more than two. That's yes, correct. Sir. Block shot by Capella. That's the fourth block of the game for Clint to Charlie, go along with the double-double. Charlie Stein is having a tough night. Boy, he is. Andy Capella is working him over inside. Woo! If it was a fight, they'd stop it. Harden to the bucket, draws a foul. That's the third team foul on the Kings. Uh, he may have been in the shooting motion. Harden with a crossover. Takes it inside and puts it up for two. James Harden. Frustrated by Bielsa. Bielitsa is really having a hard time staying in front of James. Ooh. Oh, boy. Harden was out there about 25 feet away. Timeout Sacramento. Biggest lead of the game for Houston. Calvin <laughs> Murphy, Mike Newland, Calvin Murphy, Mike Dunleavy, Calvin Murphy, Allen Level. Ooh, that's a good one. Calvin Murphy has been with the Houston Rockets organization for 51 years. Eric Gordon hits a three. Harden with a three. That's a new season high for points now for the Houston Rockets. Well, the Houston Rockets will win again. The margin of victory in the last three games, 12 against Indiana, 10 against Denver and 21 against Golden State and tonight the Rockets with 20. Blake Griffin, alley oop to Drummond. Yeah, Drummond is really playing well. They've got it figured out of how to use his size. You know, Matt, if you look at the schedule, that's a great scoop by Harden. If you look at the schedule earlier this year, the Rockets played big teams and they struggled with big teams. Harden to the basket. Zaza with a miss. This Smith has played for 10 different teams in seven years. He's found a home in Detroit. He's been there for three years. He's been refining his game, too. He never was a really good outside shooter, so he couldn't stick here. But he's got tremendous speed. And he can finish. So can that guy. James Harden now. The Rockets on a 10-2 run. He had a three-year run there. At the end of the 80s. Well, Isaiah Thomas and Joe Dumars were special. Bill Lampier, Rick Mahorn. Ooh, how about the Mike 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 and microwave? Vinny, Vinny Johnson. Yeah. James Harden again with a layup. Nine points for James. Pass inside. Capella says return to sender. And he almost does it again. But he made Griffin change the shot. And now let's see if he's rewarded. Yes, he is. Step back by Harden just before the shot clock buzzer went off. And the Rockets regain the lead. Blake Griffin back into the game for Detroit. Alley up. Whoa. As soon as Drummond sits down on the bench. Harden for two. When Drummond goes out of the game, you can go right to the button. Harden switched on Lauer. This match. All the way to Capella. Sure makes the game easy when James Harden can break the defense down by himself. On the drive inside, Capella with his fourth block. Here come the Rockets at the other end. They're going to give it to Capella again. Now this time they say, PJ, give us a three. A 7-0 run out of the gate for the Houston Rockets. Alley oop again, and Capella just slaps it down. Boy, he gets up so high, he just throws it down like a volleyball spike. Drummond has three fouls. He's got to be careful. The beard knows that. Steps back and fires and hits. <laughs> it is wide open down there, but he's hard decided not to go to him. It's too dangerous to pass. He'll go to Capella. Hey, there's that pick and roll that I'm going to be talking about the fundamentals on after the game. Harden, Harden says, I'm going for the sure thing. Back to Capella. They just keep going back and back and back to that. P.J. Tucker answers. P.J. 
is pretty much an automatic from the corner. Harden's got Ish Smith on him. Goes right around him to the basket. What a move by the Beard. That's an MVP move. Harden to the basket around Lauer, and he draws a foul. James wants it to count. He thinks it's a goaltend. And Eric Gordon in the game now. Supplying some offense for Houston. Nice pass. Ennis and Capella did not communicate on that switch. They both went with the guy with the ball, and that left Drummond wide open. 16 points for Drummond. Seven rebounds. Remember, he leads the league in 16 rebounds a game. Capella getting all those. Oh, Clint Capella and James Harden. If the left one don't get you, the right one will. Harden will fire three. Got it. It's MVP time. Harden is averaging 30 points in his last four games. All wins for Houston. Harden and Griffin. Griffin going one-on-one, -on -one and he dribbled it, lost it off his foot. Here's Harden on the dead run. Steps back for a three. And he got fouled on the play. This time, I know he was shooting. That ties. Rudy Tomjanovich on the all-time Rockets scoring list. Eight seconds left is Harden. On the drive to the basket, and it's goaltending. The Rockets hold on to win, 126 to 124. James Harden with 43 points and nine assists, 27. 15 and 4 for Clint Capella. Pistons will rush it up. Reggie Jackson fakes the pass inside. Shot blocked by Capella. Follow up Andre, no. And here come the Rockets. Harden to the basket. Around and down. 7 of 4. Glenn Robinson shot won't fall. Rebound to Tucker. And they lob it. Almost full court to Capella who lays it in. That's awareness and trust. As that fifth option, you're probably not going to have a lot of plays run for you, George. you got to make manufacture your own offense. Harden with the drive and the finish. It's 12 to 11. Pistons by one. James Harden. Green from Capella. In front to Capella. Just threw it in. I'm telling you, George. He's been there before and done that. He's the beneficiary of so much penetration, whether it's down the middle, along the baseline, he's always ready and he doesn't miss passes. Harden's shot won't fall. Kane Fitzgerald blows the whistle on Glenn Robinson. James Harden with a step back three and it's through. That was nasty. The step back, obviously, to create a little bit of space. George, he doesn't need a lot of daylight. Miss for Langston Galloway. Harden with a drive and a deuce. This is trying to rush it up after the make. Harden topside off the dribble. Wow. Wow. Manufactures a shot off the rim. Harden with a rebound. Harden down the lane and he has coaxed a foul. Her hands to Harden. James Harden backs up against Blake Griffin. Shot clock five. Now four. Now it's at two. Gets to the basket and just does score it off the square with the shot clock running out. Blake Griffin drives into Capella. Shot won't fall. A little bit short. Looks like he had an avenue. Harden lobs for Capella on the other end. That's what the Rockets do best. Harden fouled on this shot try. It's on Glenn Robinson. James Harden with a basketball. Reggie Bullock up on him. Harden gets to the basket anyway for a score. That time he didn't have Andre to contend with. Now Harden's working against Blake Griffin. Shot clock at three, now two. Forces a three and it's through. 90. 87, Harden has 27. Harden against Brown. James Harden launches, misses. Wow. They wow. say Bruce Brown chipped him on the elbow. Got them all.
Pistons by one. Hart in the lane. 30 seconds to play. Hart turns, fires, fills it, falling down. They try to handle outside. Bumped by Ennis, turns, fires. He fills it up! Blake Griffin with a triple with 2.6 seconds to play. Don't look now, but the Pistons have a two-point lead. To the basket, Gordon, a tenth of a second left for a score. They got two guys who can go get it, Blake Griffin and Andre, but it comes up a little bit short. Tucker pulls it down, and we are going to overtime. And you're playing against the reigning MVP. He has the ball now. Directs it into the corner, though, to Tucker, who triples. Get it from the hostile corner, too, right in yeah. front of the Pistons bench, and they're all in his ear. Let me tell you, folks, you take a shot from in front of your opponent's bench, you're hearing everything. Harden with the drive. Dumps it off to Capella for the score. Harden gives it up. Paul with a corner three is through. Two seconds left in overtime. It's 116 to 111, and that will do it. The Pistons win the ball game. We actually show people that we can play and that we're in the NBA players too, you know. And uh, we, we're going we're gonna to just uh, keep playing hard and showing people that they're wrong about us. A lot of pride and togetherness in that Cavalier locker room all season long, and especially last night in Philadelphia. Jenny Osmond, a big part of it. He had 20 points. First time in his career he's had back-to-back 20-point -back games. 21 against the Lakers. So the last two games, 41 points, 7 of 14 from deep. And now tonight he wants to lead his Cavalier teammates to victory as they take on the Houston Rockets playing much better of late. Well, I've giving Harden the baseline where he expects some help. Harden goes the left hand anyway, always finds a way. He's like Manu Ginobili. You can overplay him all you want, and he's still going to find a way to get back to that strong hand. Another chance for the Rockets. Nance has to deal with Harden. A step back. He settled for that one and hit it. <laughs> in rhythm, though, for James Harden. Yeah, his range is unbelievable. It is. <laughs> Harden will back down. Jordan Clarkson punishes him and scores. That's impressive there. You almost have to do him like you did in B. Once he puts the ball in the floor, attack him. I'm sure with another player. Make him a passer. Harden again backing down. This time kicks it out. Clark with nice rotation on a three ball, and he hit it. And Harden with a waltz to the rim. That was easy. 22-21. Look for him to try to score more tonight without uh, Chris Paul. Green jumps and hits for three. That's what he added to his game a few years ago to the immense athleticism. 12th double-figure scoring quarter for Harden this season. Ball on a string goes to work, finish it. You keep letting him have that left hand. you got to almost sell out. Make him go cross over to that right hand. Use that for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Harden for three. So James Harden with 15. He's got a season-high 43. Andrew Harrison sizing up Harden. Now switched upon. Nawaba, does he drive it? Yeah, sure he does. Inside. Blocked by Capella. No goal 10. Cavs thought it hit the uh, backboard first. But uh, no goal 10. Harden backs out. Hand in the face to bottom. James Harden with 18. Capella showing that 7-4 wingspan. Boy, he just snapped it out of the air. Up top to Capella. Soars and scores. Again, Nance switches out on hard. Eyeballs it. Yep, Looking for any kind of crevice. Oh, boy, he's good. Gets him alive, it? fights it up, and he scored it somehow, and he was fouled. He is so good getting back to the, he's like Lenny Wilkins was. Yeah, same he, way. He, 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 he has you, you know he's going left, and you can't stop him from going left. He's just so good at getting to that left side. What they want to do in this situation is, is load everybody to, to Harden. Everybody come across the floor and load to him. Make him go over the top if he has to, but when he starts putting the ball on the floor, you want to load to him. Stay on that left side. Make him. That's right. That's Harden exactly Clark. right. That's exactly what Kicks you have to do. And, it's, and he hits it. I'll take my three. chances with that, but he's too dangerous going that other way. Houston knows it is in a dogfight. Larry Nance Jr. off the bench. goes. Harden goes at him and punched it. James Harden with a message on that one. It's his first field goal, though, since a 24-point first half. Harden turned the corner, looking for contact, found it, and he put it down. Kyle Korver helping out. Inside, though. See? But he helped out, but nobody yep. helped him out. Yep. Gary Clark in the score. 
Harden so far, one of 11 against this guy, David Nawaba. Over the top to Capella. I'm surprised we haven't seen more of that because uh, they team off on that a lot. Harden on the give up. Gordon fires for three. Got the perfect rotation on his shots. Well, those are dangerous two guys there. Woo. Nawaba's shoulder caught. Harden, who fires, hit it, and looking for a four-point play. You have to be kidding me. That was so tough. That yeah, was. He's just a great offensive player. Yep. Harden, a beeline to the hole. Again, <laughs> he gets that left hand eas hard, easier than anybody I've seen to be just a, a dominant left-hand player. Pass inside to Capella. 110-104 now. Here comes Harden. He'll do everything quickly. Flips it up and hits it. Man, that was a shot I've never seen him take before. Wow. He's just a scorer. He's Man. got 38 and counting. That ball had no rotation. It was just a knuckle ball right in the middle. All by design. 115-106. Harden with a 4A to the rim. But more importantly, some time elapsing. As he now has 40. Some folks still stretching out the holiday weekend, a fairly low-key Monday in D.C. And at the heart of it all is Capital One Arena, where NBC Sports Washington brings you Wizards basketball. Tonight, the Wiz try for their second straight win, getting their first look this season at James Harden and the 9-9 Houston Rockets. It's taken some time for Austin to get into a rhythm. Uh, and, and to get that chemistry with the second unit for the Wizards. But I think he's rounding into form, and what I was impressed with was how much impact he had defensively as well in that fourth quarter the other night. And for Washington, maximize paint touches. 70 points in the paint against New Orleans, a season high for them. If they can do what John Wall just did on that possession, that just makes their percentage of success that much higher on the offensive end. Absolutely. That was just a good-looking shot off the glass after a post-up move. But Houston answers. Wall drives using that left hand off the glass. He's been successful going to the rim. Oh, beautiful pass and the lay-in. The Harden is, you know, we know him as a great shooter, but he consistently gets assists, and he's terrific with that. Harden drives and lays it in with no problem. Last season, the Rockets finished second in the league in scoring. They averaged 112.4 points a game. Baseline shot no good. Tip up not there. The rebound to Houston. Here's Harden. Averaging 30 points a game. He is number one in the NBA. He scores, and he'll have a chance for a four-point play. Played now 18 games against the Wizards in his career. He averages 26 points a game on 49% shooting, and the steal to Harden, and he'll get an easy two. Once again, Washington will have to take a timeout as their defense has betrayed them here to start this game. The Rockets on a 13 to nothing run. Wall gives it off to Beal with a fake, works himself free, and drains a three. Yeah, that's a good pass. It's funny, a couple of off-target passes are right before that ultimate pass by Wall to Beal in that possession. It's amazing how many off-target passes result in misses. <laughs> they don't waste any time at all. Coming back the other way, a three ball. Harden dumps it in, and an easy two for Clint Capella. Knocked away and stolen by Green. He has it knocked away and gives it right back. And Harden controls it. Alley-oop. Oh, what a play. What a pass by Harden right on the money. Alley-oop. What a great pass for Marquise Chris. His timing. I mean, he just holds that post player off that screening action long enough. The hesitation, that player has to pause, and his guy gets to the basket with that alley-oop. Harden doing what he does best, draws contact, makes the basket, he'll go to the line. Harden gets around Morris, drives to the glass, and lays it in. Harden steps back for the jumper and cans it. Averaging 30 points a game at his number one in the league ahead of LeBron James. Five second difference between the clocks.
Harden around Sadoransky off the glass and in. Harden in the paint, score the field goal, and a foul is called. Capella sets a screen. Harden drives and lays it in. That's really good. I mean, John Wall forced him right. So what does Harden do? He snakes the pick, gets back to his left, and then is able to finish. At that time, they turn the ball over. Harden. Unstoppable. Wall sneaking up on Harden. Waves off Jeff Green. Harden steps back for the jumper. Oh. good. I mean, nobody in the NBA does it any better than that. Here's Rivers. He's got time. Now he's going to take the shot and miss everything. Not a good possession. You know where this is going. <laughs> oh my goodness. What, what amazes me, Kara, is how easy he makes it look. Unbelievable. He can make you look silly. Kara, I got a question for you. When you were playing in the league, were you stealing moves from other people to try to help your game expand? No, I, I couldn't really do anybody else's moves. That hurts. Harden has 11 assists. With Jeff Green, step back for the long jumper, score the field goal, he's fouled on the play. He's simply unbelievable. I mean, I don't know how it's, how it's possible to continue to make that. Consistently? Yeah. I don't know. But I don't think the Wizards know either. That's why he has 50. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I many mean, people. That, that you, can, you can't stop it. In the league know how. As Beal drives for Morris. It's on the line, and Houston has it. Wow, Washington unable to take advantage of that, and House scores at the other end. That is a huge play in this game. Beal drives, double teamed. He needs help. Porter waits. Beal with five seconds. Wall, long three, off the iron. Tip up, no good. Rebound, Beal the jumper. Got it for three! Washington leads by one. Otto Porter has not scored in this half. That's his first point. He's got 12 in the game. The Wizards lead by two. 19 seconds to play in regulation. Harden, alley-oop, Capella ties it at 125. That was a little too easy. Wall, gonna drive, has it knocked away, and a timeout taken as Wall had the ball knocked away from P.J. Tucker. Daniel House will throw it in. Close to five seconds, Gordon shoots, and that is going to be overtime in Washington. They smothered him on the side, and he couldn't get the shot off. Still lots of time, 1.43 to play, and OT whiz by seven. Harden will take the shot and hit it. Three-point field goal. won six in a row at home, but only one in seven on the road. And that's what happens sometimes to a young team. And that's starting out this season. So Dallas trying to get a road win and the Rockets trying to get any kind of win right now. <laughs> any kind of W. Harden in the corner. Tucker with a three. Woo! That's a good start right there. And P.J. Tucker is shooting 49% from the corners. So he is a really good three-point shooter from those corners. And yeah, Harden puts it up and in. Matt, we had a Slovenian player about seven years ago. Yeah, Goran Dragic. Yeah. Yes. Clyde Drexler used to use those big old hand hocks. There's 
Capella inside. Alley oop to Capella. The Rockets are off to a great start. They're four for five now with four assists from the field. Eric Gordon drains a nice three, but that defensive rebounding has been a big problem for the Rockets. That's a big reason why their defense hasn't been more effective because they haven't been able to finish off defensive possessions with rebounds. Matthews is the one veteran on this team that really holds them down. Gives them some veteran presence. Harden with a three on the outside. Both teams red hot. The Rockets now are three for six behind the arc. Harden with a three. James Harden off to another good start here in the first eight minutes. He has nine points. To say the Utah Jazz are the biggest rivalry for the Rockets, and that goes way back to the 90s, and I still can't get over how much I hate the Utah Jazz. <laughs> well, I can tell. Capella with a beautiful pass from Harden. Harden to the bucket. Good. Oh, Capella with a great play. And Clayba looked over at... Uh, Looked over at his teammate, and he said, uh, what's going on here? I had great position on Capella. Matthews, turn around, hit it. Matthews is still very serviceable when he's healthy. Yeah, there was a lot of talk the last few days about Matthews, maybe since he was injured, uh, might be shopped around by Dallas. And Harden hits a three. So James now with 13 points. Aaron Gordon from the parking lot. Doncic in the open court. Good pick up by Gordon. Good steal by Tucker. Here's Harden on the fast break. Lays it up for Capella. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Inside to Capella for two. Nice pass from James. Rockets on the fast break. Ennis with the layup. Nice move. Wesley Matthews. Hits it outside. A miss. And Harden with a long rebound. Should set up a good run to the basket for Harden. And it does. Good formula. Keep building on that. Crossover. Harden. Got it. Slowly getting back to this game. Moon ball for Ennis. James Ennis with 12 points. Two for four from behind the arc. Tucker all over Doncic. And a steal by Harden. Get it up the court. You got Doncic behind you. And that's what the Rockets do. And that's going to get Rick Carlisle up off the bench to call a timeout. There's a steal by Harden. Gets it right back from House. Yes to Capella. Just rolled off the iron. Harden's going to find it again. Fresh 14. Danielle House, get in there. Big. Big time shot for House, and he didn't catch that very clean. Tucker with great defense. And another miss for Dallas. Here comes Harden again. Harden with a three. And that rebound by Harden gave him his first triple-double of the season. 36th of his fantastic career. Four seconds left, down to three. House has to make his move. Got it. Danielle House starting to get a little more comfortable now, creating his shot. This is the group that actually widened the lead in the first half. They play well. That bench for the Mavericks has been good. P.J. Tucker just muscle at a... <laughs> Looked like Devin Harris was going to try to stop him. He just pulled him out of the way. Harden, crossover to the basket. Hook pass to Capella. He's my fella. And Capella with 14 points, eight rebounds. Make it 16 points. So the Rockets have won eight games in a row over the Dallas Mavericks, but not tonight. Rick Carlisle has brought a young and exciting team here to Toyota Center. And uh, they win for only the second time on the road this year, but a lot of promise for that young team. And there's John Lucas, who worked with Dennis Smith, Jr. The Houston Rockets, after going 0-3 on a road trip, came back home and lost by 20 to Dallas. As for San Antonio, they had one of their worst losses in the Greg Popovich era. They lost by 39 
at Minnesota on Wednesday. Now let's see how these two teams bounce back. They're both hungry for a win. The pressure that James Harden puts on your defense, the initial defender and also the help defenders, is like something we haven't seen, in my opinion, in the history of this game. Eaton, during this four-game losing streak, his numbers are incredible. And Harden throws it up and in. And when you talk about that, you mean everything in terms of his ability to score so many different ways, his ability to find his teammates. Shot inside from DeRozan won't go. Harden gets past Brim Forbes to the lane. Count it and one. Like, I know I didn't mention it in the open, but you flat out got it done with your jacket. I just have to give you props. Thank you. Memory of our friend Greg Sager as Capella lays it up and in. Greg would have been proud of that jacket. My moms would say you are clean as the board of hell. <laughs> Paul finds Capella. Capella spins and lays it up and in. So this guy just continues to get better and better. Nice movement without the ball and the perfect bounce pass from Chris Paul. DeRozan with Capella guarding him. DeRozan gets to the rim. Blocked by Capella. Timed perfectly. Tucker ahead to Chris Paul. Gordon will try again. And hits again. Gordon off the bench. Two for two from downtown. And the Rockets lead by eight. Gay isolated with Harden. Open look right corner this time. And DJ Tucker with the third three-pointer for the Rockets. Gordon inside. Nice feed to Capella. And Capella lays it up and in. He looks so much more confident offensively, even from last year. 33 in his 14th year in the NBA. Finally got to his first conference finals last year. And then had that unfortunate hamstring injury, missed game six and seven. Oh, beautiful pass from Harden to Capella. The Rosen up top, Marco Bellinelli in his return. Strip lost, very sloppy ball handling from San Antonio. Harden throws it back to Capella. Eyes behind his head. And Clint Capella with 10 points. Four on the 24. White gets it up top. Gay, he's got to shoot it. Does. And Tucker with his sixth rebound. Chris Paul gets into the paint, draws the foul. Shot won't go. And yet Petty Mills backtracking, so free throws coming up for Chris Paul. Forbes. That shot was altered by Capella. Knocked out of bounds by House. Harden goes at White. Kicks it out. Open three from House. That's good. Hard to Capella. Capella left-handed lays it up and in. 12 points for Capella. Not forcing any turnovers. This House nails another. House from downtown. House playing in just his third game. He was two for 11 from three-point range in the first two. When he's knocked down back-to-back -back ones here, Bellinelli can't connect. Harden connects nine three-pointers right now for the Houston Rockets and a timeout call by Greg Popovich. Harden whips the pass. Green throws it up and Capella down. And another perfect lob and Clint Capella seven of nine from the field. The majority of teams in this league put themselves in position where they have a chance to win. Aldridge shot blocked on a follow. The save goes to Rudy Gay. Harden finishes. James Harden, 10 points, six assists, and four rebounds. Shot clock down to five. Harden drives inside. Poor help defensively there. Harden, a clear path to the basket. Capella with a rejection. That's his third block of the game. Patty Mills jump shot. Mills just one for six. Two minutes. Ball goes right at him, throws it up and in. I like that move for the Jazz. And I also like the move for Cleveland. Taking care of, as we see P.J. Tucker knock down the shot. Taking care of Kyle Corbin, a veteran that did things the right way. But if you have an opportunity to reward a guy for his faithfulness and professionalism, then you do the right thing. There are a lot of teams that would have liked Corbin. <laughs> James Harden took the hit and still got it to go. Harden inside again. Oh, sensational finish for James Harden as he caps off an excellent first half for Harden and the Rockets. 70 points here in the first two quarters. And you lose Trevor Reza and Bob Ute, you're not going to be the same defensive team.
Harden throws it up again to Capella. Perfect pass for James Harden for his seventh assist. And Capella has hit eight of ten from the field. White missed the first nine games with a heel injury, but he's back now. He's speaking of back, Harden. It's only his second three-pointer, but he's got 19.7 assists. DeRozan handed his face in and out. Harden rips down the rebound, his fifth. Hard, all oh, beautiful bounce pass in stride. And Capella finishes. Unselfishness, and how about the effort of Capella off of the defensive stop sprinting the floor. Pass ahead to Ennis, another good look. And DeRozan yes. fell down. And right now, Houston really taking it to San Antonio. This is a bludgeoning right now. Capella flips it up and in. <laughs> Capella's been dominant, 20 points. 10 of 12 from the field. Four on the shot clock. Bad pass from Harden. Finds his way to Ennis. Harden's going to have to put it up. Just gets it off in time. And, of course, hits it. James Harden from downtown. Harden high off the glass. Capella knocked away by Cunningham. But he also fouled him in the process. And look at the Spurs, Mike. They go into a zone, a little matchup zone. Gordon inside, blocked by Cunningham, picked up by Capella, lays it up and in. 25 points in 26 minutes for Clint Capella. Or Gordon is hot in the first half, continues here in the second half, 19 for Gordon. That's his fifth three-pointer. Green, right corner, three, that's good. Gerald Green, back-to-back -back threes. He's three for four from downtown. This is the largest lead. They'll be just fine. It's a team that's well coached. They compete at a high level. They can travel, whether winning at home or also on the road. Beautiful play from Capella. When people ask me why did I represent, I, I feel like I attempted to represent. I agree. I think you look terrific. Like you are clean. It's Sager style. There's another three going down. Boy, Gordon now six of nine. I forgot the other day, now that you mentioned the great Bob Look at Brady. this. Holy. Eric Gordon lighting it up, 7 of 10. He's got 26 points in 21 minutes. As Chris Paul nails another Chris three, Paul, and they've got quarter. They have 110 points. We have a quarter to go. Came oh so close as Chris Paul knocks Chris it Paul. in to making the NBA Finals last year. Bellinelli, Bertans, White, quick catch and shoot. That one go, fight for the rebound, Chris. This is only the eighth game Chris has played. He's only played 36 minutes this season. And they got him in a trade from Phoenix in the offseason. And doesn't really crack the rotation as Chris Paul. Back shot is good. Chris Paul. Paul with 11 points and 10 assists. Bertans comes straight away. Paul getting as <laughs> many shots he knows. Michael Carter Williams is over there. That's an old veteran move right there, Mike. <laughs> There's your final score. And as the Rockets defeat the Spurs 136 to 105. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets returning home to take on the Chicago Bulls. There's an alley-oop back door, and it's easy. Even though you know it's coming. You can't sing a lick. No. Harden struggled from behind the line last night. It's his first one tonight. Still 10 seconds on the shot clock for Harden. Goes to the bucket for two. No rim protector. Carter can be. Wendell Carter uh, blocked some shots this season, but he just wasn't anywhere in the range to do that. Parker with a nice drive inside. Wild shot. Harden's got the fast break if he wants it. Yeah, there it is. That was really well done there by Clint Capella. He did not go for the block shot on the defensive end. Instead, he knew it was a difficult shot and got the rebound, which started the fast break. Harden getting to the basket. Easy. If that's how easy it's going to be all night long. James Harden might have 50 again here tonight. The Rockets are just slicing and dicing. Hey, fellas. The, the mayor's going to have to tell his players that number 13 is a pretty good player. Ari Markinen is a seven-footer from Finland who played at Arizona. Harden zeroes in tonight. That's like a layup for him. You know he's got 15 points already? It's incredible. How he's, remember last year Trevor Ariza called him a scoring anomaly. Gerald Green with a rare two. 
You better make that one if you're playing for the Rockets. Is that the shot that Mike D'Antoni wants to avoid? Harden back into the game now. Good defense, but he steps back after the contact and hits a three. Hammer Payne did everything he could do to stop that shot. Shot clock in five seconds. Harden's going to have to shoot it now. He dribbled around with it for about 15 seconds, and he finally made it go down. The Rockets want to shoot layups and threes. James Harden has figured out how to step back and get threes whenever he wants. Harden comes around the corner. Nice bounce pass. Capella waits his turn. That was a good play to get Capella a shot. And the Bulls did rotate over. Good rebound on the missed shot. Capella sets up a fast break if Harden wants it. Got the wing guys. He's got Capella underneath. Alley oop. <laughs> Talking about great hands, huh? Yeah, I love it. What a catch and reverse finish. TJ Tucker. Hey, hit one from the left wing. And he got hit on the head. He was looking for the and one. Oh, he's got the rookie on him. Now a double team comes over and Harden beats it anyway. I couldn't believe Hoffines is 49 years old. Wow. Tore it down. It seemed like just the other day. There's an alley-oop. Once Harden gets you that deep, it's impossible. Everybody looks for Harden as soon as they get a rebound or something. There's James again. James again. It's unstoppable. Well, that's why he was last year's MVP. That's why he's leading the lead in scoring. So the Houston Rockets win the fourth quarter 34 to 30 over the Chicago Bulls. The Rockets win their second game in a row, 121 to 105. And that man had an MVP performance. From Target Center in downtown Minneapolis, AT&T Sportsnet presents Houston Rockets basketball. As tonight, the streaky 11-11 and 11 Rockets begin a three-game road trip looking for their third straight win against the 11-12 Minnesota Timberwolves in the first meeting between these two teams since the first round of the playoffs last season. Harden, bounce pass to a cutting Ennis. Well, that was a nice play there. James was open on the back door, but Chris couldn't get it to him right away. But James able to still create something for James Ennis coming down the middle. Yeah, and he's been now in his 10th appearance with Minnesota. As Harden got a piece of that ball, Gibson threw it up again, thought he got fouled. But Covington's been really good since the trade, really good. Hard one on two to the rim, foul free throws coming up. Harden to Capella. They've done that over and over again against Minnesota yeah. and everybody else for that matter. Well, no, there's no way to guard the pick and roll with the Rockets. However you guard them, they have an answer. Eric Gordon's out there for the first time tonight. He's been playing really well and a rejection for Capella. Well, Clint's ability to get off the floor so quickly has improved his shot blocking immensely this season and Hard knocks down a three. I think the angle's fine. Nine out of ten threes for James comes unassisted, which means he just dribbles into his own three-point shot. That is an unbelievable percentage for any player to just create nine out of ten threes for yourself. He's the best isolation player in the history of the sport in terms of his efficiency. Minnesota with a turnover, great pass. Leads to another Capella rim rocker. So you have James Harden, who's, who has the body of a power forward, can shoot threes, and passes like he does, MVP caliber every single night. Oh, that's flag. Oh, Gerald Green called it. Gerald Green called it. <laughs> before before Eric ever caught the ball, Gerald Green, I think if you could pick yep. that up on our mindset, that splash. And he was right. James Hard now with uh, eight points, go along with a couple of rebounds and four assists in the opening quarter. Hard back in, working on the Capella screen, loses Covington. Shot clock down to five. Harden one on one with Teague. Dances, steps, shoots, got fouled. Three free throws. And I think that's a nice luxury now with House on this roster. He's got great size. 6'7, almost 220. Harden in the corner. That's his second three. He's got 17 in the first half. And another unassisted three. Harden slips by Teague. Free throws, two of them, couldn't complete the layup. Jen got him. 
do I stick around and watch Coolio, or do I go back to the alley-oop Capella? Able to catch it, control it, and finger roll it in. That was a long pass from James Harden. And Harden <laughs> just sticks the three over Gibson. It's effortless, man. <laughs> it's, he's laughing. It's so easy for him. What, what's that in your hand? That's ice cream in my hands. As Capella returns the favor to Harden, usually it's the other oh, way around. Look at this. so nice. Let's get it on camera. There we that's go. That's a bad pass. P.J. Tucker had him locked up. And then Capella wrestles it away from Gibson. Again in the open floor. That's 20 for Clint Capella in Minnesota, forced to call another timeout. Gordon, wow, that was a long one, but more importantly, it was desperately needed to kind of keep the T-Wolves at bay. Harden bumped, threw up the shot, didn't get the benefit of the doubt, though, on the whistle, but hey, the Rockets finally put some points on the board. Gibson, no good. Rebound, Ennis. Harden into Rose, rolls it up and in. And after the Rockets swept them last season, Minnesota takes the first matchup of this season between these two teams, the final 103 to 91. Saturday night on Fox Sports Southwest, presented to you by Geico. I don't care how gloomy it's been, nothing will pick up your spirits like Santa Claus, number one. And of course, Mavericks oh. basketball will pick up your spirits. Luka Doncic and DeAndre Jordan coming into American Airlines Center earlier this afternoon. The Mavs did not see Chris Paul. He will play in this game, a different story than what happened 10 days ago. We have already seen Houston's defensive rebounding issues this year come to light in the first few seconds of the game. P.J. Tucker from the corner with a three. Harden on the drive and kick. Corner three, James Ennis. Same spot where Tucker just hit from. Ennis drills a three. That's a case of worrying so much about James Harden. Yeah. He sucked everybody in that possession. And it's a wide open shot for Ennis. I think I could make that. Harden was posting up Brunson. Here's a cut in from the weak side and rearing back is James Ennis. He of 18 points against the Mavs last week, a second highest scoring game of the year. Harden in the paint. Hard to keep him out of there. Yeah, I mean, he has the ball. 80% of the, the time that Houston is on offense. For three, Harden. And good. That's why. Boy, Harden's telling Luca about it, too. DeAndre's activity has been good early. He, he really understands what's going on. A lot of Capella trying to challenge shots, leaving that offensive glass open. Harden hits another three-pointer. Couple of made threes in the game so far by James Harden. Houston has already hit four threes. Chris Paul against Morea. This could be an interesting battle. Paul hits that mid-range jumper. Yeah, he elected not to do the bang-bang thing with uh, with JJ that time. Paul takes a three, knocks it, it, it down. Boy, this last 35 seconds has not been good for the Mavs. Paul comes down the floor, hits a pull up, and it's a quick eight point burst by Houston to tie the game. And that's his, his favorite move right there, back in the defense off and shooting that little mid range pull up jump shot. Oh, things are going well. I mean, just in your post playing career, you've always had to plan for this day. They talk about it, sure. but now it's actually upon me. And so I've been doing a little broadcasting. Always been somewhat of a coach, you know, coaching in the grassroots here in Dallas for 15 sure. years. Uh, but, you know, preparing for either a Division One college men's job or somebody's great assistant uh, at the NBA level. And they have done a nice job of winning uh, eight straight at home as Chris Paul scores here. Uh, they still have some things to get figured out on the road, obviously, but at home, and you've been here, obviously, for a couple of games, Jeff, they have played a really exciting round of basketball. Houston's bench, one of the worst in the NBA, part of the reason for their struggles this year. Nice five. Yeah, Capella with the alley-oop, and Harden is back out there right now, playing with three fouls that he picked up in the first quarter. Jen, a minute ago, you were talking about some of the woes for Houston, and I tell you what, we'll get to that on the other side, among many other things for the segment that you'll be joining us. Harden, a three-pointer. And out of the timeout, the Rockets regain the lead by one. That is 11 lead changes in the game. Harden for three, close out Penny Smith. Harden got it, 16 in the first half for James Harden. Chris Paul gives the Rockets the lead again. Funny how they don't want a mid-range game, but he is a mid-range killer if ever there was one. His favorite spot on the 
floor inside that free throw line. Here's Matthews accelerating up ahead, and James Innes comes down the floor and steals the kickout pass. Running the floor is Paul, trying to catch him with Barnes, but Paul lays it in. It's a heads up play by the Rockets. Tonight, Dennis Smith Jr., Maxi Kleba are out for the Mavs. Smith dealing with that sprained right wrist. It's a left great toe sprain for Kleba. Those two unavailable. Brunson is starting tonight. Brunson against Harden, and Brunson challenges the three, but Harden hits it over. Tough shot, good defense, just better offense from James Harden. Looking for Tucker. Oh, oh, great pass. I don't even think he was ready for that pass. The wheels have come off the Houston offense with four straight possessions ending in turnovers. Now Paul will launch a three. Oh, you throw something like that up and it goes in, unfortunately. Keep four, keep four, keep four. The late clock situation, Jordan's out on Harden in a switch. Harden all the way to the basket. Barnes with a three-pointer. Kept alive by Jordan, chasing after it. Brunson, Gordon kept it away from him. Falls it, DeAndre poked out of bounds by Houston. Man, I thought the house was coming down on that one. Every man starter in double digits now. Harrison was the last one to get over the hump. He's at 11 points. Luke at 10, Brunson 10, Jordan 12, Matthew 16. At the end of the shot clock, Harden connects on another three-pointer. <laughs> it's a little weak. <laughs> to Luca, they're going after a little bit. And A for the dunk. The lead is three with 2.07 left in the third quarter. He'll just have to try to do it again. Harden got around him. Uh, it's a bad spot for a pretty good darn defensive player, Dwight Powell. 20 lead changes tonight. One point game. Mavs up, Capella rolling and scoring. Such a good roller, Capella. Three pointers made by James Ennis. He's missed a couple, but staying confident, pulling the trigger. Couple empty possessions for both teams. Ball pounding it. CP3, 4 3. <laughs> Good. That, that was not bad defense that time by no. uh, Dwight Powell. Paul works against the rookie. A little space with a jam step and drains the J. Man, all he needs is a little bit of space right there. Luca has to be switched on to Harden here. We hit the five minute mark left in the game. Harden rocking it back and forth. Quick drive. Harden gives Houston the biggest lead of the game. 7 0 Houston run. Paul. Nothing Houston run. That's a veteran making a very nice veteran play. Brunson up on Harden. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Luca has single-handedly tied the game. Now Harden for the lead. It's an air ball. He's gonna hear it. That's a uh, that's a low possession shot. Nobody else touches the ball. You shoot an air ball. And other guys aren't used to being involved late in the game for the Houston Rockets either. Tucker denying Luca. Barnes got it to him though. Screen by DeAndre. Capella switched on to Luca. Luca with the step back three. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Announcing you, you, his presence with authority at the end of the game, Hart. You gotta love the young fella taking the game, putting it on his back. He goes into the corner, and it's Gordon going to the basket. He goes to the back to Gordon. Corner three, no good, it's all over. Behind Luca. Dallas has won at 107 104. Nine in a row at home. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Portland Trailblazers. Nurkic lost the basketball out of bounds. <laughs> that was going to be a tough catch any way you looked at it. High bounce pass. But Yusef has been playing awfully well. He didn't get back on Capella. Right? Give Chris Paul a lot of credit on that. He took the ball out very quickly because he knew that Nurkic was out of position so that they could get the ball ahead to Capella. Breakout season last year for Damian Lillard. 
He's always, always been playing good, but last year he got the attention he so deserved in the years past by getting on the All-Star team and making the first team all in the year. And he deserves it. He comes to play each and every night. So does that guy. He was also good. first team all NBA. Just a little surprised at how slow the Rockets have come out of the gate. There's a three by Harden. I would have thought after that 0-3 road trip, there'd be a sense of urgency for this team tonight. There's Eric Gordon putting it up and in. That's a good move by Eric. Rather than rush a shot up, good fake, got the two. Oh yeah, there it is. Capella was waiting. He knew from the outside with a miss. Capella goes and gets it over Nurkic. Now that's good hustle. And Capella was down there where he could do that instead of being out on the perimeter. Harden with a three. And that gives the Rockets a one-point lead. Harden turns the corner, lays it up and in. It's a well-designed play by the Rockets. You guys know what your blood type is? Yes, we do. Mine's uh, IB not positive. <laughs> rehearsed that all day. He's been waiting on that. Oh, yeah. He, I think he wrote the promo. That's a strong. Turns around, fires to the bucket for two. What a beautiful move by the Beard. The Beard is highly skilled, uses his body really well in traffic. Harden. Got a Minu on him. Minu, good defender. Harden beats him to the bucket, though. I, you know, this league favors the offense, and when you're one-on-one -on -one with Harden. What are you going to do? Harden steps back. He's got Turner on him now. Turner, big guard. And Harden floats it up. It makes no difference who you put on. If it's a bigger man, he'll go around. Eight seconds on the shot clock as Harden takes a look. He's got Nurkic. Uh, no, that's not Nurkic. That's Collins. That's Jack Collins. And Harden puts him in the rocking chair. 90% of James Harden's made threes are unassisted. Harden. Puts up a three. James Harden joins the act and he says, hey, I know, I got to keep it going here. Harden with 28 points. And they gets free to the bucket for two. Harden to the basket. And he's fouled. He'll shoot a couple. And the Rockets can just hold it now for the Final 19 seconds. Yeah, this was a big win for the Rockets. It was a gut check tonight for Houston. You're right. We welcome you to the Toyota Center, Houston, Texas, for game one of our Thursday night doubleheader with the excitement revolving around that man, LeBron James, making his first appearance as a Laker here in Houston. The NBA on TNT is being presented by State Farm. It's the Los Angeles Lakers facing... The Houston Rockets. Chris, we were sitting right here for that seventh game of the Western Conference Final in astonishment as here's Harden got the step and step. Oh, what a move. And he went right at it. JaVale McGee, a 10 2 run here by the Rockets. <laughs> we were amazed with Houston going 0 for 27 at one point from three point range. And the Warriors won that and seven went on to win. Another championship. Gordon from way downtown. Rebounded by Capella. Nice pass. Rockets moving the ball well. Tucker looks to reset. Harden with a deep three. Yes! And the foul! It is a four-point play for James Harden, and the Rockets off to a 14-6 lead. Oh, strong drive by James Harden. Oh, he just put him in the rinse and wash cycle. That's just what a move and so tough. And that's all right. Ball does that to players, too. In this league, if you got to let your ego go for a couple plays because someone will embarrass you and get to the cup like Harden did that play. There's Harden for the name. Lakers take a timeout. Luke Walton makes the call. Harden able to squeeze his way through Chandler and Hart. What a move by Hart. And it was so tough because Hart basically played his own with Tyson Chandler. It was two defenders on one side of the floor and Harden, and he basically went through the zone of both players and laid it up.
Harden on the drive. McGee held back, and it appeared that he would make his move, but he did not. Yeah, and you have to hold back, because if McGee would have come over, then that's that famous alley-oop to Capella with no help coming down the middle. Here's Harden. Oh, it's a goal. <laughs> As uh, Javel McGee went up and actually caught the ball. Hart defending on Harden. Now to five on the shot clock. Here's Harden on the drive. Put it up to Capella. The lob to Capella. And as you fans at home watching it and you're saying, just stop it like this, well, send your ideas into the Lakers and other teams and see if they haven't tried it yet. Everyone's tried every Whoa. single way to stop Harden. And Kuzma right there. Taking advantage of the smaller man in the post. There's a line drive off glass by Kuzma. Here's Paul for three. This has been an exciting first half. It has. At both ends. Half minute to go in this first half. Capella gets inside. I think Capella having a, an excellent year, averaging 17 points, 11 rebounds. I never miss a word. I wanted to point that out to you, but they are back playing basketball. <laughs> and a nice move to the hoop by uh, James Harden, who now has 21 points. Nice catch by Capella. He's triple team and scores. Good finish right there. And the play before to keep the theme going is a great pass right there by Ball and the better steal that anytime Capella switches out on LeBron, he goes to work. He just had a dunk the last play as well. There is Gordon with the runner. Wild start to this third quarter. It has been entertaining basketball right throughout. This is the last huddle with Coach Harden <laughs> taking over the seat right there. And that's what you love to see. Passion and leadership from the best player on your team. Caldwell Pope. We've been, the back iron. we've been seeing that, Marv, with, uh, you know, with uh, Coach Kerr letting his guys and saying, who wants to right. take this huddle? Nice three by ball there. But I think when your coach allows you to do it, what he's saying is your voice is important. And he realizes this is one of many timeouts. Let me let a familiar voice rock with these guys. Step back by Harden. We haven't seen that much of it tonight from James Harden, but he hit that, thrilling it from the baseline. Here's Nene, working his way inside on Chandler. Harden fires for three. Rockets up by two with a half minute to go, third quarter. So Harden with his second three, he's two for seven from the three-point line. Harden on a give and go, and Capella puts it down. That's just beautiful basketball. The more Houston plays like that in the half court, the more spacing they'll have later on as the game goes on because the defense will anticipate those cuts. Harden played by ball, backing his way. Goes to the fadeaway. James Harden, 35 points, 10 assists, 9 rebounds. Oh, man, just attacking, attacking. Oh, Capella with an emphatic jump. That's how you attack the rim. Let's see if Harden stays in the pick and roll while the Lakers seem like they've been settling for jumpers. Harden fires from deep. Straight away. Harden hits the three. He has 41 points. Harden. Again. Lakers take a timeout. James. Putting on a show with 44 points. Here's Harden. Oh, feeling the contact. James Harden with 46 points. He's one rebound away from a triple-double. Oh, it's Harden again. James Harden with 50 points. It is his 11th 50-point game in his career. He has 15 of Houston's last 17 points. 15. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the excitement of the NBA. Grizzlies basketball on Fox Sports Southeast is presented by Pinnacle Financial Partners. From fabulous FedEx Forum on Beale Street in downtown Memphis, Tennessee, the Grizzlies close out a three-game homestand as they welcome in their divisional rival, the Houston Rockets. First of four meetings between these two teams. Hard lob, Capella. 
And that's really what Clint Capella does. He is second in the league in field goal percentage. Temple on the counterattack ties the game at four. Shot clock down to five. Harden drives, got all the way to the cup and lays it in. Gasol wants it against Capella. Give back to Sheldon. Stolen by Chris Paul. Fourth in the league at steals at 2.1 a game. And Harden dunks. He's got a dozen. And one thing Chris Paul can do, the mind has not slowed down one bit. Read that pass from Sheldon Mack beautifully. And Capella, his fifth season out of Switzerland. Played two years in the French Pro A League. And Harden straight line drive banks it. Now, Harden's career high against the Grizzlies is 40. It's in danger if he continues to play like this. Green fades, misses, and a rebound. Good hustle by Sheldon Mack to take it away from Nene, and then gives it up to Harden. And the thing about it, everybody talks about his defense. He might not be the best one-on-one -on -one defender in terms of moving his feet, staying in front. But his anticipation skills, very high. Harden. Let me tell you what is happening. James, James Harden, Harden is happening. It's percolating right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, James Harden, 16 points and two assists. So, that was almost all of the Rockets' points, he's accounted for another assist here to Nene. And I tell you, part it, it is unconventional, but they're going to have to double-team him right from the outset and then when he passes going to a full-out denial of when, he, when the, once the ball is given up i like to hear what javon carter is doing by making james harden have to work coming up the floor not just let him get there easily but james harden still able to get right to the front of the rim yeah the reigning mvp is on another level right now the third foul forces him from the game joakim noah in capella another slam Capella averaging 17 a game. He has 16 here in the first half on nine shots. Gerald Green comes in, and he ends that streak. They had a great trap party. Mike Conley just did not know where the ball got deflected to. That's why James Hart was able to pick it up and find Gerald Green for the wide open three. Green, another three, another man. Well, Dan Tony just goes to the bench and says, you know what, I'm gonna... Let's go get Gerald Green off the bench. Their big six man, which is Eric Gordon for so many years, is now in the starting lineup for this Rockets team. Harden, well, just as soon as Houston cooled, they heated back up. Three straight triples. Step back three, Harden got another one. Three of six from beyond the arc for James Harden. Four straight threes. Tucker, no, bottoms another one out. Harden got by Jackson, found Capella. Harden, Tucker, corner three, bottoms it out. Harden against Jackson, six to shoot. Harden got to the rim, got by the rookie, and it's back to a double digit lead, 26. And 10 for Harden rebounds, nine assists. Harden on Jackson, steps back, the three. They're gonna call the foul. Now you can take the timeout. With 1.16 to go, and the Rockets up 10 again. Up ahead to Harden, and he's got his triple-double. First time Harden has had a triple-double against the Grizzlies. from Toyota Center in downtown Houston. AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Utah Jazz. And Capella wins it easily. Gobert did not even jump. In the last game, Rudy Gobert got called for a foul on the jump ball. That's why I think he didn't jump on that one, kind of his own little way to say that he didn't agree with that call last time. It's a number one shooter from the corner right there. Gets another one. Tucker came alive in that Memphis game. Good defense by Capella. Up ahead to Harden. Harden puts it up and it won't go in, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. Donovan Mitchell with the foul. And they gets the offensive rebound, drops it off to Harden on the run, and he just bumped Gobert right out of there. That's how you have to score against the shot blockers. Use your strength to 
bump him off and create some space to score. Now the Jazz defense changes when Gobert is on the bench. Get a double team as Corbett came over, and Harden just went right around Favors. There is no rim protection when Gobert sits. James Harden realized that immediately when he dunked him. Dante Exum passes over to Corver in the corner, and he missed the shot. Rockets have been lucky a couple of his misses because they haven't gotten over there to him. Harden and Exum gets by Exum, goes to the bucket for two and one. Rubio under the bucket. Cephalosha puts it up. I think Capella got a piece of it. Favors gets it back outside. The shot clock reset. Capella with a rebound. All the way through the Jazz. And a foul. James flexing those muscles. It sure looked like Clint Capella was a blocker. Look at how Clint just uses his body to keep three Jazz behind him so James Harden can get all the way to the rim. That was a block for Capella a moment ago to set up that fast break. That's four blocks by Capella in the first half. You mentioned how the Jazz look tired. They played in Mexico City last game, and it's every team that plays in Mexico City, the game that they come back and play, it seems like that they're tired. They don't have their legs. Harden all the way to the right. One way to get to the rim is to force Gobert to guard Capella. Capella was in the right spot when James was driving. The Jazz have five made threes as James with another nice backdoor play for an easy dunk. Rockets kept Clint Capella up high there, so Gobert could not block that. And uh, there's a foul call, and Harden will shoot a couple. Those uh, young fans who may not know who Mark Eaton, uh, Clyde and I were talking about him a moment ago, was a 7-3 guy that played for the Jazz. And there's a drive, count it, for James Harden. I know that uh, Kim Olajuwon, when he first came into the league, he used to really struggle. Very similar to Gobert, but uh, Gobert's much more mobile than Eaton was. And so Akeem really struggled playing against Mark Eaton because Akeem would put a bunch of fakes on him, and Mark Eaton would just be standing there waiting on him. Yeah. James to the basket for two and one. Crowder with the foul. Crowder off his ankle. That helps. All right, the Rockets have to follow those mistakes with some points. Harden with a step back. Got it. Oh, boy, is he cold-blooded. Timeout, Utah Jazz. Best shot blocker Clyde you played against. Robinson was a great shot blocker. Patrick Ewing. Oh, ho, ho! James Hardison blocked this! Back outside to Corver, gets it into Gobert, who missed it. House gets it up to James now. James has PJ on the wing. There he is. Puts up the three. You got it! Jazz up, calling another timeout. I remember when I did the Cougar games years ago when Akeem Olajuwon was Aki. Yep. A-K-E-E-M. And then when he started really studying his religion, he changed it to Aki, which is really the way it should be spelled with an H. Nene spells it. N-E-N-E. -E. Nene looking to give it to Harden. Step back. Got it. Oh. Is that the most unstoppable shot in basketball? It's unbelievable. And nine out of ten three-point makes for James Harden is our unassisted. Harden has got O'Neal on him now. Step back, fires and hits. Sometimes you gotta take a two to get it going. Yeah, that looks like a mirror image of the dream shape right there. Mitchell. One on one, takes it inside, missed it, and it's tipped up and in by Gobert. Game tied at 94, under two minutes left. That's 12 boards now for Gobert, 14 boards for Capella. Harden with a long three, 
James Harden with a cold-blooded three. Mitchell. Back outside to Jay Crowder. Misses it. Gobert tips it. P.J.'s in there. And he throws it away. Crowder threw it right to CP3. 113 and counting left to play. The Jazz still have a foul to give now. Back over to Harden. Three-point Houston lead. Harden and Rubio. Four seconds, three seconds. Step back by Harden. And he's fouled. The Jazz have been pushing Harden to his right all game long. And you see James stepping back. The problem with forcing James to his right is when he comes back to his left hand to shoot, he draws fouls very easily that way. Yeah. MVP is the chant. We'll go to our MVP. And the MVP chant. You're talking about him going back to his right to shoot like that. People forget to. He's 6'5". And he holds that ball up over his head. So that's tough, isn't it, on a defensive guy? If you give him any space, he'll be able to knock the shot down. So defensively, you got to try to get up on him as much as you can, but he'll draw fouls very easily. Two-point game. Everybody's up. Here we go. It's winning time for Houston. Step back. Oh! A cold-blooded three for James Harden! And that may be the game winner! James Harden does it again! So the Houston Rockets will win their fourth game in a row and go over 500 for the first time since November the 23rd. The Rockets are back. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Washington Wizards. Yeah, but if you're Eric Gordon, keep shooting. The Rockets are going to need that. He'll catch a fire when he does. Good steal. It'll be tough to stop. Harden. Got it. Boy, he's been shooting his threes lately. Well, the beard is on fire. Yeah, the beard's. He's up to 37% from the three-point line. That's yeah. a very rare catch-and-shoot three for him. Harden steps back and fires and gives the Rockets their first lead of the game. 7-0 run by Houston. Harden steps back over Bryant. Hits again. The beard is on the road. Man, I'm as, telling you. As we keep talking about, and he's playing with so much confidence. Thomas Bryant's a good-looking young fella. Very active. He's got good ball handling skills. He can shoot the three. So Harden got fouled on the play. When we come back, he'll shoot free throws. Right now, he makes his third three in a row. Harden getting a double team. Beal comes over to help. Somebody's open. Harden was determined to dribble through the entire lineup. Well, the double team was inconsistent. Lots of spacing. And Harden is fouled going to the basket. Yeah, I like that a lot. The Chris really made the defense focus on him. But you know, the scoring rule, the scoring now is has been eased to, to, to give the offensive player a little bit of an advantage in this era. That's true. So you got to judge him by the guys in his era, and by far he's leading the league in scoring. MVP last year. I love the beard, and, and you know, it's fun watching him on a nightly basis. Eric Gordon, he just needed to move further out. That was from uh, the Belleville area. Harden with 15. P.J. Tucker, six points, six rebounds, lots of defense. Look at that. Is anybody going to guard him? He's only the number one scorer in the NBA. Harden takes it to the basket for two and one. He is so strong. He missed from the three-point line, and Ariza actually tipped it to Chris Paul. Now. Harden goes to the basket because Capella was covered up, so Harden made the smart play and drew the foul. Well, they may have wanted to cut Harden off tonight, but they forgot all about Chris Paul. I think he's reminding them that I can still score, fellas. Harden rips a three. 
James Harden is four for five. Chris Paul is five for seven. There's a layup by Harden. The way Harden's playing right now, how do you guard him? Harden to Capella. James Harden, he's just putting on a show. He's toying with him now. Oh, great break. Harden did a great job of seeing the big guy, Gordon, get to the basket down the baseline. And you got a couple of kids now. House is starting to emerge in the NBA. Brandon Knight's coming back from injuries. There's Harden Stein. Harden Stein coming in, making a difference. That was a great pick, he said. There's a foul, and Harden says, give me one, too. I want one. So he'll go to the line to shoot, too. There's a miss by Wall. Chris Paul in the open court. That puts the fear in a lot of people's hearts. And he's in an open court with the basketball. Same for this guy. Step back. Yes. 32 points for the Bears. Shot clock at four seconds. Down to three. Harden puts it up and hits it. I mean, it's like money. It's like found money. Yeah, he's dialed in. Heavy storms here in Miami. A lot of wind, a lot of rain, a lot of weather across all of Florida. Not a very nice welcome for the visiting Houston Rockets with free shaves for fans preparing for the ultimate beard himself. The Houston Rockets in seventh in the Western Conference and climbing the Miami Heat. A half game out of the Eastern Conference playoff picture setting our stage for tonight. Here comes James Harden. He'll put up a three-point shot, and he has made more threes than any other player in the NBA this season from three-point territory, shooting 38%. Here comes a step back three. Again, down the hatch it goes for James Woo! Harden. My goodness, as he got the stroke. Last night, had 35 against the Wizards. So the Rockets on the road are 7-9. and nine. Overall, 16-14. Oh, down hard comes Capella. And when he comes off that pick and roll, they're going to put Hassan Whiteside in that a lot. He just puts the defender in such a difficult spot because if you come to him, he's going to throw that lob. And if you don't, he's going to shoot the floor. Gordon, three. He got it to go. Eric Gordon is only shooting 29% from three-point territory. But slowly but surely, he's beginning to unfall. He slips it outside. He'll put up a shot and nail it. Wade, 12-time All-Star. Throw it away, looking for Adebayo. Harden back in, he'll glide for two, and it is so smooth. And Winslow really probably played the best stretch he's played as a professional prior to those injuries. Starting to really be consistent from beyond, and, and just more assertive to score as Eric Gordon back on track, knocking down that trip. Harden. Harden is three of nine. Whoa, he got that pass right through the grasp of Jones, and Tucker knocks down a long shot. You know, that's what happens when you stare at the basketball, and you start creeping in, thinking you're going to have to help because Harden's going to attack, and he's able to just lift it on a dime to Tucker for the triple. Harden there, oh, knocks it down. Yeah, there's a nice shot by Harden outside. Puts in a three. Harden's got three triples and 16 points to learn more. And that includes me, juniornba.com slash global championship. That is a terrific, terrific thing. It is. And my, my, my new partner in Brown, the rookie, Candace Parker, being an yes, ambassador there. She exactly. is on our players only crew, man. She is so much fun to work with. And terrific. Oh, Harden put out a three. Talk about terrific. <laughs> James Harden right on cue. Houston plus 21 points from three. Leading one time by 16. There's another triple, and that's P.J. Tucker, who sends it right down the chute. Harden, I can't tell you how difficult that pass was from Harden to get it out to Tucker. Miami is plus 12 in second chance points, too. Whiteside trying to block, and there was a foul. He was moving, and that was yeah. the problem. Tell you what, he did, didn't take as good of a fall as you ordinarily would like to James Harden. Hard in the other way, but now, as we said, they've lost eight of their last 11 on the road and four of their last five, and a pretty three right there. Daniel House. You know, James Johnson talked about it. They, he was coming back from his surgery. It was Pat Riley who got the whistle, took off the Armani suit, and got back out there, and he said he was in awe. Just With Deion Waiters. Yeah, Deion Waiters, who 
could be back in the next week to two as Harden able to knock down that triple. So, I mean, that tells you that the passion and that fire still burns for Pat Riley. Pella just picked up his first foul moments ago. Here comes Tucker over Adebayo. He puts it up in and that is the first field goal by the Rockets in over five minutes. Rebound by Olenek with a three. Rebound Capella. And even that offense, those misses, really good job with defensive transition by Miami, forcing the Rockets to half the score and a half court and on target was James Harden. Rebound by Harden. Finds Tucker in the corner with a triple. Olenek will grab onto it. And it's knocked away, saved by Harden wow, off the blade, out of bounds. <laughs> what that, a play. That is amazing. And that's a huge play, <laughs> eight-point <laughs> game. Amazing. Harden got the offense, the re defense rebound on the other end, and here just stays with it, comes up with the deflection, gets the steal, and then the presence to play it off of D. Wade there. Three, Gordon, good. That's how he uses that play. That play. That steal by Harden was an MVP caliber play, and all of a sudden, as much as they've struggled, the Rockets right back in it. It's Harden the other way, 7 of 21. He's got 31. Driving on the Bruder to the rack, and a foul. A 13 to 1 run by Houston. And they've got the lead back, 92 91. Gone back to that zone, and you can set this elbow screen, or you can get that play inside. The tucker there. That's what you normally do against the zone. You put a good decision maker at that free throw line. Harden has played 41 minutes with 33 points on 22 shots. Defended by Richardson. Three. No. Fouled on the play. On that three-point shot by Harden. Uh, he's just so crafty. Harden's got to be running on fumes, 42 minutes. Driving, kicking, Gordon, three, good! Big time shot by Eric Gordon. Two point game, 38 seconds to go. Harden, Gordon for three, off the rim, right side rebound, it's over! Miami has won their third straight. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on their old I-10 rival, the San Antonio Spurs. The question is, who's going to pick up the scoring, scoring tonight for the Rockets to give James Harding some help? Well, maybe he'll just have another 55-point game. Well, he can do that. He's capable. There's James to the basket. Can't stop him. At 6'5", he gets that ball up over his head, and he's so strong. James Harden. Bellinelli with a miss. Marco so, Bellinelli used to play for San Antonio years ago. They traded him away and he came back. James Harden. The beer. He may have to do it by himself tonight. Three for four behind the arc for James. What a pass. Oh, that's fun right there. Great pass over the top. Yaka Purtle got dunked on. <laughs> James to the bucket for two. Harden has 14, the rest of the Rockets 16 points. San Antonio doing the best they can to keep everybody else from scoring. Harden dribbles through everybody, puts up the jumper, and why not? He's just dribbling around out there having a good time. Harden, there's a double team on Harden. Capella, Bertans had no chance. So that's a combo right there, Harden to Capella. That's going to have to really pick up so that Capella can score around the rim, try to loosen that defense up a bit. In the corner, P.J. Tucker. That ball was delivered on time. Great pass from James Harden, and that was the quick read on the defense as well. All right, they're going to go down to DeRozan. Shot clock running down, he misses. Rockets will have nine seconds to get the final shot. Harden. By DeRozan, lays it off to Capella for the flush. Step back for Harden. Big shot, that's a great way to start the second half. Putting points on the board. Harden ends up with the ball now. House goes to the other side of the court. Capella comes over. 
to load up on this side as Harden takes it down the middle, puts it up and in. What a move by Harden. He went right into the teeth of the defense. And then with the Euro step to the basket. Rockets now with a three-point lead. Rockets defense playing the best it's played all season. Let's see if we can get a little offense. There it is, Eric Gordon. And the Rockets start off the third quarter on an 8-0 run. Won't go, tipped outside by Clark, who just checked into the game. Gerald Green, fly by, and he hits. Green late. Gerald Green shooting 46% from the field in his last 11 games. Back outside Bertan. He just doesn't miss. He's the one guy you don't want to leave. He is shooting 64% behind the three-point line in this month of December. That's called getting it done. That's around 90% effective field goal percentage. Wide open again, Gerald Green! points in this quarter. Harden steps back and fires. He had a double team on him. Made no difference. DeRozan with the jumper. Going high for the rebound is Clark. Rockets have five seconds. Down to four. Harden passes off to Clark. Shoots up the three. Ooh. Got it! Oh! That's Rockets basketball. Gary Clark stepped back and fired. Block won't be called. Capella with a slam. Referees didn't take it. Didn't take the bait. Down to Harden now on the block. Eric White trying to stay with him. Aldridge comes over to help. A little fall away, away from the first. Aldridge came over to help and he went the other way. Back outside to Harden now. Six, down to five. Harden. Got it. Offensive second chance opportunities. It's really working well for the Rockets tonight. That's three seconds, isn't it? Good and man, Lamarcus Aldridge missed a gimme. 122-121, Rockets. With a three-point lead, a basket here would be big. Six seconds. Four seconds. Oh, James Harden! With an MVP performance! So just after San Antonio took a one-point lead, the Rockets finished the game on a 12-4 run Harden with nine of the 12 points. Capella tonight, 21 points, 23 rebounds. And he is the Rockets player of the game brought to you by Frost Bank. Merry Christmas from Houston, Texas and Toyota Center. The Rockets face the Thunder. Oklahoma City with the third best record in the West. Houston starting to regain its winning form. The Rockets victorious in six of their last seven games. Harden on the take, beautiful move. What do I mean by that? Well, this is an Oklahoma City team that leads the league in forced turnovers. And they steal the ball at a high clip. You've got to put it in the basket to keep them out of transition. Houston started the year one and five. Starting to play better. Their win the other night against San Antonio, their first without Chris Paul this season, and ended a nine-game losing streak in which games uh, Paul did not play, including game six and seven of the Western Conference Finals last year, when they had that lead against the Warriors, but ended up bowing in seven games. Westbrook leads the NBA in steals. Adams gets it to roll down. But what you know about Russell is he, he, and he flat told me this once in a post-game interview, because I could care less about efficiency. There's one stat I want. That's W's. Yep. Capella can't finish on the first try. Gets it back and misses again. That's an interesting matchup between Adams and Capella. You've got the incredible athleticism, but then the strength yeah. that Capella's got to deal with on the other side. The power of Steven Adams on the low block. Hard, great dish underneath. Capella drops it in, plus a foul. If two commit to the ball, there's got to be backside rotation, right? 
And Adams decided to come over and give some assistance. He feels like uh, his guy is hung up. The rotation a little bit late. And this is where Capella, how about that pass? Right between the defenders. If you're going to trap, you can't let that pass happen that quick. Harden, what a drive. So hard to stop once he gets downhill. That's his second field goal. Because you see Harden sometimes extend the ball just to get the foul as he drives against the layup. And you know he's not in the act of shooting in those situations, but it looked like that the time he was. On the switch, it's Westbrook defending Harden. Harden gets past him, and Westbrook swats it off the window. What an athletic play by Russell Westbrook, exploding on the defensive end to get that block. For all you viewers out there, if you've not seen the play in game one where Giannis, his left foot is on the half court line, and he took one dribble and was at the cup. That's absurd. Have you ever seen anything Never. like that in an no. NBA game? We were watching it uh, when it happened, and the fact that he didn't even make it look hard. How Neither does James Harden on the drive, shielding the defender. No, seriously, how well does he use his physical strength? Steven Adams may be the strongest man in the NBA, and it was no problem for, for James Harden. Harden with Paul George, sticking a hand right in his face as he released the shot. Green pulls up, it won't drop. Look at Capella's effort, boy. Gordon. Noel long rebound. Haters on the floor for OKC has not played a lot lately. Westbrook pulls up and hits. So both his baskets today have been three-pointers. He's just relentless. This guy, he just keeps coming. Westbrook is fouled, and he'll go to the line. World's colliding there at the rim with Westbrook attacking the basket, and House trying to block it. Paul George hits his third basket. How smooth is that? Just nice and easy. Eight-point game, three minutes to go here in the first half. Harden picked up now by Grant. Harden with the step back and smokes the neck. He's got 15 here in the first half. Paul George gave that up there. They've been deflected by Gordon, so now you got Westbrook on to Ney. Feeds Adams, and that's another assist for Westbrook and Smith. And it's the right play. Again, Billy told us, uh, as Harden drills a three, that Westbrook, more often than not, has made the right play this year. Harden drives here, floats it home, 20th point. He's, he's ridiculous. Ferguson on Harden with a shot clock at seven, a seven second difference between the clocks. Harden trying to shake him, step back three, on the money! Another triple for Harden, his third, 23 points. He makes eye contact with Eric Gordon because that was the matchup he wanted. I thought he wanted to play bully ball with him. Instead, he makes that three. Harden feeds a cutting Adams who lays it in. Nice play. 2.9 to go, Westbrook with the steal. And not going to attempt a shot. An eight-point lead for Oklahoma City at the break. Here's Harden driving, it ties the game at 60. It's it's all those hesitations, change of pace. You get that defender standing up even just a little bit, and he goes right by you. Bucket and a foul. Westbrook on the reach in. House gets it to go, and he'll go to the line. Ferguson's done a solid job on Harden. You can't stop the guy completely. As Harden is going to go to the free throw line, just his second trip to the line. Well, remember LeBron James and the Lakers when they were going against Harden, uh, when Harden had that 50-point triple-double, his fourth career, that they, they had their hands behind their backs a few times because they knew if they stuck their hand in there to try to steal it, he was going to get you to slap the arm. Westbrook, beautiful hang and score by Russell Westbrook. Good hands by House. And now Harden out in transition, gives it to Tucker, lays it in. Playing off of Oklahoma City's turnovers. Feels like there's a speed right now to this Houston team. Adams from George, no. Tied at 70, midway through the third quarter. Harden for three, it's gone. Seven straight 30 point games for the reigning MVP. At one point, the differential in points off 
turnovers heavily favored Oklahoma City as Russell goes right to the cup. That looks like Russell Westbrook. Boy, it sure does. The end-to-end -end speed. And look how hard George has to work. You can understand George, 6 of 15 on one end. He's got a check. Harden on the other. Going to get a layup here, though. Westbrook, good look ahead. Love the look ahead by Schroeder and then the look up immediately to get Paul George that easy one. This is, boy, I'll tell you, they change ends quickly, don't they? Four-point lead for Oklahoma City, nearing four to go. Hard with a beautiful pass, and Nene with the finish. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he just manipulates the defense. Harden does such a good shot, a job getting them the shots they want. Well, he improved so quickly, and they just kept improving. There it is, hand of the cookie jar, bucket for Harden, and one. Schroeder picking up the foul, nine in the quarter, 32 on the day for Harden. Harden driving. Bounces to Tucker, blows by his man, floats it in. Here's Nader filling in for Alex Abrinas, who is out due to illness, and Nader can't knock down the three. Harden rocked the baby and hit the three over Ferguson. Wow. That was blocked, Gordon trying the three. Yeah, the Thunder shooting just 30% from three. They have 11 blocks, which ties a season high. Westbrook, great pass. And Diallo gets the basket. Well, why does Russell Westbrook average a triple-double? Just watch this pass. He's got the ball in his left hand. The other hand never has to touch it. I mean, that is beautiful. Seriously, how pretty is that? Hart gives it up to Capella for the block. Westbrook for three, in and out. Harden bounces it. Capella slams it. Largest lead today for Houston. And James Harden's a problem for everybody. Right now, he is picking this team apart, whether it's for himself or his teammates. Two good friends squaring off at a critical moment in the game. Known each other for 20 years, obviously play together with the Thunder. Harden's first three years in the NBA. Harden was the sixth man of the year then. He's got 39 points and a superstar today. Not friends in between the lines, however. Bruder got a hand up, and Harden couldn't hit. George, spot up three, buries it. Westbrook hit him in stride. You've got to identify Paul George. Like, he's been their best shooter. Harden against George. Harden trying to drive, got past George. Floater is good, and the lead is back to four. 41 points for James Harden. His seventh 40-point game of the year. They got to get it in. Paul George, catch and shoot. No good. Offensive rebound by Grant. And that's it. The Rockets have won seven of eight. We welcome you to game one of our Thursday night doubleheader from the Toyota Center in downtown Houston. The NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. It's the Boston Celtics facing the Houston Rockets, two of the hottest teams in the NBA. Happy holidays and happy new year from all of us. Tucker broke it out. Tucker's such an underrated defender, maybe because he's undersized. But one of the toughest players on this Rockets team. Tucker, the master of the corner three. Here's Arden's first shot. AJ hey, Tucker listed at 6'6", 245 pounds. Even Coach says, you know, we were transparent. We put everything on the table, and, and when you do that, there are some hurt feelings, but when guys put everything before, like hard going to the layup, putting his body on the line, then everyone usually falls in line, and it works out. Here is Harden, another three. The other day, Harden 15 for 35 from the field, including five threes, 41 points, although he was five for 16. His fifth straight game of 35 points or more. Now, before the game, Coach Antonio told us that Chris was closer to three weeks away from the team and that the team is not going to rush his return, Marv.
All right, thank you, Kristen. James Harden now four for six from the field. He has 11 points. The depth of the Celtics so important, especially on the wings where you have the guards that can change. Not that it'll help, because Harden to give anybody buckets, but Brown started on him, then Hayward. It was not Tice. Keep Tice off the guard. And the foul on Hayward is now the fifth yeah, against the trying to defend against uh, Hart, who fires. And hits another three. Oh, 17 oh, for Harden here in the first quarter. Five for seven from downtown. Well, the catch and shoot off the setup from Harden. Eric Gordon able to hit a three. Final seconds of the first. Harden with a nice bounce pass for the day. And a chance that pass and then hits. Capella the the now with nine points, five rebounds. Hart on a step back. Yes! As he hit over the six foot eight tights. Boston by one. Hart for three. Yes! He waited that time. Tice had his arm out telling Smart, come back and get him. Right when Smart came back for that transition, Hart let it go. The dribbling exhibition was led to the slip back. So it's a two-point lead. Hart with the cross court. The name with a series of holes. And Tice went down. Brown comes up short on a three. Hart go behind the back and fires. Yes. Timeout, Boston. Hart met by Morris. Hart on the drive. Come on, man. And Kyrie Irving knows that this is a serious matchup. Look at Kyrie Irving trying to come over for the block. You got the whole team trying to stop him. The minute he gets that space hard that he wants, he's going to attack you and finish so strong. Getting to the line, easy for him. Irving with his third point, number 37. It, it, isn't it amazing how... Harden can go through so-called slumps, not score since the last quarter, since the last minute of the first quarter, and you still look up and he has seven points. Just, just amazing. James Harden, 38 Dude, points, man. nine of 18 Dude, from three. The nine made three-pointers ties a career high. James Harden looking for number 10. And fouled by Ogilvy, who had come on just moments ago. Chevy Ogilvy, second-year man at the SMU. You know, Marvin, when we talk about this turnaround of Houston, sometimes it takes a catalyst on your team or maybe an opposing team. And I believe that when the Lakers came in here with LeBron and they had to fight to try to beat the Lakers, it seems like this team got their mojo, especially passion back. Harden is off, but he's fouled, hacked. He now has 42 points, make it 43. And the Rockets will make it eight wins the last nine games to go to 19 and 15. That's a long way since they were 11 and uh, 14 near the bottom of the West tonight. They do it without Chris Paul. They have won eight straight at home. After an incredible win over Dallas last night, Anthony Davis, Andrew Holiday, trying to do it again, taking on James Harden and the Red Hot Houston Rockets. Big game. We got a better crew here. Zach Zarba tossed it up, working with Mark Lindsay, Scott Wall, and P.J. Tucker for the first corner of the game. Right, you've got to stay there. That's his spot, period. Into the shot clock, A.D., the floater. Not his first choice. As it's cleared away, Capella getting down the floor gets the easy one. You can't walk into a game against the Houston Rockets. You're not going to be able to play catch up against them. Harden, free, and he's going to make you pay. One point lead for the Rockets. Total breakdown. Shot clock down. Keep your hands up. He's going to try to get you to reach. James Harden. 
Now Harden sizing it up on the step back. That's how good he is. Drew was right in his grill. That's good defense. And he took the right angle to, to contest without running into him. And he knows that Harden has a bunch of antics that go along with his offensive game. Good luck, Austin Rivers. Austin Rivers, don't forget, in D.C. a few weeks back, he personally beat the Pels. It'll be hard. What else is new? Six-point game, 24 to 18. Lately. It stays in play. And hard going to the free throw line. It's a good cut by Tim Frazier. Won't get the roll. Good cut. So the Rockets shoot. They've got a foul to give. And Hart, he takes the shot blocker out and puts it right into the body of Anthony Davis. Now to the Pels, gets stops. That has always been the dilemma. AD out there with Randall. Andrew. Harden, a little step back with a wall. And seems like he's better there than close to the rim. He gets another triple. 45-40 is James Harden. He's 6 of 11, 4 of 8 on his threes. And the league leader in scoring already has 20 points. Harden's triple. Man, you can't go into his landing space. I bet you know that. So James Harden trying to make it a five-point game. He's 6 of 6 at the stripe. He's got 22 and 7 boards already. And make it 23 for Harden. 10 on the shot clock. Harden, oh, lost the dribble. And he gets it back. He's breaking it off. And a step back. Boy, that's strong. You got to really be strong that deep. 53-48. Harden's got 26 of the 53. Harden on top of the basketball. Capella out there with Harden. Tucker. Harden coming on the weave. That's and trouble. a wide open one. Yeah. Nobody rotated over. And a good screen on the weak side. Knocked Drew off. This is by no means out of reach. And, uh, you know, you're just waiting for that spark, that, that intensity to pick up. And right now, it, it just hasn't hadn't reached that level yet. Well, that's off a simple high screen. And they took away the lob, but Harden cruised his way to the hole. Now Harden arrested Harden. Inside a 10 on the shot clock. The clear out up against AD. And over AD. He's got it. 12 points is the lead. Close to their biggest of the night at the wrong time for the Pels. Inside of seven and a half left. Hard with Capella. And nobody. I mean nobody. You and I saw that. It was like, guys, communicate on defense. Harden. Look at it. Biggest lead of the game. Halfway through the fourth. And James Harden, the catalyst again. He's got 34. Final shot is going to be Etwan Moore. And I don't think that impacts the city of lost wages. 108-104 is our final. It might. <laughs> Somebody's not happy about it. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. And tonight the Rockets are ringing out the old year, bringing in the new as they take on the Memphis Grizzlies. Harden gets a double team. Gerald's open, passed up the first look, made the second. But that's his job. Come in cold and knock down the shots. Look at all those blue jerseys going to the other side of the court to stay with Harden, but it didn't do any good. Yeah, James saw all those blue jerseys as well, so he put the brakes on and he stopped and stepped step back three, which he is the best in the league. Reset for Green. They're going to count it, but they're going to look at it, and I'm not sure if he got it off in time. Harden will bring it up. Anderson will stay on him. Now they pick him up, and he goes across to Gerald. Gerald will fire up again and hit again. Gerald Green has come off the bench, and he's hit three of his first four threes. Garrett Temple, youngster who was once a Houston Rocket with the miss. And James comes out of there with a the basketball. Crossover, Harden, Capella! Great pass, and good job by Capella to cut to the rim. So, again, the Rockets score before the defense gets set up. 18-3 run by Houston, and it started with the insertion of your man Gerald Green in the lineup. There he is again. There he hits again. Green, light, green. 
It's all green for him. Gerald Green says, why not? I'm hot. And Daniel House follows the ball. Long rebound. James Harden fires it up. Got it. And putting them up and laying them down. Yeah, and the Rockets already seven for 12 from the three point line. Harden with the alley oop and Capella does the rest. The Grizzlies are asking Omri Caspi to defend that alley oop, and there's no way that Caspi's going to be able to get up over the rim to guard that. It's Garrett Temple, good young man, in his ninth season out of the NBA. First team was the Houston Rockets. Harden puts it up and in. He would have stuck, too. He, he was the final cut for the Rockets. Oh, what a pass. Right back to where it started. <laughs> All the way around the horn. What a great offensive play right there. Started off with a great pass from Harden, and then his teammates returned the favor. Conley steps back, misses, and a miss at the basket by Jermichael Green. Harden Rivers, Harden with his fourth rebound there. Rebounds? He does that too. Assist? He does that, he's got seven. Daniel House with the rainbow! Three. Ten for 20 from behind the arc by the Rockets. They are sizzling. Kyle Anderson, who was number one draft choice of the San Antonio Spurs five years ago. Played his first four years with San Antonio, and there's Harden. It always looks Harden. like it's an alley oop, and then it goes in. I think he was thinking about the alley oop, but as uh, Gasol dropped back into Capella's lap, James, all he had left was just throw it up there and score. <laughs> oh, 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 an unbelievable three! What was that? From Montgomery County. <laughs> oh man, that was a two for one shot too. That's why he shot it at that time. The Rockets will have another possession after this. Grizzlies possession. Harden has now hit four or more three-pointers in eight straight games. That's the second longest streak in NBA history. Steph Curry has done it nine times. And a three-pointer by Jamichael Green. Harden backs up and tries it again. Yes! He does it again! James Harden! Has scored at least 40 points, three straight games coming into tonight. He's on his way to another performance. 28 points by Harden here at halftime. A 34 to 20 quarter. And the Rockets lead it by 23 points. Rockets have slowed their offense down a little bit. Let's see if Harden picks it up. House will fire a three. Boy, Daniel House. And Gerald Green, where would you be without him? Harden out to Rivers. Man. Playing with a superstar like James Harden makes the game very easy. There he goes again. He passes out of it to Daniel House. And we talk about how James makes the game so easy for his teammates. And all Daniel House had to do was just wait on that pass and drain an open three. Harden just keeps stepping a little further out. Anderson with the basket. Up ahead to Capella. Step back. And he's fouled on the play by Dylan Brooks. And now, go ahead. When James is looking at the defense and he sees all the blue jerseys concentrating on him, then he can step back and get a three anytime he wants. He's got three guys on him in the paint, and he's fouled again. With a chance to win their 10th home game here in December, or 11th home game. Capella with an acrobatic move. Harden got the assist. Conley to the basket, missed the layup. And there's the rebound. A triple-double, 43 points, 13 assists, and 10 rebounds. Harden's fourth triple-double of the year, the 39th of his career. And eight straight games of at least 35 points and five assists.
So the crowd got what they paid to see on New Year's Eve, a record-setting performance by James Harden. They continue to celebrate the back-to-back -back NBA championships here in the Bay Area and three in the last four seasons. This season, in defense of their title, they're getting great play from former MVPs Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. And tonight, they host reigning MVP James Harden, who is the league's number one scorer. Durant tried to go to green, broken up on the play, three on two. Here comes Harden, the trailing Cabela, and the dunk. Harden has made more three-point shots than any other player in the NBA. That one will go in from outside. Daniel House, who's a third-year player out of Texas A&M. Harden with a three. Short, foul. And what did Mike D'Antoni tell us? Well, on the step-back three, if you contest it, you're going to foul him. And we just saw that right there with Klay Thompson. Harden again, switch on D. Durant on top. Shot clock at seven. James with a three. And if you lightly contest, that's what you're going to get a dose of. It's green, the fake, back to James. Harden the long three, and right down the pipe it goes. Pickpocketed Harden is by Livingston. Numbers, four on two. Durant the three. Rebound by Capella. And now James Harden. Harden into Livingston with one fake after hey. another. And Capella is there to receive the ball and flush. Tucker is struggling with his shot. Harden three, got it. Island. With Iguodala out there defending. Bell played in the Phoenix game on Monday. Had a season high 10 points, a season high six rebounds. Not seen much time this season. That's a Tucker three. He has been struggling with his shot. Eight nothing run by Houston. Bell inside uncovered. Bell looks perhaps a bit confused on the communication. Tucker, who just had the ball moments ago, came in this game 2 of 20 over his last three games. Tucker tonight, 1 of 2. That's a 3 by James Harden. And now Harden's got 20. Harden, 20 points on 17 shots. Capella up high and temps it in. Gerald Green here, another 3, 2 in a row. Rick Cook is in. Harden knocks it away. 24 second shot clock violation. Now this is when they would need. Watch this defense by Hart. Comes down and still gets the block on Cook. Terrific play. And Cook has the ninth highest shooting percentage from three point territory in the NBA. It's a long shot by Harden. It's up and in. They rule it a three. That's what I would like to have seen the last position. Iguodala takes it hard. Green knocks it away. Picked up by Tucker. And here comes Harden. Nice feet inside, Ennis. What a pass by James Harden. His 11th assist now to go along with the 25 points. Harden, 25. Oh, man. Make it 28. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And a Capella with a nice toss by Harden. 12 dimes now Ooh. for Harden. Inbound quickly, Harden two. And oh, got it. What a Harden touch. with 30. Oh, right between the legs. Into Capella. What Thank a you. pass by Harden. Three to Red. Rebound by Daniel House. At the other end, Capella. Doubled, fouled, got it. Wow. Book it. James Harden. Step back three. Good! Right between the eyes. Durant. Rebound Harden. Harden three. Rebound Curry. Good if it goes. We've got overtime. Fighting back for a 20 point deficit. Harden triple. Look it. And that's the problem if you're Andre Iguodala. You can't wait for the call or try to flop against Harden. If you don't get the call, that's a wide open three for the MVP. It's a Harden three. Oh, Good. What a shot. <laughs> and he was holding on to the jersey Woo. of Kevin Durant afterwards. Bumps into Curry. Draws the defense of Thompson. Three. Rivers. Good. Austin Rivers a triple. It's Durant over top of what a shot by Kevin Durant. On the fadeaway, too. Harden for the lead. 
Rebound tipped. Picked up by Durant. Here comes Thompson in the White House to the rack. Harden will drive looking for two. No and a foul on Draymond Green. Harden ties it at the line. Where he's now 8 of 9, 41. Timeout taken. It's Durant. Makes a move, lost the ball, tries to get it, saves it, saved inside, outside Curry, two, three. Harden trying to get free, down to three, down to two, it's a three, good, good, he got it, James Harden a flamethrower, incredible shot, Rockets by one, with one second to go. It's Durant, it's a three, and the Rockets have won! Five lead changes in overtime. James Harden, the reigning MVP, playing the part to the hilt tonight. Welcome in, everybody. Beautiful weekend for basketball. Last night, it was Oklahoma City and the Thunder in town. Tonight, it's James Harden, the Beard, and the Houston Rockets. Harden right now at the top of his game. And the Rockets have won six in a row. He leads the league in scoring at just under 34 a game. Not just one guy can handle him, but Evan Turner's certainly going to give it a try tonight with the rest of the Blazers, who check in at 22 and 17 on the year. Tied for sixth best right now in the West. Houston, the fourth best in the West at 22 and 15. Third and final meeting of the year between the two clubs who are even at one and one. Side it comes to Nurk, has the match up on Tucker, leans in. That one hangs on the iron. Houston the other way. Harden on the run. Rivers has hit three threes here early. Harden into the paint and using the arms, selling the call, and Aminu comes to get him. It sends Harden to the line for two. Dave retreats, goes to his right, stumbles in, finger roll off the back iron. Great move. Harden the other way. They're pecking away at him. Step back. They'll try to slow him up in transition. Harden comes off trying to penetrate. High scoop. Up and in. It's tough coming into a new situation after not playing for a year and kind of finding your way. So it's nice to see him in a groove. There's no question he's a great shooter. He's on a roll. He's confident. His confidence is high. He's a big believer to be a good shooter. Harden met by Damian Lillard. Pawn at him. In he comes. Pitches cross court Rivers for three. Oh, he flushes another one. Rivers, five threes. Harden drives right up the shoot. Easiest bucket yeah. he's attempted tonight. That's the first time he's gotten that much separation from him. Harden looking at a double team. Veers away from Aminu. Steps back and knocks down the triple. That's okay. You cannot be discouraged. Evan knows Harden does that to everybody. What Harden has not seen happen as much as already we've seen happen this, er this much early in the game is the strip. E E.T. with two or three strips already on that snatchback. Wait, speaking of that Iguodala thing, he yep. had a great response to that on social media after the game as Harden trots his way behind the three-point line. But Iguodala posted a clip from the movie He Got Game, and he can get going in a hurry. Only one of six players in the league that has had multiple games with 16-plus made field goals and Capella, he says, read my numbers too. I'm second in the league at blocks. I came into this game with 100, or I'm sorry, with dunks. Came into the league with 143 of them. As Gerald Green now goes back to his natural habitat behind the three-point line. There's other Harden ways to go about back. it. Oh, he knocked it down from three land. So back-to-back -back triples, Lillard, and then Harden counters. Blazers by 15, Harden the end of the lane. Trailing as Aminu catches him and forces him to go another direction. He'll lean to the cup and lay it in. It's a good move. Chief hopped up on the high side, took away the strong left hand to the middle, and Harden went with the right. Harden on a screen. Laid it up and in. It looks like he was able to just waltz his way to the rim, which he was, but Nurt stunned it at him, thinking he was maybe going to make the pass. Harden doesn't make the pass. It feels like to me, with the way the Blazers are efficient offensively, the only way Houston gets in this game oh. is off of turnovers or miscues. The ball just a little too far outside of the grasp of Lehman. This pass is thrown with better accuracy to Ennis, who will redirect it up and in. And the Blazers' lead is at 11 with 2.20 left in the third. James Harden circling into the lane, lobs it up top. There's Capella with a two-hand jam. They found success right there because they were able to hit Evan with the screen. Harden. Blow by counted. If it goes, it does. 
And fouled as Lehman came over the forearm to clip him. Here's Harden now with it. Working on Evan Turner. Juggled it. Came up with the handle. Lean back banker up and in. Blazers have nine tenths of a second. And they'll come at bounds to Lehman. Who has it blocked at midcourt. So the third quarter comes to an end. And the Blazers head to the fourth with a lead. Harden off the screen. Dame on the flyby. Readjusts. Harden gets new dribbles from Capella. Drops it low to Capella, rolling to the hole for the jam. Five and a half left in the fourth. Harden comes back, steps back for three, and got it. So he hits his first bucket here in the fourth quarter. Harden outside, flinging the three. No rebound, Damian Lillard. And a foul called. It was late. Yeah, they're calling it on ET, saying he pushed P.J. Tucker into the shooter. This guy can score quickly, as we know. Here comes Harden. Challenged by Evan Turner. Switching his amino. Harden using a lot of clock, getting off a three, got it. James Harden drills the three. And the Blazers now down to two possession lead with 32 seconds remaining here in the fourth. The Blazers win the season series tonight against Houston, two games to one. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the first place, Denver Nuggets. Down court to Capella, who's surrounded, two and one. That's the way to do something with it. Another great pass ahead pass from James Harden. Well, Harden's just determined to beat it, and there he takes it in and he draws the foul from Bill Seth. And it hasn't been a good uh, couple of games for Houston against those guys. Been kind of giving us a rash. Yeah, they have. I was going to say, brought to you by Destiny. <laughs> but, you know, those two guys both played together for Denver. Capella. Knew he had a little guy on him, so he just took Murray right to the basket. Another beautiful pass from James Harden. James is realizing that he's getting double teamed right away, so he's getting rid of the ball early. Clive, when you Clive, when you see that double team on Harden, you used to get a lot of those too. What if you just have to remain patient? Well, as a teammate, Bill, you got to be expecting that. And when you get it, do something with it. Because if you do, it'll take the double team away from James Harden. That's a good point, Drex, and that's what uh, the Rockets have been doing to other teams that have been doubling James Harden. They've been knocking down their shots. Murray with a long three. Now, he's not a great three-point shooter, but he can shoot it everywhere else. He's got a myriad of moves, but he only shoots 31% from behind the three-point line. P.J. Tucker says, don't leave me open. You've been reading those stats lately, but I'm still a 38% three-point shooter. There's a double team again as... Capella's able to catch it. He's got to beat the Joker. Hooks it up and in. At 2-8, uh, uses both hands on that hook shot, and he looks pretty comfortable doing it. A timeout taken by Denver. Let's send it to Julia Morales in the rooms to go loud. Oh, P.J. Tucker with a new career. He's tied his career high with five three-pointers in this game. There's the two blue jerseys out front. Now it's just Murray and Harden. Ives licking his chops. It's his oh. He fell down. And oh. 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 Harden with a cold-blooded three. Man down, and he fouled him. So Harden drains the three and gets an and one. Look at Chris Paul. He's holding his head. Oh, my goodness. Beard the beard. Well, it's a four-point play, and it's the first field goal of the game for James. Jokic trying to take it in on Capella. Look at P.J. Tucker. He saves the ball. Here comes Harden. Rockets have a five-on-four advantage. Harden will shoot the three again. Oh, yes! Seven points in two shots. Staying right on him with Torrey Craig. And Harden trying to bump him off. He does. Shoots a three. Got it. James Harden with 18 points in the last two minutes. Oops. James took it right away from Paul Millsap. Rockets get a fresh 14 seconds. It's already down to seven. Step back by Harden again. Deadly. Absolutely deadly. 11th 
straight game. Harden has made at least four three-pointers. That extends his own NBA record. Double team again. Capella comes outside, takes it to the basket for two and one. Capella on that double team is punishing the guard. Murray got it inside for two. When he gets to the basket, he's tough. Capella, great pass. That was a 75-foot pass over the top that hit Capella perfectly where only he could catch it. Gerald Green. Oh, man. That's a two-pointer, however. They're going to look at it, but they called it a two. Gerald Green with another. That time it was a three. Green light. Arden Murray goes right by him. Drops it off to Ennis from the corner. Got it. Timeout taken by Denver. Arden steps back, fires his. Amazing. Yeah, the biggest guy on the court. By Plumley too. Plumley was all over him, did not foul him, and yet James still drained. Good play by PJ as he knocks it free. Four steals now for P.J. Tucker. Capella by Fella. It's great to have a big man to help James Harden. When James gets doubled by, by the Nuggets, he knows that Capella's open. 25 points for the big guy. Great pass to Capella. Takes it in for two. They just don't have an answer when Harden passes out of that double team. Good hustle. Another offensive possession. 14 offensive boards for Denver. Harden steps back, fires, and hits! James Harden with his sixth three-pointer of the game. The Rockets on a 15-4 run. Timeout, Denver. Rockets are 21-43 behind the arc for 49%. And Denver is 7 of 28 behind the arc. And there's Harden to the basket. His first two-point bucket of the night. Well, the Rockets with possession to start this game off. Let's see how they guard Harden as Rivers instead will bring it up. Harden with the pocket pass out to Tucker for three. P.J. Tucker hits seven three-pointers on Monday night and trying to pick up where he left off. Harden inside, meanwhile, draws the foul on the play. I love these guys from SMU. They are tough and they are sound. Sterling Brown, really good. Harden with the floater. Gets his first field goal of the game, four points in all. It's Capella, Green, Harden. Ennis and Harden this time gets it to fall off glass. This game the first of a bunch of road games for the Milwaukee Bucks. Pretty daunting schedule ahead over the next month. Here's Clark. And he drills the three. Gary Clark, undrafted rookie. And a slow start in the first half for Harden, but will heat it up quickly when he's ready. Harden changes gears inside for the easy flush. And if they're gonna stand on your left side and force you right, just blow by him and then read the help. If the help comes, drop it off. If not, lay it up. Harden in the paint again. Corner three on the way, good. But again, they're standing on that left side, forcing him to his right, and making him make plays off the dribble to his right. There's that step back, three, and one! It doesn't take long. And that's the killer. And I think a big question going forward for a lot of these teams is, how much should you be trying to contest? That's clearly a foul. Yeah. To me, you can't contest that. You can't be lunging forward. Yeah, that's the new edict this year. You got to give the shooter room to land, and that was clearly a foul against Hill. Harden with a step back three. Got another one. Shaking his head. 
looking at Milwaukee's bench saying, you can't guard me now. And there's that step back three. Money. Cash. It's Capella rolling. And Lopez with another block inside. Two on one. That's the third block for Lopez. Bledsoe had it knocked away. It'll stay Milwaukee basketball. George, what's up? There's Bledsoe again sitting on Harden's left hand. That time Harden got the bucket. But I, I, again, I think he's got to keep trying to score. Harden inside to Capella for an easy dunk. Austin Rivers, Doc's son, going to the bench. Great Euro step by Harden for the bucket. And the lead is up to five. Houston in the middle of a nine to nothing run. So we're talking about the number of touches that Harden gets per game, Jeff. He gets another one here. I guess one of the keys is going to be for Mike D'Antoni as he knocks down another three and looks at Chris Paul and says, I got your back. Come on, How stop. You... That's impossible right there. <laughs> he makes it look like easy. That's not even a play. He just walks to the ball, gets the ball. One dribble, bumps the guy off and shoots a three from the corner. And look who took another charge. Actually, that's going to be a block this time against Ilyasova. That's his fourth foul. Green countering with the three at the other end. Tenekumpo over to Brogdon. Malcolm Brogdon has it stuck on automatic right now. And not one shot, I don't believe, has been outside of the paint. He's got 22. Harden broke his ankle. Couldn't cap the shot. Stare down three on the way. And Houston plays at a very slow pace compared to the rest of the league in the bottom five. But they can run. They have, always have a half-court answer. Harden Jeff with another three. Harden from deep. That's impressive, too. They're never out of it. The lead down to seven. Harden. Rivers on the drive. Yes! Timeout Bucks. And the building is hot. Let's so with 10. Harden. Three was way off. And another possession. But he tried to lob it up, and it went in. Hey, when you got it popping, those things happen. Harden got it. One of the rare times he was able to get back to his left hand. Did a good job of manipulating Brogdon to get around back to his left and hit the floater. Staring down Brogdon. Brogdon lost his balance. Harden couldn't make him pay. One thing you have to notice tonight is they have some a few like Austin Rivers. I mean, they have different guys in the lineup now, but the one constant would be the the, the, the corner shooting and Mr. Harden on that high pick and roll. Tucker forced his way inside and scored. Doesn't score a lot off the dribble. Yeah, he's one of those three point, those three corner, three point shooting guys from the corner. Next up to the gas will be the Lakers on Sunday. Rolling inside Tristan, taking his time against Tucker. The right hand jump hook rolls off. Yeah, Sunday with no LeBron James. Just hard on the back end. There's the step back. There's three. He's a 42 percent shooter on step back threes in the last 10 games. Yeah, he the, he has perfected that move. But it's not the first time the NBA has seen it. <laughs> first got it back off the block. Here comes Jetty attacking again. Weaves his way. Had a block though by Capella. He's got great timing. Young man on the Switzerland. Here comes House. Oh. Oh. Blocking foul on Tristan Thompson. Oh. In the restricted area. Con measures. Short though. Here comes Hart. Well, the one thing Houston does a little better now is play defense. Here comes Capella on the throwdown. And that's where the Cavaliers have to watch it. This team is a professional running team. But what I like is the force Jetty plays with when he puts it on the deck. 
He knows what he wants to do there. His heart backs out for three. Boy. Again, that's a hard shot to make when you're backing up away from your target, but he is exceptional at it. Runs those pick and rolls, of course. He runs more isos than anybody in the league. And Hart draws his first whistle of the night. One, I'm sure, of many to come. J.C. sends the three. Rebound to Hart. Got by Sexton and got to the hole. Yeah, you, you, gotta hit him. you gotta stay on that left side. You just have to sell out. Hart with the offhand. Cut off by Dillon. Lives on the left shoulder. Hart. When he does that little dance, that little three-step, doot, doot, doot. When he does that, you have to go take a step towards him. Meets Tucker in the corner. Good decision. Tucker drained it. It looked like he was going to set the lob up and start to throw the fastball to the corner. James Harden is 16. So he's hit four triples so far. Harden sends a three. Yep. No, he's done. He's had 12 straight games. Coming in with five triples or more. Blue Jackets coach John Tortorella with six on the career win last night. First American coach to do that in the NHL. And Mike D'Antoni has mentioned just two away from 600. So Capella got inside for two. He has 7.35. Same hairstyle that uh, Shooter from Atlanta had with the little gold piece in the top. That's right. <laughs> and he blotted it out that, that orange <laughs> ball that he was going for. 57-35. Hard to between the legs. Oh, he's getting for show against he's, he's getting fancy now. 60. 35. 62 35. Hard to the hole. Harden back the other way. <laughs> he is uncanny with that man. He as soon as he feels your body or arm anywhere near it, he just takes that arm and holds on to it and gets right to that basket. A little bit uh, under uh, behind the, the leg, under the leg, behind the back. <laughs> uh, a rocket mortgage engineer to amaze. Yeah, when they start doing that, they don't feel you. Hard to dance with it. Rhythm. Sit down. Yeah. That little step back three step. <laughs> wow. You're right. Their bench is not what you would call. He takes and makes more corner threes than anybody in the league. Thompson had the ball knocked away by Hartman on the entry attempt by Jetty Austin. Rim running is Capella, and he was fouled. Now there is in part of Harden's game that has really stepped up. The assist part has really stepped up in using what he does best to get other people's better. Rivers. control of it on the way up and he still had enough time to, to read to gather himself and knock it down tough pull away for Alec Burks no good mm -hmm. shot 40 percent from the floor in the first half mm -hmm. and Houston 58 here comes Harden very easily to the goal man, and man. a foul and those are situations where what happens in those situations the weak side guy somebody has to step up and take him but Tristan couldn't do it because he had to worry about the lob pass the switch Jetty has to pick up Harden Nudge Austin twice backs out for two. He is very uncanny at forcing your body weight to go too far to one side and stopping on a dime and shooting the shot. I want to disregard older generation players. Well, thank you, Tiny. Archibald did it too. I just want to let you know now. Well, I'm right there with you. Art sticks to three. When he goes into that little two-step, three-step dance, yeah. Yeah. you know the shot's coming, but you can't stop it. You gotta shoot 50% in twos to equal 33% in threes, and so yep. that's why so many of them are taken. Hard to get face, he was fouled. And you got to be wary of his uh, four-point play possibilities because he leads the league in that department, too. He's got now the name. Probably didn't expect him to explore the way he has with the Rockets. And the, uh, let's face it, he's going to be a, a Hall of Famer someday. Oh, yeah. Well, one thing, I couldn't see him and Westbrook playing together. Very easy off the dribble against Jordan Clarkson. And the, the, center of the, the center of the lane should not be empty like that. Clarkson had it partially blocked. Back on the Rockets. Look at Harden going to work. Oh, just too easy. Mesmerizing dribble by Harden leading to the 
a little flip to Capella. Driving, Jack knifing a tough shot on the reverse side. Yeah. But that's his game. Says, I got it too. Running the floor for the big fella. James Jones, James Jones, rather this. He got his triple double hard did with the rebound. That's the uh, applause you heard. Yeah, he, he wants that little dance. He dots the eyes, you would say. James Harden with 43. Hey. Dr. Cat, I mean, this is just wow. constantly just shredding the Cavalier defense. Yeah. And they've got injuries currently to Chris Paul and Eric Gordon. So despite all of that, the Rockets are just coming in here rolling, having won 13 of 16. And the reason for that, number 13, yeah. James Harden, spectacular. They spread it out, let Harden go to work, driving on Fournier. Evan not committing the foul in the first points of the night for Houston, scored by that man, James he, Harden. He is a great scorer. He's going to get his, David. You just got to limit opportunities. Near turnover by the Rockets. Now a three-point shot is good. They're going to take an average of 43 threes per game. Vucevic, his second attempt, rebounded by Tucker. Long toss ahead to Capella, ahead of Vucevic, and lays it in. It's a great rim run by Capella, and James Harden has a lot of trust in that young center. Harden on the drive, and Steve Clifford does not like the way his team has come out of the locker room. Not everything is anything. Harden with the lob, and Capella is able to slip it in. Harden on the drive. It's Six like points. The game is in slow motion for James Harden. I mean, he's just got the ball on a string. Yeah. He's dribbling it. And a corner three for Daniel House. House has two threes tonight. Harden rebounds the Fournier miss. House. Daniel House from James Harden. Transition bucket for the Houston Rockets. Jeff, I thought the season hopes were pretty much dashed as far as making a deep run. And then the Magic signed Rafer Alston as House knocks down another three. So it's not Harden, it's House and Rivers for this Houston team. And Ross with an open three. Houston does a pretty good job of defending the three-point shot. They get ahead of the pack again. James Harden again. Capella just getting a step on Vooch. And Harden just letting it go. Harden no good, but a delayed whistle on the foul. And one dude with the personal. Ooh, tough break for Isaac. James Harden. I'll tell you what he does, David. Changes speeds, but he gets his shoulders squared and into the body of the defender as well as anybody that's playing in our league. I, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Harden floats it in. Harden. He's got 13. No threes. Rebound is two taken by Houston. Green will reload for three again. Well, just too good a shooter. Vucevic missed the dunk. Aaron Gordon picks up hard at this time, and he knocks down his first three of the game. Ten in the quarter. Sixteen in the game for James Harden. Harden lobs it for Capella. Ninth assist for James Harden. Clint Capella, another assist for Harden, that's 10. Vucevic tried to turn the corner, and Harden got the ball from behind. And Capella at the other end from Harden. Well, they've come out of the timeout, playing well. Cut the lead to five, Harden down the middle. Challenged by Vuce and Isaac, but he still floats it in. Harden driving, leaning and lunging it in, and a foul on the Magic. Vuce does not like the call. And he goes to work again. Put on your hard hat. And a foul on Fournier. He just flops his wrist down in frustration. Here comes Harden down the middle. Straight down the middle goes James Harden. 26 in the game. Third time tonight.
James Harden with 32. Tucker drives. A couple of big baskets by P.J. Tucker. He had no field goals through three quarters. Two big ones in the fourth. Harden a high floater down and in. Took it out of his hands. Ran him off a couple of screens, David. And the Magic win it. 116 to 109. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball tonight. The Rockets taking on the very tough Memphis Grizzlies. Carter puts it up with a miss. You notice how James didn't fully rotate all the way out to Carter, kind of encouraging him to shoot. That's part of the scouting report. James from the baseline. Right off the bat, James Harden's looking to score. I bet in his mind he thinks he's got to score 50 tonight if the Rockets are going to win. Step back. Yeah, it's back. He made only one three last night out of 17 attempts. Here's Harden now with another step back, and this time he's fouled by Carter. The previous three that James made in the corner, he argued with the ref saying that he got fouled. So this time, as Carter gets up underneath them, see, there's not any space. So that's a foul in today's NBA. You have to allow the shooter to land. You can't get into his space. All right, Carter trying to slow down James Harden. Harden. He's going to try to send him over to Gasol, and there's another three by James. Last night when James's legs looked so dead and he was 1 for 17, he didn't stop shooting the threes. Well, Blummer's a lot better on that microphone than he is at the free throw line. Jackson with a miss. He's pretty good at the third base there too, wasn't he? Yep. Well, he was third base, he was shortstop, he was second, he was in the outfield. The guy could do everything. And in the, he hit a home run for the White Sox that killed us. Harden on the drive, lays it up and in. Oh, Gasol came over to try to challenge that shot, and he took a elbow to the nose. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I love the beer. There's that double team you were talking about immediately on Harden, and he leans in anyway, gets two and one. How slick is that? Hakeem just went over the top of yeah. the double team. Yeah. Turnaround jump shot with a little bit of a fade, which we oh. call the dream shake. Just Great play by Clark over guarding his man. House, wraparound pass, Nene trying to catch it. He does, and Harden saves the pass. Carter's right up in his jersey. And Harden says, no problem. How about that guy? I think Carter's going to come over there and tell JB, hey, look, give me some help. They're giving him help. Doesn't do any good. Rockets have slowed this down to play the Memphis style of basketball. They can't run. They don't have anybody on the other end. They got Harden, though. That's three for six. Harden's hitting 50%. The rest of the team has made only two. Harden working on Caspi goes flying right by him. So Harden with 32 points. And right now, we can't recall that he's had that many points in a half. In the first half, he's had 31. There's a steal by Harden, and he's going to have 34. <laughs> Harden again with the basketball. On the drive again, lays it up, and it hangs on the rim, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. And he's going to take a tour through the stands, give everybody some high fives, say hi to his mom as he comes around the corner there. See, Jackson's not really guarding, or he's not really guarding Gary Clark. The help guys are just sagging way off the other shooters. Harden with the step back. And then he looks at Gasol like, you can't stop that. Harden with the step back. Got it again. James Harden with 41 points in 27 minutes. Harden falls back and hits again. James Harden. We jokingly said he might have to get 60 tonight. He's got 44. Harden all the way through Memphis, and he missed the layup. Oh, that would have been spectacular. Listen at the MVP chance for Harden. This is his 10th 40-point game in his last 16. 46 points for Harden. Harden again with 
Six on the shot clock. Takes it inside, throws it up and in. Unbelievable. He invented that shot on the way up. House will wait for Harden's arrival. Step back. Oh! It's a three plus one. The Harden way. A four pointer. Come on, man. Seriously. The step back three is an iconic shot. Just like the sky hook, just like the dream shake. James Harden's step back three is unstoppable. It's unguardable. It's an MVP type shot. 52 points for James Harden going for 53. It's his third 50 or more points this season in a game, the 12th of his career. Hey guys, and if he keeps going, he's gonna get 60 tonight. Easily. 60 is his career high. He's got 53 and 9 and make it 55. And counting for James Harden. That's Harden's season high now, 55 points. James Harden is changing the way the game is being played. And he draws a foul. He'll come out to a standing ovation. James Harden, 57 points and nine rebounds in 34 minutes. Second all time. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Brooklyn Nets. There's a loose ball picked up on the turnover by James. Got Allen behind him if he wants to drive, and that's exactly what he did. Another advantage of having the small lineup is all five players for the Rockets on offense will play around the three-point line. And there's Harden to the basket for two and one. You can see James with the isolation right here going to his right hand after the foul. And if Graham doesn't get help, James may have 60 tonight. Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, uh, is a former boss of mine. I was under his umbrella for a few years, and it was very exciting. I had a lot of fun. Uh, he made me a lot of money. So, you know, I, I'm glad to see him again. I'm glad to see him back here in Houston because Houston has a great, it's a great city with uh, great boxing fans. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much for having us. All right, Bill, up to you. Thank you, Michelle. The baby bull. Boy, he was a heck of a fighter. Yes, he was. Also went to the U of H and graduated. I mean, this is really a good kid. Harden weaving through the defense. And he gets the shooter's roll. But every time he beats one white jersey, another white jersey's right there waiting on him. The Nets are basically just selling out and guarding James Harden with all five guys right now. And Russell again. This time he barely clips the iron. And Clark gives it up to James. Push it. He got the numbers. There you go. Yeah, and that's why the Rockets have to play in transition. Play before that zone gets set up. But you got to get a defensive rebound in order to play that way. Harden one on one. Step back, fires, hits. 8-0 run by Houston to take the lead by one. Hearing the five-minute mark left to play in the second quarter. Here's Harden bouncing off to Nene for two. All right, they, since the game Monday, they figured out a little better place for Nene to receive that pass. 327 left to play. And good baseline pass. P.J. Tucker got it from Harden. Dinwiddie with the miss. Gerald Green open again. Green light says, you know what? I can make these. I'm a proven shooter. He is not afraid. Harden with the basketball. Harden with the drive all the way to the bucket for two and one. And that, that's where James is going to find his open opportunities is in transition before the defense gets back and gets set. There's a miss from the outside by Karutz. And Harden off to the races again. This time he's fouled again. Harris trying to pass it inside. P.J. got the steal. Harden in the open court. Harden to the bucket. Sets up Gerald Green. Yes. And the Rockets take the lead by one. Timeout, Brooklyn. Harden draws a foul. He'll shoot two. 
Just not much space for James Harden to drive here tonight. The Nets have at least three guys that are waiting to guard James after he gets by the original defender. Drive by Harden for two. Looked like Dinwiddie was standing in cement. Inside, basket put up, would not go down. Good defense by Nunley, straight up and down. Harden steps back, fires, hits! James Harden with a 17-point third quarter. This is the 18th straight game that Harden has scored at least 30 points. Harden to the rack again, two and one! And James Harden will be going to the free throw line for 34 points as he, look at all the white shirts around him again as he slices through there, gets the and one. If he makes this free throw, he will have averaged 40 points for the last 20 games. Is that good? That's special. Incredible numbers. 20 game streak of averaging 40 in the NBA. And he's 10 for 10 from the free throw line. Harden has Rockets the last 11 points by Houston. Now James to the drive. And he got a foul by Hollis Jefferson. Well, there's good news for Houston that Harden's back in the game. The bad news is, is Eric Gordon went to the locker room. And Harden puts it up and in. He said he only needed about a minute. Side to Allen, went for the dunk, and Nene said, get that stuff out of here. Nene said, no, no. Hard. Boy, he always gets the spin just right. Going to his left. Harden's 15th 40-point game this year. Harden steps back on the rookie for three. That's his own buster. James Harden with 47 points. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Harden steps back over Karutz. Got it. There was almost another man down. Almost pulled him up by the roots. A miss, but what a rebound by Harden. Of all the great offensive things he has done tonight, James Harden just made the play of the game with a rebound. All right, here we go. No timeouts for the Nets. They've got to have a three. There's Dinwiddie putting it up and got it! Dinwiddie with a three to tie the game. Six seconds left. The ball is in Harden's hands. Harden steps back, fires, and misses. And we're going to overtime. Harden time again. Takes it inside, draws a foul, gets a basket! Austin trying to get it over. They're double teaming Harden. There's a bounce pass. Harden gets it out to the youngster. Oh! A cold blooded three for James Nudley! Nudley goes outside. Three pointer, good. Boy, this team just has no quit. Graham already with a career high. 19 on the shot clock. And Allen with an easy two. Allen with a big free throw. And he missed. The rebound. The Nets come out with it. Only a two-point game. The Nets with the basketball. Dinwiddie again with the ball. Gets by Nunley. Big step inside for two and one. And he gives the Nets a one-point lead. Harden's got it. Now the double team comes in a hurry. Harden back to Rivers. Big shot. Missed it. Rebound, Allen. Got a fouling. Didn't foul him fast enough. Clark will bring it in. Looking for Gerald in the corner. And he missed. That's a play they ran earlier in the year to win a game for Houston. So the Nets close on a 10-0 run. And welcome to Houston, Texas, where tonight we debut this season's NBA Saturday Night Primetime. We'll feature the NBA's elite teams and the league's brightest stars and we'll begin at the Toyota Center, home of the Rockets, 
who this evening will host the Los Angeles Lakers in an important January game for both teams. Harden gets past Ingram, gets in the lane. Finds some room, nails the three-pointer for his first shot of the night. Harden gets inside, flips it up, count it, and the foul. You think you have him covered behind the arc. His ability to get to the rim, and he is an elite finisher. Here's Brandon Ingram, stripped to the ball. And it's got a piece, here comes Harden. Harden scoots inside and lays it in. Again, wide open is Gary Clark, and this time he nails it. Clark, the undrafted rookie from Cincinnati. Green, corner three. And a quick timeout for Luke Walton, who has some words to say to Tony Brothers. Back up to 16. Boy, Lakers have such a bounce to their step here in the first half. And they play so many players. Only Wagner's not gotten in. Count it and the foul. Harden this time going to the basket and a chance for the traditional three-point play. Harden, the step back, gets a good look and drills his second three-pointer. They had missed nine in a row prior to that. Mike, well, I just uh, spoke to Mike D'Antoni and said, Coach, I know you've seen the zone before. What's giving you problems with the Lakers zone tonight? He said, it's really nothing they're doing. We missed 17 wide-open threes, and he said it was the double whammy because while they were missing their threes, the Lakers are really good in transition. So he said that really hurt us. Other little things. We didn't get back a few times on defense, didn't switch properly. He said all little things we can clean up. We didn't play well in that first half, but we know we can get back in it. Mike. Harden, step back, that's good. James Harden, his third three-pointer. Rondo, by the way, has been cleared to practice. So he's not that far off from returning. Chandler, an errant pass. He was put in a tough spot. Harden goes right at Kuzma, lays it up and in. McGee off the dribble, floats it up, shot won't go. Fight for the rebound, still McGee comes up with it. Pass inside, deflected by Harden. Harden the step back. Bang! Clark wide open, drills it. After struggling in the first half, there's seven of 13 from three here in the third. Hart off the fake, drives inside. Good aggressive move from Josh Hart. Green, left-handed, banks it home. Gerald Green with 14 points off the bench. Good defense there from the Rockets to force the 13th Laker turnover. Harden gets inside, bank shot's good. But Mike, that defense was Harden. You don't try to post him up. You gotta face him up and try to go by him. Stevenson gets past Rivers, pass stolen by Harden. Harden, top four in the NBA, and steals the crossover and the slam. James Harden at both ends of the floor. And the Lakers call timeout, it's back to five. Kuzma, nice feet inside for McGee. I thought Kuzma got away. Eric Gordon did a great job coming over, taking a hit. Didn't get the call though. Harden, step back three, puts it in. Harden keeping the hopes alive, it's back to four. Harden picking up Stevenson. Inside, Zubac, Zubac banks it home. He does it again, 14 for Zubac. Harden, step back, banks it home! Harden from straight on off the glass, and it's a three-point game. Stevenson for three, in and out, rebound Rivers. They're not calling timeout, Harden fouled, and they're in the penalty. So smart. Yeah, it's not like that was an accident, Mark. Mike, that's the, that's the right play to make. Harden hits a pair, one-point game, 5.7 remaining. Harden guarding Zubac. Caldwell Pope trying to get free. They throw it into Zubac, and he's immediately fouled by Gordon. How about that? Two perfect free throws. He beats the Zubac, 21 years old, 16 points. He's played the entire fourth quarter, and the Lakers back up by three. Ingram, all six, nine of them. No, he's not going to guard the inbounds. He plays off the ball. 
They find Gordon. Gordon puts up a three. Bang! Bang! He ties the game! Two seconds remaining. Caldwell Pope at the buzzer. One go and we go to overtime! But Eric Gordon with a clutch shot kicks it back out to Tucker up top Rivers. Gordon's going to try another three. Puts it in! And the first lead of the game for the Houston Rockets. Harden brings it back out. Caldwell Pope gets right up into him. Harden the step back, the three. Knocks it down! Back to back threes! Kubats, four to shoot. Back to Ingram. Turnaround jumper. It's good. Top shot from Ingram. That is outstanding defense by the Rockets. Ingram steps into a three. Line drive. It's good. And a whistle and a foul afterwards. Loose ball on Nene on the blockout. Ingram drives, just gets it off in time, and he knocks it down. It's an excellent defense by Austin Rivers, but it also tells you the value of Link, where he can just rise up over the top of the smaller Rivers. Harden. And Zubats commits the foul. The Lakers feeling Zubats went straight up. Remember, Harden has had back-to-back -back games of 58 and 57. Last player to have three consecutive 50-point games. The great Kobe Bryant. Rockets by one. Ingram calling Stevenson to come on up top. Stevenson's played well here in the fourth quarter in OT. Crossover drives. Wild shot. He lays it up and in. I think he wanted to pass it. Gordon looking for an opening, finds an A, inside left-handed, and fouled by Zubats, that's his fifth personal. Second one, good. Stevenson to Ingram. Fires a three, in and out. Harden grabs the rebound, his seventh rebound. Although Pope trying to get Harden to go right. Harden steps back again, two to shoot. Harden, the floater's up, rolls off, won't go. Harden the rebound, fouled by Zubats. And that's going to be six on Zubats. He's fouled out. Second one is good. Correction, Harden has played 41 minutes. He goes one of two. Rockets back up to Stevenson against Rivers. Up top, Caldwell Pope. Good ball denied from Tucker. Ingram jumper. Got it. Brandon Ingram sensational here in the overtime. Harden drives on Kuzma and the foul. Harden who shooting 86% from the line for the season. And he's taken now close to 500 free throws already. Misses that one. Rebound. Ingram lost the ball. Out of bounds. They call it a foul, Mike. Oh, they did call a foul. First foul in the last two minutes. Lakers down one. Caldwell Pope for three. Air ball. No timeouts. Ingram. Harden trying to slow him down. Ingram goes to the rim, lays it up, banks it home with 4.9 remaining. That makes it back to two inside to Gordon. And Gordon fouled by Hart. Clutch free throws. Eric Gordon, the 30-point game. 4.5 remaining. Stevenson launches from half court. Off the rim. It's over. The Rockets win in overtime in a thriller. It is a beautiful night in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for game two of our TNT triple header. The NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. All stars and top teams on display as the Houston Rockets take on the Philadelphia 76ers. They are 26 and 19. And by the way, they did have the best record in the league, you may recall. 65 wins, Harden back in. Here is Nene with Clint Capella out with a right thumb injury. Harden, Chandler defending, that's a three and a foul. And Chandler reaching in. And that's the last thing anyone wants to do in this league. James Harden shooting about 11 and a half free throws a contest. Gordon, that's a three by Eric Gordon. Like we've said, 30 point performance against the Lakers on Saturday. It's still got a fun of your, your offense through MD down low. Simmons can't get it. Nice aggressive rebound by Nene. He'll hurdle the fallen Embiid, and here goes Harden sneaking for two at the other end. James Harden gets it to go. And that's a throwaway. 
And it's picked up by the Rockets, and here comes Harden. Hanson dumping and looking, and he gets it up and in. How about that? He is, uh, he is something else. First four minutes, they only got four points. Uh, last two minutes, they've gotten 12. Shamit three. Rebound by P.J. Tucker, and here comes James Harden the other way. Two assists, six points, couple rebounds, couple assists. He works on McConnell, and a step back triple. And he's, oh, that's not right. And then he points to the floor telling him that McConnell's too small to guard him. Corkmoss is in. That's a three. Got it! Harden has got a couple of triples. Oh, Warming man. up 12 points already on eight shots for James Harden. Good pass by Harden! And then the hammer thrown in by Fareed. What a pass by Harden. Shot clock is down to four. Three. Harden. Book it. See how much space he created on that step back? J.J. Redick was with him at one moment. Couple dribbles. And it was like two or three feet in a wide open three. Shuffling inside. Carving for the two is Harden. Gifted. That's all you can say about James Harden. He's just a gifted scorer. Simmons. Rebound by Fareed, and the outlet will be caught by Harden, and he's got Bolden on his side, and Redick in front, he still gets it to go. Pretty play by Harden. Harden now up to 19 points on 7 of 14 shooting. That was the State Farm audio assistant. Kev, you were just mentioning about Ben Simmons and his shooting. Tonight, one of seven, and he needs to get that outside woo as James Harden knocks down a three, another one, as he pats Corey Brewer on the backside. With a run right there, inside and down! It's Harden getting it with a slashing move inside and 2.26 to go. Mascala free. And clutched onto inside by P.J. Tucker. He had a 20 and 10 game the other night. Harden got the screen fight by a beat and hammers it in! Oh, he's flying off the wing! With a sledgehammer jam and brings his Rockets to within 11. Oh, the quick blitz right there and beat comes in on Harden. Here they go. Doesn't matter if it's Russell Westbrook or James yeah, Harden. We saw that the other day between Westbrook and Embiid and now Harden. I wonder if the officials are going to take a look at this. And again, they put Embiid out on Harden. Well, they're switching everything because they're so small. Driving is on the put by Embiid and a foul. It's on Joel. Harden drives inside into Brewer in a foul call. Harden, three, made on the rotation. Mm -hmm. He takes advantage of it. Harden with 34, six rebounds and three assists. Harden in three and a half games has scored a little more than three and a half, has scored 197 points. Harden three. Make it 200. He has scored 200 <laughs> points. Make it 200. In a little over three and a half games. The New York Knicks are presented by Chase, and tonight they'll face the Houston Rockets at 26 and 20 in their only visit of the season. The Rockets come in with their star, of course, and that's James Harden, who says he's looking for a signature game at Madison Square Garden, so he's got something big on his mind. To the head coach of the Knicks, who's going to guard this guy? Everybody is going to guard James Harden tonight. Uh, if you see me in a stance in my suit, you're going to know. Harden averages eight assists to go with the 35 points. Now to isolation. Moutier will guard him at first. There's the step back, count it, and the foul. And a chance for a four-point play to start the game. That's what he does. He does. He tantalizes and mesmerizes guys into foolish plays. So Moutier, the culprit previously. Drives this time on Moutier and lays it up and in. So a quick six points for Harden. We've played 90 seconds. So the guy's not going to pass, folks. So someone should be helping. Lance Thomas trying to post up Green. And the ball slipped out of his hands. Green, a good leaper. 6-7 blocking the shot. Harden drives on Nilakina, who takes the ball from him, but they call a foul. Nilakina, though, 
quickly raises his hand. Well, hey, Mike, it's so interesting that you and Clyde are talking about how Harden is so good at manipulating defenders because when I talked to assistant coach Judd Bushler before the game, I said, when you're trying to game plan for a guy like Harden, how does that change film sessions? And he said it changes in that, ex that sense specifically that they went through a whole bunch of different plays about how he manipulates defenders, how he draws fouls, and they were particularly interested in going over this with all of the young players. And then you take a look at Lance Thomas, who's on the floor, who just hit that shot there. That was part of the thinking of having him in this game. Not that he would be on Harden the whole time, but that he's a seasoned vet, understands those manipulations, and can help talk the guys through that process throughout this game, Mike. Thank you, Rebecca Harden right on cue, drives right past Nilakina. <laughs> he may have gotten away with a foul there. Harden already with six boards. Drives, draws the foul, shot won't go. And again, that's another clear example of him initiating the contact and getting himself to the free throw line. Trier, hard drive. A lot of contact, second effort won't go. Finally trying to get it. Harden grabs his eighth rebound here in the first quarter. Only averages six on the season. Reed doing a good job that time intimidating. Another step back. This one rattles in, and Harden has 15 first quarter points. Clark comes to set a screen. Now Knox switches. Harden against the 19-year-old rookie. Steps back. See how he reaches in. That's just foolish, folks. I mean, come on, man. You're not going to get that call. You're not going to block the guy's shot, so why do you keep reaching? See, even Mike D'Antoni was talking before the game. Now, Harden has to play this way for them to win, especially with their roster depleted with injuries. But he even admitted it's not easy to play with this style. See, Moody should be forcing them to break. Now they clear out. Harden drives, sidestep, layup is good. <laughs> See, Neela Keen is a good defender. He lets the guy go right by. Harden's going to try to step back here. And Trier does it, steps in his way, right in his landing area. And once again, a chance for a four-point play. The biggest player out there for the Rockets is Gary Clark, who's six foot eight. Boudier now the latest to guard Harden. A step back two. Don't see many of those from James Harden. But see, you live with that, Mike. Force him to shoot twos rather than threes. Hardaway drives right. Well, Harden drives right past Hardaway in an easy layup. He's got 29 points. 29 of their 46. Harden, step back. It's good. <laughs> James Harden, as the shot clock expires, he has 32. Tim Hardaway launches, misses Harden the rebound. Here he goes. Dotson is back. Drives past Dotson. Layup's good. He just makes it look so easy. 34 first half points for James Harden. Knicks do not have a foul to give. Harden goes back door, flips it up. Won't go. Gets it back. Layup. At the buzzer. 36 points for James Harden. But the Knicks still lead by five. David Fisdale trying to say it shouldn't have counted. Oh, he got it on. There's no question there. Or dramatic, emphatic points by Hart. Finally switches again. He's been guarding him in a number of possessions. Got to take away the left hand, though. There he goes left. Drives past him, gets inside. He, he, that, he finds that seam. Right. It doesn't seem like a, a lot of area to get through. And that ball handling and his ability to slice through two defenders. He's got 38 points, and the game is tied. Harden drives past Vonale, gets to the rim once again. He's got 40. And the Rockets regain the lead after trailing by as many as 13. Hardaway tries again, way off. Rebound, taken by Free. See, the Rockets are not a good rebounding team. Nick's getting second and third opportunity. Hardaway step back, that's good. He's got 45. And the Rockets now with a five-point lead. And Harden, the thing about him, folks, he uses very little energy. He's, he's not wasting a lot of energy when he plays. Looking like he's out there by himself. Floats it up, and Green throws it down. And this is the largest lead of the game for the Rockets. They trail by 13, now up by 7. That was a dagger into the heart of the Knicks fans. Hardaway nearly stole it. Alley up to Faree, comes down, lost it, got it back, and throws it down. The Knicks need a timeout. 
Rocket style and profiling. Martin drives past Trier, flips it out. Ennis will try a corner. That one is good from the right side. That's how you show confidence. Previously, the air ball. This time, the opposite corner with the swish. First field goal for Ennis. Hart draws yet another foul. I, have, I don't ever remember seeing a player who fruts, frustrates the defensive players more than Hart. Hart spins away, now steps back. Robinson is guarding him. Step back, three block by Robinson. Harden gets it back, though. Stripped but fouled by Dotson. So even after you block his shot, he still stays with the play and draws another foul. He's got a chance for another 50-point game, which I think is a fairly safe bet to say he's going to get it. He's got 49, and we have a quarter to play. Harden's missed his last six shots. Again, in the paint, pulls back, two-pointer hand in his face, shot is good, he's got 51. The fifth time this season he's hit the 50-point mark. Chance of defense, but hard to go to the crowd. Hard knows the significance of this basket, so you can bet he's percolating, and he's going to win or lose this game himself. He's not passing this one. Harden, inside layup, count it, and one. And if it's Robinson, and I believe it is, he's fouled out for the second straight game. And and that's the heart of a champion right there, folks. No matter how tired you are, those legs are feeling like noodles. When the game is on the line, you know you got to produce. And that's what he does. Moutier down the lane, stripped down low and picked up by Harden. And the Knicks foul Harden. And they're in the penalty, so free throws with 108 remaining. 57 for Harden. Six-point game as we come up on a minute remaining. Pete Smart takes over for the Knicks. Trier draws the foul on Tucker. Will that be three free throws? It was close. He was beyond the arc when he made the initial head fake. And they're going to look at to see when the shot attempt came. Uh, still much time remaining. Trier, three clutch free throws in a row. Yeah, but they're going to use their 24. Oh, that's the ball is live. Finley banks it home. And it's a one-point game. Gordon on the drive. Stops in the paint. Kicks it out in the corner for Ellis. Misses. Next with a chance to take the lead. Gordon threw the ball into Tucker. Tucker wasn't ready. Moody a foul shot. No good. The free throws coming up with 34.9 remaining. Moody gives the Knicks the lead. Timeout Rockets. Harden gets it back in his hands. Finally double teams with Hardaway. And they knock Harden down. Two clutch free throws for James Harden. He's got 59 points. And the Rockets regain the lead with 29.9 remaining. You got to get it to Trier, man. He's the guy. Vonley yeah. picks up his dribble. Yeah, he's the man right there. Trier steps back, now drives, gets inside, layup, it's good! Knicks back up by one with 20 seconds remaining. 31 for Alonzo Trier. No fouls to give for the Knicks. One of those games, the last team with the ball wins. Gordon sets three-pointer, pucks it in. Eric Gordon from downtown, but the Knicks still have 9.8 remaining. Last thing with the ball wins. Good ball denial, lob it into Vonley. Harassed oh, by Gordon, stolen by Harden, and Harden will throw it down with 3.8 remaining. Final seconds, Moutier, and that will do it. Oh, what a heartbreaking way for this game to end. Knicks turn it over at the worst possible time. James Harden with 61 points, and the Rockets survive tonight here in the Garden. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets take on the Toronto Raptors. Harden draws the hit. And we'll go to the free throw line, and it won't be the only time tonight he goes to the line. Let's look at Kenneth Reed making his second start tonight for the Houston Rockets. A former teammate of James Harden with USA Basketball back in 2014 when the United States won the gold medal, beating Serbia by 36 points. And there's 
the read on cue with the baseline slam. Oh, he helps. Ibaka with the mid-range jumper off the mark. Here comes James Harden. Got double teamed that time. Found Tucker. And a smart, willing pass by James Harden. Another dime. He said he's got it under control with Chris Paul watching from the sidelines. What do you make of the defense that Harden is facing so far from the Raptors? Well, you can see, Mark, that there's, generally speaking, as he pulls the trigger on, <laughs> on the Q. three. Yeah. yeah. Gets around the screen. Boy, that looked like he was doing a drill. Just the pace at which he plays. This year's been a struggle for Toronto's Kyle Lowry. Four-time All-Star. Siakam had it knocked away. Tried to go to work against Harden. And Harden defended him well, Doris. Well, I think that is one of the best spots on the floor where he does defend. He's, he's very savvy. He's got great strength. Harden inside and Fareed with the flush. He's flat picking him apart. They haven't needed a James Hill, a James Harden avalanche yet. Because you know it's coming. Always invariably a nice dime inside to Fareed for the punch. And believe me, I think he would be as content to, to keep a 20-point lead and keep racking up assists than to get another 50. McKechnie was a member of the Lakers staff and kept Shaq healthy for years when Phil Jackson was coaching them to their championships. Harden with the floater. Much needed bucket, but again, so this has happened multiple times. James Harden. Working against Green, picks it out. That's Tucker's spot tonight. And he drills another one. You know, he was out early. And you talked about it. He had been struggling and scuffling. Even Mike D'Antoni acknowledged it. He's got nine points, Ibaka does. Harden working against McCaw. Long three. Fouled. Well, he went early for the two for one. And they help his cause with fouling him. Of course, it kind of blows me away how seamlessly and quickly as Harden gets the floater to fall up to 15. How quickly guys like Austin Rivers after just a couple of days and Fareed the same thing can fit into the game plan of what Mike D'Antoni does. He has seven points and eight assists got ripped there by Gordon. And that's a case in point to me. You don't see that very often. Fareed off the nice dime from Harden. Nurse talks about him being a great blue guy. Harden right over the top of Green like he wasn't there. We just keep waiting for the avalanche to start coming. Lowry from deep. Reed clears. Houston Rockets leading by 10. Harden inside. The wrong foot layup is good. And Harden in a blink up to 20 points. Well, you know, so far it's been relatively smooth sailing, so they don't need a big elephant in the room for the Toronto Raptors. That was a rather small one, but I do think it's working he, right now. I do think he's done an incredible job. As James Harden gets another floater to go, he makes that difficult shot look easy. Harden, another floater in the paint, and another bucket for James Harden. Well, he's starting to percolate now. This guy understands angles. He understands when to pull up and get to that in-between game. It's a great system for James Harden, and it's working very well for the Rockets, and it can only get better, I would think, when you get Chris Paul back into the mix pretty soon. He won more games than anyone in basketball last year. Leonard Strong. A nice switch by Kenneth Fareed, who's athletic enough to stay in front. And at the other end, he gets the layup. And he gets rewarded. It's exactly right. Steps back over Ananobi, who fouled him. And he appeared to be behind the three-point line again. And, and I'll tell you this, the, the offense, is, particularly from three, has been a struggle for Houston. Foul with ten and a foul called as Harden makes another foray to the bucket. Here's Harden. That's 31. Make it 33. It's about as close to the old North Carolina Four Corners offense as you could get. Ten seconds to go. Raptors down two. Leonard out front working against P.J. Tucker. They can tie it up here. Powell with the screen. Leonard for the win. And he comes up short. The Rockets hang on. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet. Proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Orlando Magic. Here comes a step back. 
Oh, man. Deep in the corner. How are you going to guard that? Well, you can't. And obviously, Fournier said, Fournier said, I know the shot clock's running down. It's the only thing you can do is shoot it. And James puts it up. Missed it. Fareed puts it up. Missed it. James gets it back. Puts it up again. And he's fouled. Well, he's going to get a three-pointer one way or the other. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And good offensive rebounding here for Kenneth Freed and James Hart. Well, there's James trying to get one in, and he does. And Harden steals the ball. Simmons with a bad pass. And Harden all the way to the rock for two. James Harden's doing it all. Offense, defense, you name it, the beard is the MVP, no doubt. Vucevic is a legit player here in the NBA. He's already got nine points and nine rebounds. There's Harden with two and one. James Harden says, yeah, that's good for Vucevic, but I've averaged 44 points here in the last 16 games. Shot clock at 10. Three and a half left to play. Harden setting up. Nope, now he'll drive. He'll float it off the glass for two. He just kind of slingshots that thing. It's kind of like a shot put. Hey, that's a hard shot, but he makes it look easy. Orlando number 17 in the league. Uh, you take usually about 31 threes a game. There's Harden with a step back. Thought he may have missed it, so he was going to follow it up. Well, how about that defense? Ross beats him again. Ennis holds your ground. Now the Ney comes over to help. Good double team by Houston. Harden on the road. Oh, no one passed to the animal. Oh, now he's got a one-on-one -on -one with Fournier. Oh, he turns on him. Takes it inside, bumps him off. 9-2 run by Houston, led by Harden, who has 20 points. Eric Gordon turns the corner and puts it up with the left hand. Not a lot of help in the paint on Orlando's side when Eric Gordon turned the corner because the Rockets have so many good three-point shooters around the outside. Harden, see him guarding that left arm. And Harden makes it anyway. You see that Fournier is getting on his left side yeah. and guarding him, and it didn't do any good. That it is right up on Fournier. Missed it. James keeps going. James keeps going all the way to the basket. James Harden. The scoring that James Harden has been on the scoring streak. He, the only other person you can talk about is Will Chamberlain. You got Will Chamberlain and James Harden in the same breath. James puts it up and draws a foul. All right back to Augustine again. Shot clock at seven seconds. He's had the ball the whole 24 seconds and he missed the layup. He fell down, so the Rockets have a five-on-four advantage, and there it is. Eric Gordon takes advantage of it. Let's see if James can get to the basket. Drops it off to Nene. Beautiful play. And a great assist for Harden. And Fournier all the way to the bucket, and he missed the layup. James to the basket, and he's fouled by Grant. Yeah, and to your point, guys, the Rockets only have 29 three-point attempts in this game. See if the Rockets can convert it to points. Gerald Green fires away and hits. Didn't take any time. He just went ahead and shot it. Harden floats it up and in. James. By James Harden with the game on the line. Harden will take it with five seconds. Down to four, down to three. Harden steps back, fires, and James Harden! Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Pelicans of New Orleans. And when we talk about defense, to read the newly acquired Rockets comes up with a block and his energy is infectious. And, and Grant, we, we talked to, to Coach and he talked about the addition of a read and how he's been for him as, as Gordon knocks down the three. And in their matchups this year, Holiday versus Hard, he's only allowing him to shoot 33% from the field. So that matchup is something to watch, particularly as Hard has been playing great as of late. Now we oh, see that double, that double team, team and yes. Okay. Like the 90s right here. Right. 
Get it out of his hand. And he found the right man in Gordon, knocked down the three. So whenever you get double team, you definitely want to find the shooter coming out of the trap. Well, as a coach, there's certain elements of this game that you cannot control, and injuries is one of them. And so as a head coach, your, your team is looking at you. How do you respond when adversity hits your team? Well, with Houston's strategy defensively, they want to switch every action, and they allow you to post up, and they'd rather trade uh, three for two. So that feeds right into you know, their strategy. It looks like it's an easy bucket, but that's, the, that's their design. We talked to Alvin, Coach Gentry, about how do you defend Harden, and, and he said he did not want to put him on, on the foul line. And I see defenders right now really playing with no hands, taking away any of their there as Harden knocked down the three. Have you seen that in 600 attempts? Yeah. <laughs> that was an assisted field goal. But back to Harden, what he what he does with the basketball, he makes it so difficult for defenders to guard him. As we see, Miller puts his hand behind that his back. That is the worst defensive technique Zeke I've ever seen in my life. But Harden is so good, he has eliminated the defender's hands. He has eliminated yeah. the biggest weapon that the defender has, and that's his hand. And you're giving up every possible angle with your hands behind your back. Now, mind you, they do not have Anthony Davis in the backside of the defense, so he's not anchoring the defense. So if you channel him, who do you send him to? And that's why you see him out there introducing guys to hip hop on the perimeter. <laughs> and then if he get in the paint, you know what time it is. Coach D'Antoni said it. He's been working on that float game, and he's making that shot consistently. If you're a 25-year-old superstar in the association, where would you want to be? It's a couple organizations that get it right. Detroit Pistons, Chicago Bulls, Boston Celtics, Miami, Warriors, Spurs, and obviously the Los Angeles Lakers. Those are the teams that put the banners up. I saw an interview where Anthony Davis said that really resonated with him. And I heard Kevin say that on multiple occasions. And so being a star at your peak or going into your peak, um, I mean, what's important to you? That's the league we're in right now, and I kind of admire that these players are willing to sort of be proactive in terms of finding the situation that gives them the best chance to win and be great. Defensive block well by, by Harden and a run out by Fareed. And when, we, and when we talk about these players moving around, the majority of these players are actually taking less money Nice little turnaround by Holiday, but he missed it. He's missed a couple of those tonight. Harden gets a double team. <laughs> Perfect pass to B.J. Tucker. He threaded the needle right between a couple of Pelicans. Denver's always been a good destination spot for Houstonians. A lot of Houstonians have had homes up there. Good pass. Now let's see if the Rockets look like they quicken their step on defense a little. Well, James Harden created the steal on one end and shoots the three on the other. So James will pull it out. He's got the mismatch here, so see how the Rockets spread the floor out, and there comes the double team. Austin Rivers deep. Finally gets one of those threes to fall. Maybe that'll get him going. Five seconds on the shot clock. Harden got it. That's big. Rockets needed that. The Rockets did score 66 in the first half, but they don't have any here to talk about in the second half. Harden on the drive. And Harden puts it up and in. Well, that's 24 straight games with 30 points. And for James Harden, he's only one behind Wilt's streak of 25 games. So I think if you ask Alvin Gentry, he would probably be more proud of this game tonight than any this season. There's Harden. It's a good score. The steal. Harden puts it up and in. Two possession game. Rockets have to get a shot at least. There's Harden. And he's fouled. He'll shoot three. Chris Paul puts it up with a miss, and it's tipped away, and what a great win for the New Orleans Pelicans, playing shorthanded, but rallying around Jaleel Okafor and Drew Holiday, the youngsters.
Friday presented by State Farm continues from Denver. The 29 and 21 Houston Rockets getting ready to take on the 35 and 15 Denver Nuggets. A battle of a couple of all-stars, James Harden and Nikola Jokic. But this is a position you don't want to be in right there. Harden, James Harden for an ISO on the wing for anybody in the league. 24 straight games with 30 plus points for Harden as Beasley, a little too strong on that one. Harden with the third longest single season streak in NBA history of 30 point games. Now he'll try Millsap, wiggles right around him. That one was too easy. Press him at the three point line. His handle is so good, he keeps you off balance. Morris. Too much on it and hard to rebound. Well, speaking of that, 27 a game, and they've done a good job, but you know what they've done is nice job by Eric Gordon attacking the basket. What they've done is take the ball out of his hands. Harden got hit and will shoot three free throws. The best in our game at getting fouled and at the three-point line. Harden calling for the screen for Menace. Gets the switch on Jokic, takes and hits. You look at James Harden right there, he understands that they're switching every pick and roll, so what does he do? He calls Jokic out. They get it out of Harden's hands, and Ennis puts it in. And now a timeout taken by Denver. Bill the Nuggets, they're attacking James Harden on that block. They are, and Harden stood him up that time after Jokic took advantage. Harden, great look, and he's able to finish. Wow, what a pass by James Harden coming down the floor. I mean, he's such... A crafty passer. He doesn't get the credit, but this is a guy who's led the lead a few times in assists. As Harden hits another, Plumley draped all over him, but that step back is just so vicious. Harden veering to the rim, finishes that one. 15 in the quarter for the piping hot James Harden. Denver now three of nine from three. Rockets are six of nine as Tucker banks it in. Another assist for Harden, his fourth of the court. Harden kicks, Tucker hits. James Harden creating a double team, sometimes a triple team, and he knows one thing for sure. P.J. Tucker will be in that corner looking forward to knocking down a three-point shot. And you still remember it to this day. After Absolutely. Your incredibly and decorated Mahmoud, career. And Mahmoud is still killing guys. Harden leaves it, Fareed stuffs it home. Jokic looking to motor around, Fareed took it right to him. 21 for Nikola Jokic. So how do you guard him? Do you back up, he makes a three. You press up on him, he comes and shoots a floater. Or he or he goes right by Fareed and almost gets an M1 left. I mean, there's no great way to guard Nikola Jokic. You really want me to get a shot, don't Man, you? Man, I really, I mean, you're looking too good, though. That suit is looking real fly. Look a little better if I drained a three in it as Harden. I'll tell you what, this is still a ball game. Jokic has it snatched away by Tucker, and then he astutely flings it to Harden, who gets it to Ennis for two. This is his job right here. Just play tough defense. Harden rattles in the three. Houston will need that. Harden, we know he can provide it. He'll try one here. And hit. Timeout, Denver. Harden up to 27 points. So now the drama for the Rockets is Harden get his 30. Got blocked there. We'll give it up inside as Fareed lays it in. Nice assist for James Harden. Harden gives it up. Will Harden get his 30? He's three points away. He dances back, takes, and hits. James Harden gets his 30 points to extend the streak to 25 straight. The Denver Nuggets with an impressive offensive onslaught here at Pepsi Center. 136-122 the final. Rudy played like a deserving all-star last night against the Hawks, wreaking havoc with a dominating 25.13 rebound night. And the Jazz will need more of the same tonight against this man. James Harden leads the league in scoring and is sure to be on his game in this battle for playoff position in the West. The Rockets and Jazz right now on AT&T Sportsnet. Gobert can't find it as the Crowder had a good look. Harden front court with his left hand. Stops, space, that's what he likes. The three is up and good. Yep. 
And it's almost you have to play on his side, the left side. Don't go for his fake. He really doesn't want to drive all the way into the basket. He wants to settle for that three-point shot. Harden goes inside, drops it over and around Rubio. Harden, chorus of boo, show your hands. Joe does, drives, and now there's a whistle. I don't know where it came from. That's what you can't do. You just can't reach. Corver around, turns, fires, and a little bit short. Up top goes Harden for the That's rebound. Good offense. That's what they want on the weak side. They want the two-man game with Corver coming off the screen. The unbelievable downhill run for so, James Harden. Well, well, if you don't pick him up early, Bowler, and that's coming across half court, and he's got a full head of steam downhill. Jazz with the ball up by three. Another miss at the rim. And Crowder would love to have that shot back. Harden front court. James had two possessions off. Now he gets his time. He's going. Stutter steps inside. Did I hear a whistle? I did. There goes Crowder reaching in. You just can't reach. He's so good at bringing his arms through the contact. Kyle Corver shows palms. The shot is away and good. That's why it's not fair. And Corver's telling the referee exactly that. Well, you got to get up on him, but he's only played four minutes in this quarter, so give him time. You're not going to stop him. Uh, you could hope to contain him a little bit. Donovan, a little stacker step, jumper, no. Mitchell's just off to me. One of eight here in the first half. Harden splits the defense. He is so good at just taking two guys with him. It just kind of glides, right? He is a glider. Rivers sets a screen. Harden uses it, slides by Joe, feeds inside. And way up top of the rim is Fareed with his ninth point of the half. Tucker nearly throws it away. Three to shoot. Harden, step back. Jumper wow. good. That was a broken play. I thought the Jazz coming out of a timeout, that was smart to get the ball out of Harden's hands. But shot clock going down, he goes to his go-to step back. Fareed. Another known call. That's unreal. Contact and a push. Harden runs. And now we're going to have fouls as three players are down. Including and Crowder and Rubio. That's another Mountain America Credit Union three-point shot and another $50 courtesy of Jingle and Joe. They're going to go two for one right here. For the Huntsman Cancer Institute. Harden a three. Got oh, it. So good. I mean, this guy is so good. Really. 29. Gordon. Oh, nice move. Inside. Throws it back out to Harden. Steps across the three-point line. Gordon's takes the three and hits it. Yeah, that, that was just good offense by Houston that time. They really had the Jazz spread out. Eagles. Tries to answer back with a three. It's one and out for Utah. And the Rockets corral the rebound. And the last three shots were three threes. Harden between the legs, a little fancy. And Fareed scores. And the Jazz just disconnected right now. Donovan. One and out as P.J. Tucker rebounds. Harden skip pass. Tucker back in the paint. High floater for two. Uh, and then, so you say, well, why don't you just double Harden? It's because he's such a terrific passer, and then they're four on three. Short. And his first miss from the line tonight. Utah overall 15 to 19. And the Rockets 17 to 21. This uncontested floater, Harden goes for his 32nd point. Harden able to find a shot in the corner, and it's off the hand of Green for Green's three. Green's been a silent assassin here off the bench. Look how hard and physical Houston is playing. They're putting their hands all over the Jazz. And it's just causing uncomfort. Harden the rebound. You can't put a hand on Mr. Harden. There's a step back free throw line. Jay, good. Wow. 34. Yeah, that's a shot that they don't necessarily want in their offense. If you talk to D'Antoni, they discourage the mid. Just up and so in, crafty. a floater by Harden. He's so crafty. They work it out to Harden. Joe jumps back out in front, 12 to shoot. James just felt the pressure, Matt. You notice on his left side, went right. Yeah, Harden's got it all by himself. Hits the three. How frustrating is that for Ingles? How good is that? Letting the last two get away from them. The Suns take the floor tonight here at home, preparing themselves for the offensive onslaught of the beard. And it's Houston Club in a Monday night matchup. It's the Phoenix Suns and Houston Rockets here on Fox Sports Arizona. Quick feed inside to DeAndre Ayton, who's looking to bounce back after a rough first game back after missing the previous six. When you talk about a lesson, as Akobo gets his first dose of the beard. And the beard putting the rookie on skates. It's amazing to think that we're 50 plus games in, and this is the first time this season we've seen the Rockets, EJ. Yeah. It sounds like we would have got them early when they were struggling. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> Booker will launch the three in transition, missing that one badly. Well, he was more paying attention to the defender. 
Harden inside, gets the left hand finish. Back to a Kobo, high arching three on the way. Mikael Bridges had a chance to get a foul on Harden. He got him up in the air and didn't buy it, didn't take the chance. Harden instead will shoot the dagger from beyond the stripe and knock down the triple. Booker, tough drive and got thrown off balance. Won't get the foul and Houston coming back the other way. Harden with that Euro step past the defender Jackson. Well, the Sun staying right with this red hot Houston team and Harden going right to work. As Harden able to work back door on Kelly Oubre Jr. Yeah, you can't you can't get on the high side like that and everything's clear on, on the weak side. Holmes keeping it alive. Booker fights for it. Bridges will take another crack at it. And off the mark, he was 11 of 18 from three in the last three games. As Ennis racing out of the breakaway gets a slam. And out of the timeout, the Rockets have erupted on a 6-0 run. Chris Paul was able to set, square, fire, and connect. Three points shooting right now. The difference is Booker able to get loose inside again. Booker, eight points. Three rebounds and an assist in his 13 minutes. Both teams overplaying and then both teams adjusting and going back door. Quick feed inside. And Fareed with a quick slam. And Fareed shaking his head as if to say, nobody can guard me. And you talk about a collision opportunity there between Josh Jackson and B.J. Tucker. Here's Rivers. Launches the corner three, and down it goes. And right now, that's the difference in the game. Three-point shooting. Where Mikhail's got to be careful. He does have just one foul, but this is where Harden is so good. And the Suns just open up the lane, and James Harden happy to take advantage of it. But if you get a chance, look at the various Pretty cool uh, kicks the uh, Suns are sporting in the game. That was a pretty cool move by James Harden. Yeah, that floater, James has added that to his game this season as uh, rim protectors have been keeping him from getting all the way to the rim. That floater is deadly. Tucker, the outlet. Harden to the end zone. Usually it's James Harden making the pass ahead pass, but that time P.J. Tucker with the fastball right down the middle. One thing with P.J., Matt, even when the shots are not dropping for him, he does so many other things to affect the Rockets' bottom line in winning games as Harden drills the three and then has a couple of words for Mike Callahan about perhaps maybe a non-call on that other three that he missed badly. Or maybe on that one, too. Maybe he felt like he got hit on that three. And guess what? The streak continues. 30 points for Harden. Crawford too cute and out of bounds it goes as the Rockets have their biggest lead of the game at at 16 and then they fall to sleep and Fareed the slam plus the foul by Holmes for the Suns if not for Kenneth Fareed the Suns are playing pretty good defense but Fareed lost it Booker run it hard he knocked it off of him he knocked it off of him Hard pulls back. Oh, got it! His third three's got 33, but again, that's a timely basket. He shoots 41% on a step back three. He only shoots 29% on a catch and shoot three. He very rarely shoots catch and shoot threes. Paul forces the turnover. The run out! Oh, he got it up and in, and there was, was no whistle. As Paul got drilled. Jackson runs it up. Rebound to Fareed, number 13. Harden feeling it. And then he says, and one. He got hit on the wrist on that one, too. The officials are just not giving him the calls tonight. Harden by a couple of defenders all the way to the rim, 38. Harden turns the corner, got fouled, Get out of here. and somehow hit the shot with the English and the kiss off the glass. He gets doubled. Watch, here comes a double team. So he goes by those two guys. Here comes the third defender, fouls him, and he throws it up over Aiden. 
He loses the ball on the way up as he gets fouled, and he still makes it over the top. Of it. Come on, man. That's unbelievable. That was one of those throw it into Rome. Harden, he checked, feeling it. Oh, he's hot in the desert. He's had some big games here. Add another to the list. Oh, and then he gives the Arizona State fans a little wave on the way down. This was the scene at 534 this afternoon. Amon Shumpert, no longer a Sacramento King, vacating the Golden One Center. He has been traded to the Houston Rockets. And we'll show you what the Kings get back in return. They acquire Alec Burks from the Cavs and a second round draft pick from the Rockets. You see the rest of the players moving around the NBA. But Amon Shumpert obviously won't play tonight for the Rockets, but he is a member of Houston. Rockets Kings on NBC Sports California, powered by Xfinity. Elitza. Boy, that's got to be a basket. You had a two-on-one with Coley Stein, and it was a bad pass. Harden. Uh, beautiful drive by James Harden, and so the Kings give up two at one end, and then they watch Harden go the other way, and a bad pass and a turnover. Yeah, really, uh, Kings were very sloppy here with some easy offensive opportunities. And now it's Harden. Here's three. James Harden. And that was pretty well contested. That's uh, about as well as you're going to be able to play him. He's got it all. They, you always like to say he's got every tool in the toolbox. Yes, he does. And, uh, and uh, we'll follow up on that story in a minute as you look at Harden hit the uh, three ball. And James Harden gives Houston a 19 to 18 lead. Back of the iron, rebound Harden. Now, the Kings really are settling a little bit too much right now, I think, early in this game. Uh, they can get good shots on this team uh, without, without too much trouble. So uh, move the ball better, you'll get them. Too much quick shooting, Jerry. Exactly. Miami in town on Friday. They had a big win in Portland last night. They're actually better on the road this year than at home. They're 14 and 11 on the road. And then Phoenix in here on Sunday. And they had a, a big trade as well. They a couple players. Well, Boy, Eric Gordon is looking like Eric Gordon tonight. He sure is. He did not play in the game Monday in Phoenix. He got the night off. He had a little bit of an injury, 54 uh, to 39. But he looks 100% in this first half. And here's the foul. And that's going to count. Three-pointer and a chance for a four-point play. And right now, Coach Edgar uh, is uh, definitely uh, disgruntled and, uh, about the team. And uh, this team needs to get gruntled. <laughs> They haven't been uh, disgruntled very much on this. No, they stage. haven't. They've been terrific. Yeah. Just about, uh, we haven't hardly seen any bad halves, but we're seeing one now. 64 to 42. That's a 71 point half with a minute 50 left. Uh, 22 for Harden. I think he's probably going to extend that streak of 30 or more. Jeez. This is the worst half of ball I've seen the Kings play in several weeks. Wow. I don't know what else can you say other than wow. That's 25 first you're, half points. That is uh, you, what you're seeing is greatness. Boy, look at that defense by Harden and Paul is stunned. Guess what just happened? Mm -hmm. Shocking. Shocking. James Harden James made Harden. a long ball. Gee whiz. Well, you're probably going to get a, a lot of look at Frank Mason tonight and Scal Lobby Sierra and Again, if you're joining us late, you got him. just getting off work, maybe out of school, as you look at Harden, that's now the streak continues. He's got 31. There's Harden. Well, of course, James Harden is going to make the comeback uh, that much more difficult. He has now scored 33, and he'll get a second free throw of the game. But of course, the game is so different. I mean, we didn't think the Warriors could win with that style, and, and well, no one is saying that anymore. And good evening, everyone, as we welcome you to Houston, Texas, on a chilly Saturday night. It's the Toyota Center, the site for our NBA Saturday primetime special featuring the Rockets and the Oklahoma City Thunder and a game featuring some of the hottest players in the NBA. Adams, quick move, shot won't go. B.J. Tucker, the rebound. Harden, beautiful pass inside for Fareed. Great energy, the ability to set screens and dive to the cup and run in transition. Paul to Harden.
Ferguson just staring at him, trying to keep his hands back near himself. Harden drives, gets inside, layup's good. Just think about the patience. He's not, he's not concerned how you're going to defend me. I'm going to be able to get to my spot and get my shot. Harden scoots past and backs it home. Well, we've got two of the best passers in the game. Westbrook leads the NBA in assists. Harden is fifth in the NBA. Is George count it and the foul went hard to the basket. Tucker thought he picked up the charge, as did Mike D'Antoni. Instead, it's going to be a chance for a three-point play. Harden sees an opening, gets inside, kicks it out. Rivers. Again, Ferguson right on him. They love Ferguson's defense for a young player. Step back, corner three, got it. Oh, think about it. A month ago, Daniel House says Harden finishes an and one. Nerlens Noel goes inside, can't finish. Fareed grabs the board. To me, if I'm Houston, I'm just trying to get Paul George off of James Harden. Harden creates space and comes up short. Tucker back out, Harden, plenty of time. Billy Donovan thought on that initial one, the one he missed, that he should have been called for charge as Paul George got knocked down. Harden again with Ferguson on him. Step back long three. It's good. Harden with his third three-pointer. And the Rockets, 10 of 18 from three-point range. They have 10, and we're midway through the second. 19 points already for Harden. Wide open three. It's good. James Harden with 22. And the lead is 22. You said wide open. He was a full, like, five feet behind the line. <laughs> Again, Burton is guarding hard. Step back three. And a whistle and a foul. But that is a foul, and it's just undisciplined. When you lunge at him, you're going to be in his landing space. Paul back out Harden for three. Bang! An assisted make by James Harden. Mark that down. Harden to the rim, draws the foul. A 9-0 run, and the Rockets back up by three with free throws coming up for Harden. So five fouls on Paul George with still four minutes to go. Westbrook has three fouls. The former OKC teammates, Harden, step back three. It's good. Drills it, and it's back to two. And that's what I'm talking about. The length of Grant would have been able to at least give a, a legitimate contest on that shot. George into Adams. Adams, nice feed to Grant. Grant blocked by Nene. Ferguson now gets up on Harden. He's got five fouls as well. Harden, pull back. Another two-pointer. Got it. 40 for Harden. Westbrook. Gets in the paint, tries to lob it in. Nene knocks it away and comes up with a steal. Two big defensive plays for the veteran center. And Tucker continues to compete at an incredibly high level of intensity. Paul drives, fakes, jumper. Too strong, Westbrook the rebound. Westbrook charges at Gordon inside and draws the foul. Misses the second. Harden fakes, Harden to three. George with the rebound, his 10th of the game. Under a minute remaining. George to drive inside and draws the foul. Two clutch free throws there. Two of the game's elite tonight, going back and forth. George with 41, Harden with 40. Westbrook comes up to pick up Harden. Harden gets past him, drives, the floater's up and good! And the Rockets retake the lead! Timeout Thunder! Right now, though, Thunder down by one. Westbrook splits down the lane and an easy layup! And a great job by OKC. Out of the timeout, get a quick basket, puts him in position for two for one. There's about a two and a half second difference shot clock and game clock. No fouls to give for the Thunder. Rockets do have a timeout left. Five to shoot. Harden for three. Won't go. Rebound George. And they foul him right away with 3.4 remaining. This is an extraordinary performance from Paul George on the road. 45.
for Paul George. And OKC with one of the biggest comebacks in the NBA this season, down 26. Come back on the road and beat the Rockets. They're now 10-1 in their last 11 games. Certainly a disappointing loss for the Rockets tonight, despite 42 from James Harden. But a great second half of NBA action here tonight. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the young Dallas Mavericks. Here's Harden with a step back. His step back three, he's made more of them this season than all the teams in the NBA. There's a steal by Harden. Harden going to knife inside of Dallas, and he's fouled. Hey, Isaiah Hartenstein. He's been up and down from the G League to the Rockets and back. He's been getting the frequent flyer miles, but he's been playing great down in the G League. There's a steal by the Beard. And they found him. Gonchi steps back with a three and airballs it. PJ's going to meet the challenge. Yeah, there's Harden to the basket. And that's what James has got to do here now in the second quarter as his three-point shot, he's over five. He's got to drive to the basket and get himself going that way. Oh, boy, talking about finishing off. How about Fareed? There's good defense by Houston. Creates a turnover. Three on two, fast break. Harden to the Manimal. Oh, what a pass. Harden tries to answer, and he does with his first three of the game. Yeah, he said, I wore this jersey. I wanted to see it. Step back by Harden, and he hits. That's two in a row now after an 0 for 5 start. The Rockets just completely forgot how to play defense in the third quarter, and that wasn't very good defense by Dallas. Says Fareed just went in and slammed it. What Dallas is trying to do is they're trying to double James Harden and guard the three-point shooter, so they have to leave somebody open. And that's been Kenneth Freed here tonight. He's got 11 points and six boards on him. Rocic went up with the ball. It was stolen by Chris Paul. Three on two, fast break. Chris, outside to Harden. Got it. You see how James, instead of catch and shoot, he dribbles the ball once to get his rhythm. Basket good. That's a good release by Maxi Kleber. Yeah, he brought the ball up. He knocked down the three. He's another European basketball player that the Mavericks try to find because they love the skill level. He's 6'11". And Eric Gordon hits again. Knocked away by Harden. Harden to the basket, lays it up, and missed the layup. I can't believe it. He'll get two free throws out of it. Chris almost got it, and now he does as he knocks it over to Harden. Harden goes right by Kleber, lays it up and in. CP3 looks for a pick from Fareed. Look at that ball movement by Houston. And it won't, and Fareed picks it. Chris Paul got it finally. Good ball movement, an offensive rebound, another good pass. You see Mike D'Antoni's offense is efficient and effective. Gerald Green has not cooled off. He hit his first two threes when he entered the game in the first quarter, and he hits his first three coming out here in the third. Harden steps back, fires, and hits. 23 points for Harden. Two minutes left to play in the game. Harden, will he step back again? He does, and he hits again! James Harden, back to back three. And James Harden with a steal. He's gonna take it on Doncic, and a blocking foul is called on Doncic. Thank you, Michelle, as Harden gets a couple. So James Harden now only two points away from 30 again. It looked like he was going to get it about six minutes ago. Chris Paul gets free, gives it up to James. James fires up a three. There it is! 31 points for James Harden! His 30th game in a row! He's 
over there talking to his mom. That's who he's talking to right there. She always sits in the front row. James Harden with his 30th straight. And that starts the MVP chance. Again. Just raises up from 25 feet. Bang, got it. Six for 17 from the three-point line. Can you imagine taking 17 threes in one game? Man. All right, thanks a lot, Michelle, and welcome to a frosty, frigid, and frostbitten Minneapolis. Nothing, though, heats up the building faster than James Harden and the Houston Rockets in town tonight playing the Minnesota Timberwolves for the second time this season. Kogi, that's the weakest part of his game. He has great energy off the bench prior to getting the start. And a good defender, here's Harden. That's a tough task for it's Kogi tonight, Doris. Well, the absolute last guy you want to lose in transition or semi-transition is James Harden, make it 267, adding to his career high. Teague looking for a little get back and couldn't find it. Here come the Rockets, Fareed out to Gordon. Harden on the break, draws the hit. And that foul is going to go against Lou Dang, his first. And they're going to give him two free throws. Minnesota leading by six, approaching three minutes to go here in the first quarter. And a cold opening frame for James Harden, but a nice move by Gerald Green. Rose kicked the turbo in gear. Wow. That's just outstanding. That was outstanding team defense on one end and a sprint to the other. Shumpert countering with the three. Of course, Minnesota short-handed. Andrew Wiggins not playing because of the flu. He was unable to practice yesterday and attended shoot-around today, but did not participate. And uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves pretty much stood pat at the trade deadline. And the best they can do now is to hope to get guys healthy again, get back Tyus Jones and get Wiggins back and make one last gasp run towards the eighth and final playoff spot as Harden Gets the bucket on the drive. Harden three of six for a total of ten points. I discovered that James Harden is actually first in the league in deflections and second in steals. And that speaks to his defensive ability as he knocks down a three. And he's first in step back threes. Getting downhill off the screen. His own rebound back working against Bayless now. No double team coming. Help was a little too late. And Harden now with 15 in the game. Harden. A little bit of sauce. And he finishes with the three. 18 with the meter running for James Harden. Boy, P.J. Tucker, active hands, gets the steal. Man, he is a real menace defensively. Harden downhill on the drive-by. And they're going to call it goaltending. Jeff Teague is so important for Minnesota when he's healthy and Harden begins the third quarter the same way he did the first quarter knocking down his first three but defended Carl Anthony Towns well on that play and back come the Rockets leading by seven Harden on the straight line drive floater is good oh, come on how do you shoot the floater with that many bodies around you? Look at Kogi. I mean, you, he looks like he's enjoying this assignment. Harden and one. Count four. I take that for the back. Beard. I take it back. <laughs> Harden. 33 for Harden. Kanan played parts of three seasons with Houston. It's Fareed with the attack and the finish. Taj Gibson trying to get a steal on the overplay right there. Gives up the back door. Harden took, Harden took a little pop right there. He's grimacing. Well, and Harden already working with a strained left shoulder that he injured against OKC a couple games ago. As Gordon able to connect from the corner. He strained that shoulder in a collision with Steven Adams. Harden kicks it out. Gerald Green, three. Unbelievable. It's the 16th triple tonight for Houston. I like the lineup from an offensive standpoint to stay matched up, but you've got to be able to rebound. Harden to Fareed. Harden. Great job by Okogi to not reach and commit the foul. Harden makes a tough shot, which he'll do. Harden is on fire now. Harden it's winning time. 39 in the game for Harden. And 
Jeff Teague oh. buries his first three-point attempt of the night. This is Ryan Saunders just going to the well. Harden. Come on, homie. You got to get out there, baby. Three more for the beard. And he's got 42. James Harden came up with 42 here tonight. But it wasn't enough. On a brisk 45-degree night at Southern California, we welcome you to game two of our Thursday evening doubleheader from Staples Center in Los Angeles. The NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. It's the Houston Rockets and the L.A. Lakers. Gordon on a catch and shoot. Able to knock it down from three-point territory. Oh, he splits through and takes to the rim. Oh, that's just so beautiful. And, you know, a lot of people talk about Harden and his play. I disagree with everyone that has been saying his game is negative or this is the way he's had to play. And it's like a repost. Beautiful double pump dunk right there by Capella. Is that trust has to come first to get wins. Yeah, it definitely is a problem because, one, you wear down your defense. But, number two, you give the opposing team a chance to make some easy buckets and catch up if they aren't scoring. Harden right there again, drawing the foul on the game. Here's Harden met by the double. Austin Rivers has come on for Houston. Harden with the look away and then gives it up to Capella. Rondo defending on Harden, able to get a piece of it. Here's Harden drawing contact. The Lakers felt that he should have been called for the contact. Harden defending on James. Ingram from deep. That right there, that's not the shot you want from Ingram. He can take that, but not off the pump fake, stepping right into it. Harden guarded by James to the step back. Yes. Oh. Hits the three. Oh. Rondo got the step, but from behind Capella with the block. McGee went there. Oh. He is rejected by Fareed. That's the defensive presence Fareed brings to this team. Harden forcing. And he draws the foul on Bullock. Great D by the Rockets. And Anthony Davis, the competitor he is, even if he wants to play here, he wants to give them the business while he's not on the team. His heart is a shuttle pass. And the finish by Fareed. Fareed's energy is just, just contagious, whether you're a fan, whether you're on his team. With the left hand. And he used to do things like that with Harden. I used to sit on the court and be a fan of AI, saying, how can the smallest guy on the court do the things he's doing? Good job there by Bullock, not allowing Harden to take the shot. Now he does off the drive on a hook shot. James Harden on the drive. You, you, you can't jump higher than that ball. It's so frustrating. A little guy comes in there, you got your feet set, and he just floats it up over you. Nice move by Harden. Goes for the floater and scores. Luke Walton will take a timeout. Nice backdoor pass, and Harden puts it down. Uh, that's what I'm talking about, but it's all because of his threat from shooting the three. That was a play call. Great pass. Nice pass from LeBron. It's thrown by Alex Kuzma for three. He's been off. You like that play, though. That's the trust. That's the trust that'll help you win some games. You have to exhibit that first. Harden on the drive. Harden for three. Come yes. on, man. That, that's ridiculous. That's just great defense right there. Just better off. Capella has checked back in. Here's the lead, and Capella lays it in. There we go. That pick and roll so hard to stop, especially when you're not communicating defensively. Harden switches off. Ingram on the drive. Stripped. Harden with the... Terrific defensive play. Here's Harden at the other end and scores. We, we talk about sometimes a lack of defense by Harden, but is there anyone better in the league that once you drive by them, they put their hand in a cookie jar and steal a couple cookies? All right, here's Harden on the drive. He scores. And Harden now with 30 points. So the streak continues, but his team is down by three. Warriors Rockets on an NBA Wednesday and it's presented by State Farm. Yes, it's only one of 82, but not according to the Houston Chronicle. This morning's paper says it's not just another game. Fourth and final meeting of the season between these two teams. And I know you mentioned the shooting woes, but I still think Chris Paul, even in, in the struggle shooting, has looked terrific. You know, he has been for this 
incredible stretch of a career. Nice pass again by DeMarcus Boyce. Put two on the money, hasn't he? Curry being double teamed. Lobs it back over to Green. Finds Iguodala. Thompson nails a three. Thompson, since coming back from missing a couple of games with a knee injury, 39 points and 28 points. As Gordon, well defended by Clay Thompson. And I think you're going to see that in the playoffs where, where both Draymond Green and DeMarcus are going to get looks from three. This could be a charge. Nope. Blocking foul. Cousins picks up the personal. Rockets just one of seven from downtown. Draymond Green, coast to coast, he thought he was hit. Oh, he's yelling at Ed Malloy. Here comes Harden the other way. Harden throws it up. Capella. Rockets have tied it up with a nice little run. Their defense, a big part of it. Their defense stores a big part of this nine-game winning streak. During that stretch, the seventh in the league in rating as Thompson knocks that down. And there is Daniel House. And Daniel House wanted a longer contract. And the Rockets wanted to sort of get him, I think, at a bargain price. He held his ground. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how that particular player plays out for them. Harden to the basket. Looney was right on him. And James Harden with his second field goal. Thompson backs it home. Alley up, Capella. That's their first field goal in almost five minutes. So once he was touching the paint, he was having to do so much work. That's why the spacing that Clint gives you is so important. Clay Thompson, smooth looking jumper. Harden, step back, gets fouled and one. Chance for a four point play as Harden knocks down his first three pointer of the game. Nicodala guarding Harden. And Harden just flips it up. See the way everyone's looking for that lob to Capella, and it left Harden open for a layup. Harden throws it up to Capella. Perfect pass. Eight straight points by the Rockets. Chris Paul wide open for three. Kevon Looney must be saying, why does this keep happening? Yeah. Drives on Iguodala, gets inside, blocked. Tipped by Tucker, it won't go. Kevon Looney got a piece of it, Iguodala down the other end, whips it out, Thompson for three. Boy, it happens fast with this group. So unselfish, those three guys. Harden just one of six from three-point range. Has been getting to the free throw line, tries another, hits another. Harden, hand in his face, knocks it down. So rare to see James Harden take a mid-range shot. Thompson cuts back to one. another pass. That's seven assists for DeMarcus Cousins. A three-pointer, Rockets with their first lead of the night. Harden, crossover, three-pointer. Oh, nice feed, Draymond Green with precision. Tucker. Not that time. But you got two great examples of guys who can have such a huge impact as Clay Thompson from way downtown. Back-to-back -back assist by Draymond Green. And Mike D'Antoni emphatically asking his guys to pick up the tempo. Green trying to stay with him. Harden goes right at him. Drives. Counter and one. Good boxing out from Clay Thompson. Thompson to Curry. Three-pointer. Got it. Curry with his third three-pointer. Mike D'Antoni calls timeout. Harden scoops it up. Somehow got it to go over the rim. As Green answers back with a three. Pass inside, deflected and stolen. Harden got a piece of it. Harden spins, kicks it out. Green for three. You, know, you notice the assessments get a little harsher as you get closer to playoff time as <laughs> Cousins banks it off. You'd be saying, oh, some unfortunate mistakes. Now it's brain-dead errors. Yeah. <laughs> Thompson fumbles it a bit, manages to hang on, fires up a three and nails it. Thompson's fifth three-pointer of the game, and they're back up a dozen, equaling their largest lead. And Clay Thompson now with 28 points. He's just showing you everything. With the Warriors, 25 points, which ties a season high. Seven assists, which is a season high. Eight rebounds. 
drawn a couple of charges as well on the defensive end. See, if I'm him tonight, I'm saying, are you familiar with my work? <laughs> Harden banks it home, 26 for Harden. Mm -hmm. Alley up, oh, perfect connection, Harden and Capella once again. Iguodala looking for Thompson. Thompson posting up Chris Paul. Taking his time, five to shoot. Turns inside, fake. A 30-point game for Clay Thompson. He's just too big. I mean, that's the size differential. Every time he's gotten Chris Paul on him, he's looked to post up. That's six, seven against six feet. Harden, step back, foul line jumper, got it. Six point game, minute 17 remaining. Paul on the drive, gets inside, wild shot, and he draws the foul. Curry pulls back, falling away, shot won't go. Rebound Paul, 15 seconds remaining. Down four. Paul on the drive, they've got to score quickly. He lays it up and in. Two point game, and a whistle. And the foul. Iguodala looking, good ball denial from Gordon. Curry can't get free, now he does. Capella trying to go after him. He's double teamed and a foul. And Curry calmly sinks both. Mike D'Antonio will use the timeout. He has still one remaining. Hard right, misses. Tucker tips it out. Picked up by Iguodala. Finds Curry. Curry throws it up in the air, and that's it. The nine game winning streak is over. And a terrific win for the Golden State Warriors. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Good individual talents. Can they play as a team? And they've got a rookie point guard. Here we got a veteran point guard going to work right now with a day's rest. Yeah, and good to have him back. He missed last game with a sore neck. There's a steal. P.J. Tucker. He's tough. He's been leading the NBA in steals the last several weeks. There's Fareed. Boy, he's like money in the bank. Well, he really is. In the paint, he's shooting 90% in a Houston Rockets uniform. That's pretty good. Pass outside. Fareed. My goodness. This guy's the best three-point shooter on the team right now. Fareed for three. Harden coming off that pick, takes it to the middle, and he's fouled. We'll have a timeout on the court, 6.57. We'll have to play in the first quarter. Rockets up by six. You know, Clyde uh, is the commissioner of the three-on-three -three league, and he's already recruited for his league. <laughs> he, he was, so the commissioner's already tampering on the big three? Gerald Green hits. Yeah, Adams was in a bind. He didn't know whether to stay with Gerald Green or go guard the corner three. Herter comes out on Harden now, backs up a little bit. They're guarding that three-point line on James, and he draws a foul. I've noticed, too, guys, that teams are coming out at the three-point line now. You know, Eric Gordon and Chris Paul combined for 48 points and 21 assists on Saturday night. So they were on. Really a deadly duo for the Rockets. Here's Harden now, takes it to the middle and floats it up. He's invented that shot in midseason. Yeah, and all the great players, they come they come back every season with a new shot, but that floater for James Harden is something that he's developed in season. Harden takes it to the middle, floats it up and in. Harden with a step and got it up and in. That time, James attacked the defense before they had time to double him. So now he's starting to figure it out a little bit. Mays Moore, not giving Harden any room. Harden on the drive, floats it up and in. They came to double James on his right hand, so he went left. Harden's trying to keep that from happening, and that's a foul on baseball. Boy, they're making it tough on Harden to get that basketball. Now he gets a good pick outside, sets for a three, and he's fouled on the play. Harden gets a double team again. Floats it up and in. So Harden now with 28 points. So what's Harden going to do with it? The crowd wants him to shoot. He could get fouled on the play. He's going to hold it. He's not going to shoot. He's going for the win. <laughs> they weren't going to let him shoot. <laughs> Kemba Walker walking in some tall cotton. There's some great players in the building tonight.
How about Winston-Salem's own Chris Paul, future Hall of Famer, and the NBA scoring leader, James Harden. Actually, his beard arriving 10 seconds before he did. It's going to be a fun one tonight in Uptown. We are live, Spectrum Center on a Wednesday night. Our first look at the Houston Rockets taking on your Charlotte Hornets. Chris Paul with the touch. Lob to Capella. Clint Capella. They like to find him at the rim on the year for Capella. That is now dunk number 168. Chris Paul, our stat man to the stars, bouncing Billy McGrath, handing me a note. Yeah. Over the last five games, the Hornets have been outscored in every first quarter by an average of 11 points. It would be really nice if the Hornets could have a good first quarter tonight. Yeah, and, and Coach Brego. Uh, oh, another oh, three. Trouble. There you go. Miles Bridges. Coach Brego saying, we've talked about it. They know about it. You just got to go out and do it. I mean, you can talk about it, look at film, but you just got to go out and have a conscious effort to change your starts. P.J. Tucker, he has really changed his game around. This is what Harden does. Lob to Capella. Capella. It, has a great knack for getting to that short corner on the baseline and then getting lost whenever Harden or Chris Paul attacks the rim. Change for the Hornets, Jeremy Lamb into the game. His assignment, James Harden. And that's a block. Kemba's hoping for a charge on Harden. Didn't get the call he wanted. P.J. Tucker. Harden the high floater. Wow, only one miss out of six for the Hornets. Another floater. That ball is just dead in the air. No rotation at all as it slips through. Chris Paul, he has been so good at that for 14 consecutive years in the pro. Yeah, yeah. Chris Paul. He has always played well against the Hornets no matter what uniform he's worn. Difference game clock and shot clock is three seconds. Two to shoot. Biz has got Paul. Oh my! Chris Paul with a 6-9 Biombo in his grill. Ah. Gerald Green off the inbounds. Stolen away by Paul. Capella. That's quality teamwork right there. Chris Paul trusts that Eric Gordon's going to make the right play whether he finishes himself or gives it to Capella. Look at that bounce pass right there as they score again very quickly after the turnover. Miles Bridges didn't get that pass. James Harden took it from him. And that'll be an 11-0 run for Houston. You're right. You've got to come to meet that basketball. It didn't have a lot of velocity on it. You've got to read that and come meet it. Harden off the window. Harden off oh, Capella. They figured that out, haven't they? DJ Tucker. Tucker. Back to back three. Welcome back to Hornets basketball. You may have just heard Eric talking about P.J. Tucker for the Rockets. Well, in the league, they call him Sneakerhead. He's known as the guy with arguably the best shoe game in the league. Now, of course, a lot of guys take pride in their shoes here in the NBA, but P.J. takes pride in the rare ones. He finds those limited, one-of-a-kind shoes. The trick that he wouldn't reveal his sources to me about is finding them in his size from literally all over the world. A couple games ago, he was rocking some shoes from Tokyo. When I talked to P.J., though, he said his shoe inspiration started with none other than Michael Jordan. But his favorite basketball shoe to wear is the Kobe 4s. And guys, he was signing about 50 tickets for his family and friends when I talked to him about his shoes. P.J. Tucker. My God. That's his third three-pointer this quarter. He is ready for the basketball. James Harden, when he does decide to pass the ball, he's very crafty at giving the guys right in their pocket, whether it be a little pocket pass or right to the numbers of Tucker like he did that time. James Harden. Fair to say more of a scorer than a shooter, James Harden? Yes. Yeah. Harden. Finally, a three-pointer for Harden. He realized it's been a month of Sunday. One for 23 in his last three-point attempts. Harden. Rivers. 
It's the team that leads the NBA in three-pointers made, averaging 15 and a half per ball game. Numbers for Houston if they hurry. A five on four. Well, it seems like there could have been a travel in there somewhere. Gerald Green. Hornets ended that third quarter on a Hail Mary three, Marvin Williams. And Gerald Green gives the Rockets the three right back. How did he get that off? This ball, this ball. He's been doing that all his whole career, taking small guards to the post. That time he took miles to the post and just shot it over the top. Uh, Chris Paul. Chris Paul. Hornets led 88 to 76 with 436 remaining in the third quarter. Houston's gone on a 30 to 10 run since. Harden. He was just trying to get the defense to bite. Maybe two guys cover him and then he could throw it up to Capella. Step back along the baseline when that option didn't happen. Clint Capella, 23 and 15. He's got five dunks. Chris Paul is screaming for his coach to call a timeout. He wants, he wants to come into the game. Yeah, he got his wish. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Chris Paul was waving his arms like an emu, trying to get the attention of Mike D'Antoni. He said, I want to come into the game. Nick switches out and almost a poke away. thinking about here does it need to be a three no absolutely not you need to have a, a good quality possession Kemba glides past Capella with the left hand 35 points tonight for Kemba Walker Kemba yeah it's gonna do it Hornets had a 12-point lead in the second half, and it all fritters away. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T, Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Miami Heat. Lennox, almost a travel. Capella with a rebound, gets the outlet pass in a hurry to James. See if the Rockets want to run. Chris Paul with a three. Well, Clint Capella got the rebound, and then he ran down the middle of the court and took all the defense with him, which opened up the three-point shot for Chris Paul. Yeah. Tucker's been on a nice streak lately, too. Yes, he has. Yeah, last five games, he's shooting almost uh, 50%, so really good to see his jumper get back. Made all five of his three-pointers last night. So Time Bill, goes by, doesn't it? Bill, how does that feel? <laughs> hey, you know, that's why you guys have no friends. Martin says, I'm going to warm up here tonight. Puts it in, and out. there it is. Yeah, and it's good to see that one go in for James. You mentioned, Bill, that he has not been shooting it well as of late, and I think his legs are a little bit out of rhythm, so maybe tonight he'll find it. Ooh, hey. from the parking lot. He was out there in the parking lot all by himself. Little dribble, shot up, in and out. Waiters had a chance to add three points to the scoreboard, couldn't do it, and James back to, oh, how did he make that? He had a Miami sandwich all around him. Capella. Defense by Miami, very good. I don't care how good your defense is, you can't stop that. Yeah, it's just like the sky hook or the dream shake. The step back three is unguardable. You just got to get a hand up and hope he misses. 19 points for Harden. Harden, deep again, unguardable. James shot that quick as he was trying to get the two for one for the Rockets. 24 points for Harden. Winslow from the corner yeah. does knock his down. 37% shooting it with some regularity. It's good to see the progression in his game. It was doubtful he was going to play tonight. They said his knee had been acting up a little bit, so right before game time they said he would go, and he has gone. James. 
stayed after it. I'm sure coming home to Houston, yeah. it would take a lot to keep him out of this game tonight. James is hot tonight. Five of 10 for 50% for Harden behind the line, and he has 29 points. Gary Clark hits his third three-pointer of the game, so Gary is three for six for 50%. He's got 12 points. James and Richardson step back, fire. Oh, boy. That's vintage James Harden. He is on fire. He's going to have to have 60 if the Rockets going to win tonight. He can do it. Wayne Wade will take a three. Misses it. He's never been his strong suit. He's shooting 32% from the three-point line this season. Unless it's at the end of a game. James Harden gets the Rockets into single digits. James will shoot two. Two minutes left to play in the third. They're in that zone again. Austin Rivers was left open. He hesitated, however, lays it up for two. He just hasn't been shooting that three very well lately. And he took a two instead. Yeah, he doesn't have the confidence that he's going to make it. So if you don't have the confidence, drive it. Three-pointer again for James Harden. 41 points for the Beard. Seven for 14 from the three-point line, shooting 50% for Harden. So he has definitely broken out of that shooting slump. For sure. Dragic misses. And for Harden, that's his ninth rebound of the game. Steps back, fires, hits! James Harden with his eighth three-pointer of the game. Eight for 15, 12 for 12 from the line, 44 points for James Harden. Knocked away from Wade. Harden will bring it up. That's what the Rockets need, and now score. James Harden to the rack, and he missed it, but a foul is called. He could have had a three-point play. Doesn't miss those very often. Adebayo with the foul. In the corner to Austin Rivers. Got it. That's the right guy to get it to. So Dragic with a three, and Austin Rivers comes right back with a three. That's his third of the game. 17 points for Austin Rivers. An injury for the Heat. We'll take a break. Gerald Green. Capella keeps it alive. Harden's got it. Bumps his way to the basket. 48 points for Harden. Rockets within seven. Can't quite get over the hump. Every time the Rockets get about four points behind Miami, Miami makes a three. There it is. There you go. 15 of 25, 60% for the Heat behind the arc. That seems good. James for two and one. That's 50 points for James Harden. And this is the sixth game this year with 50 or more points for the incredible James Hart. Winslow tries to pass it. Good defense by Gerald Green. Now the Rockets can get a little closer. Can Harden do it again? And he's fouled. He'll shoot three free throws. Winslow got it. MVP chance. He's going to get 60 tonight. <laughs> 18 of 18 from the line for Harden. Rockets scrambling. Dragic puts it up and misses. Great defense by Houston. Harden. Capella. Yes. Capella. Made him change the shot. Dragic had the layup. Capella would not allow it. James Harden drives to the back and ties the game at 113. James Harden with 56 points. Incredible. James. James by Winslow. Oh, puts it up and in. James Harden with 58 points. And the Rockets lead by four. Chris, 15-footer. Got it. There he is. He's the closer. Bring him in from the bullpen. He never misses that shot when money's on the line. Waiters goes back out to the three-point line and misses. And the long rebound in the hands of Houston. And Harden's got it. And the Rockets are going to win.
right, thank you, Michelle, and welcome to Boston at TD Garden. Welcome to this NBA Sunday Showcase on ABC presented by Mountain Dew Ice. And a little bit earlier, I think I heard our colleague Paul Pierce call this an NBA Finals preview. That's right, Houston and the Boston Celtics. It has that kind of potential, but right now, it's a couple of teams at fifth place in their respective conferences. Harden picked up by Marcus Smart, who has at times in the past been able to frustrate the beard, but not that tough. Well, a lot of teams are overplaying him that hard uh, so that he cannot go to the left. But now, with everyone doing it, it's easy for him now to go right and go strong, and all of a sudden, it's un uncontested. Yeah, I like this. Uh, you got You have to make Harden work, all right? And Harden just, you know, he took that and hit his own hands and got the def deflection. Harden with a layup at the other end. People sleep on the fact that James Harden is amongst league leaders in steals. Yes, he's in the top 10, and, and he does a great job about it. You kind of forget, you watch him on television, you know, really, he is a 6'6 with long arms. He used my card. <laughs> he used my card. Good. Hey. Smart. Hey, those red bottoms go for 1200 bucks. as Harden has been money this year for the Rockets from downtown. Now, Hubie, in the midst of a 10 to nothing run. Al Horford, the five-time All-Star, averaging 13 a game for the Celtics, up high, and Capella with the slam. See, on that weave out at the top, you cannot leave Capella and think that you're going to double-team the dribbler because Capella's going to be in front of the rim. Now, he's done it now twice already. On the mismatch, the blow-by by Harden for the bucket. Now, see, they played him straight up. Baines played him straight up. The double-team guy came from his right. Well, you can't do that because he's going left. And he went left like there was no one playing him. Back out to Harden. Austin Rivers has made a very good contribution since he came here from the... How about this? Boy, I mean, now, wait a second. Is he, that a layup line? He'll no, be no, watching. No, but more important, where's this defense? Where's the Boston defense right now? Tatum off glass. Well, he got bumped. He got bumped. But he did a nice job in splitting the double team. P.J. Tucker with the three. Got it. And Houston leads by 14. Right now, Boston out of sync at both ends of the floor. There's no physicality here at either end. Uh, also, there's a highway to the basket at the defensive end, and it's very depressing for them right now. Harden firing a three, got nothing but net. Houston is plus 24 on three-point shooting so far this afternoon. Morris had it knocked away out of bounds off of Boston. Once again, Harden with the deflection. I, it's kind of interesting now. He's had at least three excellent deflections. Active hands. And Harden, oh, boy. active hands on offense as well. Yeah, he, he's, he's really taking on this matchup here today. Tatum kicks it out to Brown. Got Capella off his feet. And one and done at the offensive end for the Boston Celtics, who right now trail by 22 points with two minutes to go in the first half. Harden inside, make it a 24-point advantage. See, that's him at his best as he comes over cross court. Once he gets behind that three-point line and goes down, you rotate over a big guy, he's crossing over and taking him right to the rim. Harden with the step back three, pure. James Harden. I'll tell you, this is some show here between he and Gordon. Houston trying to go up there with a five-game winning streak. Harden doing his share of the heavy lifting. Another three by the Rockets who now have 15 of them on the afternoon. Smart. Got oh, it. Okay. And it's down to 15. That's all right. They'll get you going. Uh, he, he's made two out of four threes. Marcus Smart, not the guy to let go of the rope. Rivers oh, made a quick decision to knock down the three. Under two minutes to go in the third. Step back three on the way and wow. butter. Now I tell you, that, that was difficult. Harden on the drive and floater. It's nothing but net. Yeah, he wanted the foul because he, he definitely got hit on the shot. And we said now, can Houston continue to pressure and continue to make the threes? The corner three by Tucker. That's what he does. Nobody shoots more of those in the entire league than P.J. Tucker. And he drains that one. Harden against Kyrie Irving. Harden pulls his way to the bucket. And that's what MVPs do. That's right. Now, you cannot play him better off the dribble than that. Irving was right in his chest, but that soft shot, that was a hard shot. Good defense by Kyrie. Oh, wow! My, oh, Butter my, oh, by my. James Harden! Not only was it Kyrie on him, but Tatum came on the double team, and he got that shot up over the top of both guys. 
Harden with 42 points now. Just watch this now. Watch to the top of the screen. You're going to see it. Here he comes. He got, and he still gets it up and in. Hello, basketball fans. We're north of the border again this week as the high scoring James Harden, a.k.a. The Beard, steps into Toronto. And he takes on Kawhi Leonard, a.k.a. The Claw. It's players only on TNT, presented by State Farm. Tonight we have the Houston Rockets taking on the Toronto Raptors. Raptors in Scotiabank Arena. Oh, that's double dribble. Oh, that double is double basket. dribble. <laughs> double dribble on that one? Not, but it's a bucket. It's a bucket. But, but it looked like double dribble to me. Good pass by Harden. Strong finish by Capella. I mean, this Toronto team, they have the ability to really, in my opinion, be one of the best playoff defensive teams once the playoffs start. James Harden with the steal, push P.J. Tucker with the layup. Very nice. And right now, Toronto at home against this team, really just struggling a little bit on the offensive end. James Harden off the glass just before the shot clock. And 3D, I want to get back to your point. Show some love to Austin. And the deep three. And, but hey, as Reggie Miller <laughs> say, Good D, better O. Oh. <laughs> we know with the way Houston plays and the pace that they play us, you know, they're going to always give you an opportunity to get back in the game. Great pass by Harden. When you put it, when you put it below the big guy's waist in the lane, you know, I see Ockham call for goal. To oh, so crafty guy with the right hand. And no. Now that makes Toronto 6 of 10 for the court. On that run, should I say. James Harden, floater, gets it to go. Step to the side, James Harden's patented move, and he knocks it down. I, I think that's such a, a difficult move to guard. Step back, Harden. That's a deep, deep money ball. You have to take them serious. I mean, James Harden, the way he has played all season, but now they're getting healthy. Now they're rounding into form. This is... They're playing the basketball that we thought they would coming off of last season. And, you know, Harden hasn't had a great shooting night by his standards. But you look up, and, and does he have 27 now or 29? <laughs> you got Paul and Harden out there, two excellent dribblers and facilitators. It is very difficult this point in time of the game being down 10 when you're trying to trap them as Harden finishes with the floater. And James with the floater and the block. I mean, they hold Toronto to, you know, they got they got 92 points. You know, they, they hold the whole team to 92 points. And welcome to the Toyota Center here in Houston, home for the Rockets for five of their next six games in an important stretch of the season. As tonight, they welcome the 76ers to town, both teams fourth place in their respective conferences. What about a nice... Uh, interesting piece of trivia as Harden gets a layup to go. Amir Johnson folks is the last player to come straight out of high school into the NBA. Simmons inside with a layup. Let's keep an eye on his fitness level. Remember he was listed as questionable a little bit earlier this afternoon. Deep three good by Harden. Butler was cutting but couldn't get his hands on the pass. Harden inside to Capella. Brett Brown has seen enough, calls a timeout. 18 on the shot clock, Simmons missing everything. P.J. Tucker has absorbing the assignment of Ben Simmons who tries to take it to the post mark. Boy, Capella force inside. That's, that to me relieves so much pressure off of James Harden. Against Reddit. On the blow by, Harden got it. Saw him point to Austin Rivers and say, get to the deep corner. I don't want that help defender sloughing off. Elias Harris stopped by Nene, five on the shot clock. Got to go here, the three on the way. And good defense by the Houston Rockets. That's the one thing Brett was talking about. He said, we understand the firepower they have, but and you wondered would they go right here to Nene. Because in Chicago, the loss, the disappointing one, it was Robin Lopez who tore him up in the post. So they continue to work through Nene. 76ers turn it over. That's been one of their weaknesses. The whistle and a foul will put James Harden on the free throw line for a pair. Yeah, Took James, a shot in the face. Yeah, sorry about that. James Harden 
in transition, a little pick and roll early. Pardon, pardon me, fouled by Ennis. He's so physically strong. I mean, it doesn't matter the body type you're guarding him with. He's playing through the chest. On the ISO, Harden got it. There's a pending unrestricted free agent for the 76ers. Harden turns the corner. And Harden still cooking. Up to 18 in the game. Capella on the other end of that lob. Hey, remember the last time those two teams met in Denver? Golden State went in there and spanked, folks. I mean, spanked Denver. Oh, he crossed up. He hit him with the sauce. Thanks, Jonesy. I spoke to Monty Williams, assistant coach for the Sixers, about what they can do differently here in this second half. He liked what he saw at the end of the first half as they kind of crawled back into this one. But he, he said on offense, it's really about just making shots. Harden with a little show and go. Got by Harris for the bucket. He's just so good. And it, it, again, it doesn't matter the size of the defender. Tough pass. Capella kicks it back out and now Harden out front. Off the Capella screen. A high for Capella. Wow, great communication. Well, they're talking about this in studio. Just the ability to stretch the floor vertically. Harden against Samir Johnson. Right over the top of him. Nothing but strings. Austin Rivers really came back a much better player this year. Well, he's been a huge pickup for a team that has battled, as you said, so many injuries, and the threes keep coming, and Brett's got to use another timeout. He's just so frustrated. Remember, they were up three games to two in the conference finals against the Warriors. Butler comes up short. Harden on the run. Great Euro step for the layup. Come on, this, this guy has been at, at an absurd level. I didn't think he could go to a higher level than last year. Mark, he's eclipsed yeah. it. They wanted multiple playmakers and kind of take the load off of LeBron. Um, LeBron is not, and look at that dunk there. I guess you guys can take it the time out here, Jonesy. We'll finish this up later. At this time of year, I start to informally poll players and coaches. Give me your MVP pick. Give, give me your MVP pick and tell me why. Because I'll tell you what, my, my ballot is always one of the last to go. Nice play. Another dime by Harden. I mean, Strengthening can, his MVP case. Houston with their longest winning streak this season will improve to seven in a row. After a tough East Coast road trip, the Mavs are back home to take on one of the hottest teams in the NBA. Houston's slow start to the season has given way to a team primed to make some noise in the postseason. However, Dallas has had success against their division rival this year and are looking to make some more magic tonight. Nice pass. And that pass ends up in a catch and finish for Clint Capella. Loose ball, chasing after it was Powell, but it's the Rockets who were able to collect it. James Harden, who may be getting his first shot opportunity of the game. He is, gets a bucket and a foul. What James Harden understands is how guys, guys are trying to guard him. And when you're close to him, he really is overzealous creating the contact. Brunson out of position, he just keeps going. And all you can do as an official is make the call. Defense out of position, normally you're going to get two free throws. Hardaway over Rivers. But when he's hot, playing throw oh, hot. Yeah. Oh. yeah, things can happen. So athletic. Harden on the blow by and into the lane to score. That's just a player Houston on a 7-0 run. I think you've made the best point in all this, though, Harp. I agree. If anybody's really going to give the Warriors problems in the playoffs, this would be the team if they stay healthy. And yeah, if they're, they're healthy. They can. Because I think they put pressure on you. That's just, not an offensive foul. That's what Cleveland is thinking, too. Pushed off. It's but, two for Harden, who has seven points, you were saying. Yeah, you know. Because you're an MVP candidate, you get get away with that kind of stuff sometimes. And Luca thought he was fouled. Capella will bounce to him, and Capella scores. And a technical foul on Luca. With a minute left in the half, the Mavs have erased Houston's 11-point lead. It's down to three, but it's doubled back up to six on James Harden's second straight made three. It's amazing how he can be cold and then just turn it on. Kind of reminds you of Damian Lillard. Harden past the defense, draws a foul, scores the basket. 
There's the end one. Well, that he can do in his sleep. And Harden is ready to try to take Cleveland. Step back for He's warming up right now. Capella catch and a turn and a finish and a foul. You got to see the man at the ball. Yeah. Gordon in the lane. Uh, he breaks the tie. Eric Gordon is trying to carry the mail for Houston tonight with 26 points in the game to lead him on a night where Harden has battled foul trouble and ineffectiveness. Nine block shots tonight by Dallas as part of this performance where they're trying to keep Houston under 100. Houston scored 100 plus in 19 straight games. The unfortunate thing, though, is there hasn't been enough offense there for Dallas tonight, but that will help. A dunk by Powell off a feed from Luka, who's still limping rather noticeably. Three-point game as we approach one minute left. Paul back to Harden. It's Harden at the end of the clock. He'll shoot it from the top of the key. That is not a very Houston-like shot, and it's missed, and it's out of bounds off the Rockets. Phenomenal defense by Brunson that time. In the waning moments. Luka doesn't want to scream. Wants to go one-on-one -on -one against James Harden. He's playing with five fouls. Harden trying to stay in front. Luka got around into the lane. Leaves it for Powell! And a dunk with 31 seconds to go! Very smart basketball that time by Luka. And Luka knocking on the door of a triple-double. That's his ninth assist to go with 19 points. A season best 15 rebounds. The game in the balance. Rockets up by one. Houston ball. Dallas needs a stop. Then a timeout and a score to bring it home. It's Brunson who's got to get the stop. Harden the drive. Shot no good. Rebound Dallas. Luka bringing it up the floor. He's no timeout taken. He's going to make this shot. Here's Luka. He gives it up. Brunson for the win. It's blocked at the buzzer. And the game is over. Rockets win it 94-93. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. And tonight, the Rockets taking on the Hornets of Charlotte. Why don't they take James out and put him back in about <laughs> a minute later? Try to reboot? I think that that, of course, that's not on his shooting hand, but that wrist has been giving him a lot of problems. I watched him get ready for this game in the training room a little bit tonight. He really had to go through a lot of stuff to get ready to play. Austin Rivers with a great shot. He's starting to play better offensively now. Eric Gordon's sizzling right now. <laughs> and when you have a, a teammate who is sizzling, you got to make sure you get them the ball. And the Rockets did a good job of getting them the ball last night. In fact, that entire coaching staff. James Harden gets one to go. Bacon trying to guard him. What a great pass inside to Eric Gordon. Yeah, yeah, last night, Rick Carlisle, the Dallas Mavericks coach, talked about James Harden's unassisted threes. And he said, look, people are trying to figure out what he's doing. They're looking at the numbers, and he's changing the game. Yeah, he's just changing the way you track the game, too. Uh, you know, a lot of young players now, you're starting to see, oh, Fareed with the flush. Reed gives it up to James. James giving it back to. Did you see that James picked off the center who was trying to get down the court to guard Free? James, when you watch what James Harden does, some of those little things that you notice are just really impressive. Austin Rivers with another assist from Harden. Yeah, he's just changing the way you watch a game, uh, changing the way you play the game. It's just uh, one of those seasons that people are going to remember for a long time. You're going to go back and look at this because where would the Rockets be without him? A 500 team. Yeah. Oh, for Reed. Welcome back, Kenneth. Their defensive rating has really been good over the last three games. And there's that floater that James Harden has added to his game. Before the All-Star break, he was getting 10 points a game in the paint. Since the All-Star break, it's been 15 points in the, in the paint just because he's added that floater. Nice Harden. pass. Just wait long enough. And they will move out to try to stop the three-point shooters. Harden was very patient. James to the basket for two. Harden, so he finally got some one-on-one -on -one coverage there. The, the Hornets came out and doubled him to start the second half, and the Rockets were torching him inside. They called the timeout and changed their defense. Still plenty of time. Shot clock only at 10 seconds. Harden backs up and fires. 
he had a bunch of those that went in and came out last night in Dallas. That one decided to stay in. James with the alley oop. Well, he went right by the double team. And that wasn't one of your better double team efforts. Well, now Harden's got plenty of time. The rare catch and shoot corner three for James Harden. He very rarely gets any of those because he's normally handling the ball. And he's very rarely left open. Harden takes it for two and one. That just shows you the strength of Harden. He was fouled on that play and he still was able to get it to go down. Kaminsky missed the layup. And for Reed at the other end. Harden now 28 points, 10 assists, yeah. at six rebounds. 10 and 10 for Chris Paul. And Bridges. Warriors Rockets on an NBA Wednesday. And it's presented by State Farm. Yes, it's only one of 82, but not according to the Houston Chronicle. This morning's paper says it's not just another game. Fourth and final meeting of the season between these two teams. And I think you're going to see that in the playoffs where, where both Draymond Green and DeMarcus are going to get looks from three. This could be a charge. Nope. Blocking foul. Cousins picks up the personal. Rockets just one of seven from downtown. Draymond Green, coast to coast, he thought he was hit. Oh, he's yelling at Ed Malloy. Here comes Harden the other way. Harden throws it up. Capella. And there is Daniel House. And Daniel House wanted a longer contract. And the Rockets wanted to sort of get him, I think, at a bargain price. He held his ground. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see how that particular player plays out for them. Harden to the basket. Looney was right on him. And James Harden with his second field goal. Alley-oop, Capella! That's their first field goal in almost five minutes. Harden, step back, gets fouled, and one! Chance for a four-point play as Harden knocks down his first three-pointer of the game. Iguodala guarding Harden. And Harden just flips it up. See the way everyone's looking for that lob to Capella, and it left Harden open for a layup. Harden throws it up to Capella! Perfect pass! Straight points by the Rockets. Chris Paul wide open for three. Kevon Looney must be saying, why does this keep happening? Yeah. Harden just one of six from three-point range. Has been getting to the free throw line. Tries another, hits another. Harden. Hand in his face, knocks it down. So rare to see James Harden take a mid-range shot. A three-pointer. Rockets with their first lead of the night. Harden splits the defense. Green trying to stay with him. Harden goes right at him. Drives. Counter and one. That's going to be the second foul on Draymond Green. Harden scoops it up. Somehow got it to go over the rim. As Green answers back with a three. Pass inside, deflected and stolen. Harden got a piece of it. Harden spins, kicks it out. Green for three. See, if I'm him tonight, I'm saying, are you familiar with my work? <laughs> <laughs> Harden banks it home. 26 for Harden. Al Hill, oh, perfect connection. Harden and Capella once again. Gordon for three. Big bucket there. 120 remaining. Harden, step back, foul line jumper, got it. Six point game, minute 17 remaining. The Suns hit the road for a quick back to back with their first stop on the launch pad in H Town as they brace for the Beard and his three point bandits. It's the Phoenix Suns and Houston Rockets here on Fox Sports Arizona. Booker on the drive. He was looking for a whistle that never came, so back come the Rockets. There is the 
crafty move from James Harden. I was really hoping I could have gotten a picture of PJ's game outfit coming in. We were talking with Igor Kikoshkov before the game when PJ walked in, and let's just say it was one to remember as Harden strikes from deep. And Kelly unable to get the left hand finish in there. But, you know, he said it, it would have been a very different reaction because he said early on in the season, I was trying to figure myself out. I'm trying to figure out the team. They had 18 games. This is his 19th game. 13 starts for Fareed while Capella was sidelined. And as you point out, it's played very well. It cranks that one back and slams it home. Hard on the drive. And, well, you, that play was just so indicative of most of his drives, EJ. Just almost pokes the ball out, inviting you, as you had pointed out, to reach in there. Hard inside again. You can see him on those drives. Good ball movement here. They set up Shumpert for the wide open triple and the veteran cashes in. And one tie in this one. The Suns have led by as many as eight. And Clint Capella gives the Rockets another lead, their biggest of the night. Matching it now a couple times and one. Suns holding on. I mean, the Rockets wanted to blitz them here and get some separation. Capella with the step through. Harden on the drive, and he'll head back to the line. And then got down by 14 against Golden State. Mike is right, though, uh, Kay Ray, because that that game, even if they had won it, really meant nothing. Because the ultimate, the ultimate win for the Houston Rockets is come playoff time. And so it gave Mike D'Antoni another day to teach. And to keep these guys with the understanding, it's going to take a lot more than that to beat the Golden State Warriors. Aiden's come up short the last couple of shots now. Harden up top to Capella. Playing a stop ball. He had to stop it. You know, I know everybody's thinking he's going to shoot it, so they kind of zone in on him. Good 11th start here tonight is Harden. The drive and a finish, but Oubre averaging nearly 19 points, almost six rebounds. I felt Oubre needed a huge game, and boy, he is having one right now. 17 points this quarter, more in this half. That is. Hard flirting with triple double already, and able to pick the pockets of Aiton. He's very good at that. I mean, he is up there in regards to deflections this season, and so you put the ball in his face. He'll flick it away on you. Aiden with Harden on him. And Harden twice has been able to knock it free from the rookie. Tell you what, if Aiden turns around and Aiden only, ha Aiden only has a no foul. And again, Harden comes up with a steal. Loads it up and in. No way a guy should split a double. Team. Aiden is getting fatigued because of the defense that he's seeing, and it's 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 kind of it's aggravating him a little bit. And so he's got to figure out how to navigate it. If he doesn't, then he's going to have a, tr a struggle the rest of the game because they're not going to get out of it. Harden with the drive. Harden with 22. Harden again with the left hand scoop and score. Suns have outscored the Rockets bench 14-9 as Harden winding up from deep and connects. Mattel can't be worried about him driving. House on the drive and finds himself right at the rim again. Yeah, I talked about what? You can't let the others get going here. At six turnovers here in the corner is Holmes with the block, but a goaltend. Booker lost the handle. He was looking to drop it off to Aiton. Yeah, I think Harden's going to try to shoot this. He hadn't shot in a while. Ridge is backing up. He must have heard you. 31 for the bearded wonder. 
goodness. But in the last three seasons under Mike D'Antoni, the Rockets are a league best 40 and 20 in games decided by five points or fewer as Harden hits the deck hard and will head back to the line. Well, they've got to find an answer for this guy, and that is not easy to do is that floater gives the Rockets their biggest lead of the night with 2-11 to play here in a fourth and 102-96. Hard driving, Oubre way back, sets up House for the long, high-arching three. And Daniel House, who got the start tonight, his 13th of the season, knocking down his fourth triple. Bridges got to get it in, nearly throws it away. Booker turning, firing. Oubre had it, but then it's Harden, who was able to quickly collect it. League leading, 25th, 40-point game of the season. And he'll just miss his seventh triple-double. As, in some ways, that last turnover is fitting because it was the turnovers that ultimately cost the Suns this game tonight, 21 of them that led to 24 Houston. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. And tonight, the Rockets are taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Wolves tonight, no Derrick Rose as well for Minnesota, who's played very well off the bench this year. Step back three by Towns, too strong. No Derrick Rose, no Teague. So they're with Tyus Jones and Jared Bayless. Bob for Capella. Obviously Harden scores, but he's also terrific when it comes to assists. Almost eight per game. Led the NBA a couple of years ago in assists. Harden again. Capella another put down. Minnesota gets it back. Towns can't finish. Pinballs out to a Kogi who knocks down the foul line. Jay. Here's Capella again from Harden. Beautiful pass, but you should not get a rim run after a made basket. Harden lets it fly, cans the three-pointer. 309 made threes. Third most in a single season in the history of the league. The other two, Steph Curry. Now House with Chris Paul out at 18 points against Phoenix. They beat the Suns the other night, and I know you could say, well, the Suns are bad, but the Suns have beaten Milwaukee twice. They just beat Golden State a week ago as Harden drives and finishes. Terrific play by James Harden getting to the rim. Harden answers with a three of his own on the other end. Nice right-hand running hook by Harden. I don't think I've ever seen him take that type of shot. No. Harden with the floater, swishes it over Towns. Back-to-back -back scoring titles was an assist leader a few years ago in the NBA. Averaged over 11 assists per game in one season. Eight-second difference in the clocks. Shepard sizing up the three and hitting it to give Houston the lead. The biggest issue with Minnesota's defense tonight is their transition, even after makes or missed free throws, inexcusable. Their half-court defense has been good. Towns on the baseline, drills it. All-star each of the last two years for the Wolves. They've got to go back to getting him established right away as Gordon hits another three. And a timeout by Minnesota as Gordon and the Rockets catching fire from three-point range. Harden pops for three and hits. Third three for James Harden. As Capella gets the dunk from Harden. It's not a guarantee the Warriors are going to have the number one seed anyway. And they're only up a game on Denver right now. Absolutely. Clippers trade Tobias Harris. They don't miss a beat. San Antonio's won eight in a row. Hottest team in the NBA. Harden rips the net on the 17th three by Houston. Harden penetrates and gets to the basket for the layup. Kogi puts it on the floor, missed the layup, but showed that athletic ability again. That first step is explosive. He's just got to continue to work on his finishing game. And like most first-year players, 
They've got to make a big, as Green hits another three, they've got to make a big jump between year one and year two. And all these games down the stretch important with the Rockets battling for playoff position, trying to secure home court in the first round. And with a win tonight, 44 and 26 record. They've won 11 of their last 12, and Chris Paul playing at a very high level right now. Welcome to State Farm Arena and our showcase night tonight featuring Trey Young as the Atlanta Hawks get set to take on the Houston Rockets. We'll have Trey Young covered from all angles tonight and he's wearing a wireless microphone for us so Hawks fans are in for a big treat as Atlanta gets set to take on the NBA's leading scorer in James Harden just a tick under 36 points per game to lead all scorers in our league. A short clock here for Houston. And Harden with a step back three to start his oh, night, and Torian gets a piece of it. Come on. Three free throws right out of the gate for James Harden. Of course, that's Houston's signature, and so is this, too. This pick and roll with Harden and Capella is some kind of hard to guard. You know, and it's just like the Trey Young, John Collins pick and roll. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty hard play to guard. Here is Young broken up, and the Rockets take it away. But uh, Rockets converged on Trey Young and got a pretty easy pick. House out of the corner hits a three. Now you may remember him as Daniel House, but he told the coach, the PR staff, he wanted to be known as Daniel House. His first name is spelled D-A-N-U-E-L, so you'll hear okay. that pronunciation tonight. Harden into the lane. Beauty. He's got seven. 22-19. Trey defending, Harden shooting, and draining the three, his first of the well, night. When he start dancing like that, you know what's coming. The three-point shot is coming. Harden pops it up, and there's Capella. Tell you, they got that one down. Yeah, that's a pretty much automatic. They just throw it by the rim. He goes up and catches it. And that ball almost goes in on the Harden pass. What do you hope to see from your team? Just a rejuvenated squad. Um, a, a team with a lot more energy, a lot more willingness to, to run and get after teams. And you know, I, I think that it, it has been a grueling schedule for us. And I, I think it's worn on the guys and a short off season. So, we're, we're using this break to, to recharge the batteries so that we can really get after it. Jalen Adams. Missing the three at the end of the shot clock. Bays gets the tip pass to Collins. And John lost it out of bounds, and Lloyd Pierce thought it was a foul. DeAndre. Now Collins has Harden in the switch. Layup goes. Oh, he is just amazing scorer. Uh, that's just a tough, tough shot. On the cut, Bembry turns and finishes. Oh, that was a wonderful pass by Adams. Uh, Bembry just couldn't finish it. Oh, look at Capella right down the middle, touched the lob from Harden. This is as hard to guard a two-man tandem as there is in the NBA. Eric Gordon whips it up top to Harden. Corner three for Chris. Oh, that ball whipped around the horn so quickly. Bays has his pass knocked down. James Harden will take it and bury it. Timeout Atlanta. Rockets have hit five field goals in the second half. They've all been threes. Make it six as James Harden connects. Harden, the master of broad contact, gets in and scores again. That's just a good play. Lynn didn't hold his ground and Harden got him backpedaling. Baseball moves in, stolen by Eric Gordon. Harden into the lane, lobs it. Capella dunks it. I'm telling you, this, I'm, I swear, Nick, this is the toughest pick and roll to guard in the NBA. Yeah, it is. Rockets go to that Harden. Capella Hawks have hit 15 of 39. Houston is at 16 of 40, which doesn't sound so hot until you look at just the second half. In the last two periods, they are 12 of 19 on three. 13 of 20. No, oh, he's amazing. There's no, there's no defense for that. If you don't double him, eh, that's pretty much a lost call. You got to get the ball to his hands. Yes, right? yes, you do. Another Harden to Capella. Oh, that's just ridiculous there. Hawks fell asleep there.
Rockets have beaten the Grizzlies three times this season, and tonight will be playing for their first sweep of the series since 2010. Here are tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Southwest Airlines, the backcourt of James Harden and Chris Paul, Clint Capella in the middle, Iman Shumpert in the starting lineup in place of Eric Gordon, P.J. Tucker as well along the front line for the Grizzlies. Conley, a pair of ex-Raptors, Wright and Valanchunas, Justin Holiday, and Bruno Caboclo, who is with the Rockets in training camp. Harden to Capella, like we saw over and over last night in Atlanta. Two-man action, Paul the Tucker, and he blew the wide open layup. And then Shumpert helped force the turnover. Good hustle by P.J. Rockets get another crack at it. Now you gotta figure P.J. Tucker misses a layup. Now he takes a three and knocks it down. He got the loose ball in between. That's P.J. Tucker right there. Harden knocks down the three. And there's a catch and shoot variety of three, which James doesn't get very many throughout the season, but over the last couple of weeks, he's been getting a lot more. Harden on the defense while we're talking about him. Number two in steals. A little leaner, and it rolls in, so a quick five straight for the beard. Harden on the inbounds. Goes right at Holiday, scores, that'll count. And so a free throw coming up for James Harden. Chandler Parsons is out there. He's had an interesting year. A little floater for James Harden. Uh, if you can, please be a part of the book drive. Boy, Capella was way away from the rim and had full extension to finish that one. Harden, back to Clint again. That's easy money right there, and James Harden reads that play so well. The Grizzlies continue to do that, then Capella will have another huge game. Harden got knocked down, hit the shot. He went right down Hastry. The Caboclo blocked that. Rockets get it back. Harden fires up the triple. Three's better than two. Harden measures one. And he hits it, and he's looking for the foul. He got hit on the arm. So that's 20 for Harden, who's averaging 44 a game against the Grizzlies this year. Harden, another teardrop, and one. Doesn't matter how you try to guard him, he's got a counter for it. The dirt. So between Valanciunas and Mike Conley, they have not missed a shot. They're 13 of 13. They have 37 of the Grizzlies, 60. Whistle. And there's a defensive mistake by Holiday. You cannot reach on James Harden. Harden jab stepping. God, and Capella able to bank it up and in. Tough shot, too. That was well defended by Valanciunas going straight up and down. And Capella had to just power that through him. Hoping that you guys aren't wearing the, uh, the, the unitards that they were wearing. Well, speak for yourself. There have been a lot of requests for the unitard for me. <laughs> House knocks down the three. <laughs> OK. Daniel House gets the start here in the second half instead of Shumper. Paul got it to go. Back to back baskets for Chris Paul. That one a three, his first make from downtown. Harden has not scored in the third yet. And uh, he will more than likely do so here at the free throw line. Yeah, to see how Nene cleared out of the paint, so that gave Harden plenty of space to drive. Conley, oh, what a play, but he missed. Pretty good handles by Conley. Harden off the glass. You see how Noah was there defending the rim, but Harden able to shoot that little floater, little runner over the top. Good ball, pressure, turnover. Open man in the corner, Gerald Green. Here's the first. Now, there was a game here, la was it last year that he got like crazy hot in the fourth quarter? Alan Chittis has been beasting, they turn him over again. Green handed his face! Oh! And the whole nine yards! Three of them in the quarter for Gerald Green. It ain't over yet. Three ball is good for Harden. And in the Western Conference, the teams are so bunched up from two to eight. 
Actually make it one through eight. Harden with a layup, so quick five straight for him. He's got 34 now, so he's scored 30 on Memphis four times this season. He scored 40 on him twice. No good for Dorsey again. Memphis playing really deep into the shot clock. Yeah, and you can see the, the crowd does not have confidence. Long three for Harden. The line drive is good. Nine-point game. 4.37 to go. Keep it locked on AT&T Sportsnet. Harden, get in there. Yes! An improbable, improbable sequence. And about one-third of the arena is cheering and two-thirds of the arena is booing. And look at this shot from James Harden. Gets bumped down low. Swish. Four-point opportunity. He now has 40 on the Grizzlies. The contortion four-point play there for James Harden. Five-point game. 15-2 run. Alan Junis to Caboclo. He misses. Grizzlies 0 of 7 from downtown in the quarter. Harden. Dancing, firing again! He did it again, two point game! MVP. That's quality stuff right there. MVP! 44 for James Harden. Conley gets two for Memphis. House in there. Picked up by Wright. The Boclo, two on one. Not a good sequence as they score. Five to shoot. Ball, tough angle. Wow, what a shot from Chris Paul out of the corner. Well covered. Five on the shot clock. Conley by Capella. Big basket. Big, big basket for Memphis. 33 for Conley. Tucker. Got it over Conley. Two point game, 50 seconds remaining. Conley. No, rebound ball. House to the rim off the window. No. Rebound to both low, got fouled with 21 and a half to go. Misses the second. Rockets still have that timeout to use. Down by three, Noah on Harden. Into the lane, to the rim, no. Capella, no. Capella gets it back and gets fouled. See what Capella does on the second. Hits them both, those are two big makes and the Grizzlies will use their final timeout. Hope for the best of the free throw line. And then perhaps use your last time out, advance it, and try to put yourself in a position to get this game at least to overtime. And House gets Holiday. And here's the final timeout for the Rockets with 5.6 to go. Harden got fouled on a three. He just got fouled on a three. Oh, my. He hit all three. Tied at a buck 15. Still four seconds to go. Parsons, who just came in to right, Gets it back, fumbled it, fumbled it, and we are going to overtime. Harden with the strip, may have gotten away with a foul too, that's all right, Harden Urals by Parsons, and the Rockets for the first time tonight are out in front. Harden tough three. Good. Not out of it. And over, now while well, that man's on the floor, they're gonna review it. Conley, the crossover, to the rack. 35 for Mike Conley. You see the Rockets don't have Capella on the floor. They're, they're out there for the three-point shooting and they weren't able to have any rim protection. Harden, another tough one, he did it again! That's insane! He's got 55, he had 57 on the earlier. turned him over! He got turned over at 57 for Harden. Game tied at 125. Pandemonium in Memphis. His yeah. second 57-point game against the Grizzlies 
this year. Three seconds to go in a game. Conley, Tucker got a piece of it. Oh, and Valanciunas got fouled with one tenth of a second. One tenth of a second. You can't even catch and shoot. You got to hope for two misses. Valiant comeback. That falls painfully short. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Picked up by Gay. Now Gay's big enough to guard him on that step back. Harden gets the ball right back from Capella. Five on the shot clock. You cannot go underneath the screen when you're guarding James Harden. And Harden to the basket, and it goes. That was a really tough mid-range shot by James, yeah. but he has a propensity to make those difficult shots look very easy. Well, he went the opposite. He turned the opposite way he normally does. Wrong legged and everything. <laughs> That's right. Harden knocks it away. Look at Aldridge hustle back on defense. Harden number two in the league in steals. And he draws a foul. He's so cagey. The smartest player, I think, in the NBA in terms of drawing fouls. White was had him covered, and then he deked him right here. Wide open as the spur is down. Whenever you guard Harden, you spend a lot of time on the floor. Rudy Gay has Harden one-on-one -on -one for the moment. Step back, fires, and foul. Rudy Gay is six foot eight. So he can uh, step back a little bit more than normal guards can when he's on Harden. One of the old veterans in the game now can really shoot it from the outside here. Pass inside to DeRozan. Got it right where he likes it and rimmed it out. Marco Bellinelli is on the right side of the court. He'll be on house. Harden to the basket for two more. It's so soft when he, when he just throws it up there with the back spin. The ball bounces around on the rim and still drops. There is Harden with the layup. Well, regardless, Bertans is not going to be able to stay in front of Harden as Harden goes left and gets all the way to the rim. Well, Bertans may be able to answer with threes, but he can't play much defense. And there's DeRozan inside, and he gets cut off again. B.J. Tucker. Well, San Antonio has been able to hold Harden down this season to only 24 points a game. And a three-pointer for Shepard. Uh, good to see Shepard knocking down his first shot. He's going to get a lot of open threes when he's on the floor for the Rockets. Harden on the drive. Oh, he just rolled it out, but he will shoot two. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Oh, boy. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Watch he out. shot that from Sugar Land. He's got 24 points in the first quarter, and he just drained a 30 foot step back. Harden. Picked up on the perimeter. Got it. There it is. Highest scoring quarter ever for James Harden. Just keep putting the records on top of records on top of records. Eric White with a miss. Capella starts a fast break. Look at Capella get up and down that court. And Harden with a three. The guy's unbelievable. 30 points for James Harden. That's his 51st 30 point game this year. Think about that. So a wild shot by Bren Forbes. Harden gets by one, gets by the other, throws it up and draws a foul. You see when Harden's driving in there, he's not looking for space. He's looking for contact. He's looking for contact. And there's three jerseys around and three spurs, and he's still looking to get hit. Here comes the double team as Mills gets. Doesn't make any difference. James Harden with his fifth three-pointer of the game. Nine seconds down to eight, down to seven. Harden gets through the scrum and makes two more. It's ridiculous, man. Good defense by Capella. Now let's see if the Rockets can score. Harden from the parking lot. Oh, man, are you kidding me? The beard, he's on fire tonight. Spontaneous and relentless. Aldridge missed it. 
Spurs double team immediately on Harden. Harden gets around it, throws it up and in anyway. He just exhausts the other team. I, you know, they're chasing him now with two guys. Comes Harden again, White's on him immediately. Look at Pirtle come over to help. He goes around, Pirtle lays it up and in. Half of San Antonio was on him. And he's working on a good young defensive player. Steps back on Derek White, misses. Shumpert with a great job with the rebound and gets it back to Harden. Harden to the basket, lays it up and in. He's just absolutely a machine. Harden fires it up and he's fouled. He'll shoot three. <laughs> Forbes is scratching his head like, what do I do? Harden goes to the basket, lost the basketball, gets it right back again. Steps back and fires and hits. James Harden with 51 points. This is the eighth. 50-point game for Harden this year and the 17th of his career. Harden got it. Back-to-back -back threes for the MVP. 54 points for Harden. Three minutes left to play. Knocked away by P.J. Tucker. Harden sets, fires, boom. Seconds on the shot clock. 202 left in the game. Rockets up by one. Harden falls away. Fires it off the glass. He had to invent a shot. It's the Harden show. He has scored the last 11 points for Houston. Here he goes again. Here he goes again. James Harden. Relentless. Gerald Green gets it all started just like he did last game in Memphis with the three. Now Chris Paul helps out a little bit. And then a nice pass here to Capella with the hard hammer. But then James Harden just takes over the game. Bang. There's one. How about another? That's right. two. Do I hear three? <laughs> there is the turkey. Go there there is the turkey. Boom. Oh, baby. And the crowd is going bananas here at Toyota Center. Here's 61 points off the glass. And he did that on purpose. <laughs> so here's 61 right here. Yeah. Now James has two 60-point games, and he ties his own franchise record of 61. There's still a minute and a half left to go. This is an incredible show. I can't believe this. There's Calvin Murphy's long-time record <laughs> that stood since 1978. James Harden has beaten it one, two, three, four, five times in the last two years. He's obliterated it. And the Houston Rockets are going to win the game over San Antonio. The Rockets win the season series three to one. The Rockets player of the game brought to you by Frost Bank. Let's see, uh, I'll, I'll pick Harden, how's that? James, you tie your career high, 61 points. You did it earlier this season at Madison Square Garden. What does it mean to you to be able to do it in front of this this home crowd? Um, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy we won. Uh, we gave up a terrible loss last game. We wanted to bounce back and uh, give them credit. Spurs is a great team. Uh, we played four quarters of great basketball. You had 27 points in the first quarter alone. Not many people will ever know what it feels like where everything that they put up goes in. What does it feel like being in the zone like that? You got to be locked in. You got to have that mindset to where you're just in attack mode uh, every play, and that's what I was in tonight. Nine regular season games left. What is the most important thing heading into playoffs? Win. Win. Thanks, James. And with plenty of purpose, everybody is outside early and with good reason. 75, 80 degrees, classic weather in New Orleans. And we've had it all weekend. Louisiana Derby Day yesterday. The kids love it. And it was packed yesterday at the fairgrounds. Best part of it all. Only nine games to play for the Rockets. And it looks like they're going to be able to hold on to home court for the first round in the playoffs. Currently right now, the number three seed and three up in the loss column. Harden all the way to the cup for the easy one. AD was worried about the lob with Capella. 
So he's kind of playing center field. Harden, believe it or not, is second in the league in steals. Took that away, and he's going to get a layup out of it. Points off a takeaway, and early four to nothing lead. David is like two games of the standings. It really is. Right. And when you're fighting for position, the playoffs, home court, whatever it might be in the standings late in the season, and it's your own division, it's got to be your conference, too. Because now I see some teams are still facing Eastern Conference teams for the West. Western Conference teams. There's Harden. He's got the triple and makes it a six point game. No off arm. Harden on the step back. Arm never came away from the body, did it? AD stays with the play and won't quit. It'll be tapped away, but it'll go right back at it. Can't buy it, can he? Oh, I thought he was about to turn around and dunk that. <laughs> yeah, the effort. That's not in question. That was strong. Elford taking it away. No, Harden got it back. Good job inside of 10 on the shot clock. This is a match race on the step back. Harden got the triple. You know, I asked about it at the broadcast meetings. You can take two, basically two steps forward, so they let two steps back. Really? You said it, Moonwalk. <laughs> Alfred, man, defended well by Hart. So the Bell's down by eight after they got it down to two, and House fills it up. Tucker has two fouls as he comes out of the high screen. And, by the way, somebody needs to guard him. James Harden. Gives them the largest lead of the game. 51-29. It's taken away. Another turnover. That's nine already. And that's a pretty good pass. James Hart, he's finding Austin Rivers on the run. And hit him perfectly in stride. Hard one to compel it now. Deep into the shot clock. Pickoff play. It'll be hard. Gets the triple. He's got 18. Man, oh man, the strength that he possesses. AD got Capella out of position. That runner wasn't close. So the Pels continue to struggle. 39% compared to 51%. Harden got it. How difficult was that? Man, oh man. Harden, we know what he can do. <laughs> He's got the space, 22 point game. You can't afford easy one for Faree. Beautiful bounce entry by James Hart. No, no pickup of the roll. Easy, easy basket. Oh, welcome to Milwaukee and the brand new Pfizer form. Two teams taking June, meaning the finals. And we have two players, the Beards, averaging 36 points a game, inside, outside, and of course, get into the free throw line. In the Greek freak, you talk about defense, you talk about team, you talk about leadership. He's playing yeah, at another oh, different yeah. level. Interesting uh, matchup. Eric Bledsoe has the assignment of guarding the beard. Oh, the left hand floater. And like I said, he just has the assignment. I don't know if he's going to stop him. He has the assignment. <laughs> Good rebound by Giannis in the finish. Using the size that time, guys, on the boards. Using the size, and he's averaging 12 rebounds a night. So, again, we, we see Bledsoe all the way out on, on, the left, on the left side, forcing Harden to use that right hand. All right, JT, good stuff. Uh, Pat Connaughton is checking the game out of Notre Dame, number 24. Good pass by Chris, I mean, excuse me, James Harden to Capella for the finish. I love the adjustment by Mike D'Antoni. So, you're going to push me right. I'm going to clear the side and have nobody there to help. And, and, and Bledsoe returns the favor right back, you know, scores mentality. You score on me, I'm going to score on you. I mean, with Harden, you, you have to make it work. And again, you see them over-exaggerating, staying on that, on that left hand, forcing him to either be a passer inside the lane as Capella finishes Man. with the left hand hook. And Dan Tony talked about him being a better finisher when he gets those drop-off passes. The beard with the finger roll over the shot blockers. Did you say Michigan or Michigan <laughs> State? I, you know, I like him. Uh, I, I really do. I think he's a talented young man. Just went to the wrong school. <laughs> House for another three. Smitty, you called it. Just a fantastic shooter. Great size. Daniel House so far doing a nice job, 3D. And there's the Greek oh. three. 
Spin cycle. He looks at P.J. Tucker and they kind of give each other that. Okay, yeah, that was pretty good. Isaiah 3D, I like the game within the game. Giannis Dunk gave him a little smirk to P.J. Tucker. Yeah. P.J. Tucker got to stop and say, mm-hmm. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I yeah. like the game within the game. <laughs> And, and what Giannis sees out on the floor right now. Three. You know, he's, over. he's the biggest player out on the floor right now. Houston has elected to go very small. I think that Chris Paul loves Mike D'Antoni. How can walk <laughs> up and shoot threes? <laughs> oh, a block this time. That was close. But look at the replay. Was his left foot in the restricted area? That's how Giannis got his first foul on the charge call. Shot clock at five. Ilya Solva with the scoop. Oh, bless him with the steal to finish! Then we have a delayed game on Bledsoe smacking the ball away from James Harden trying to get it in. Listen to this crowd, guys. Great, great heads up play by Bledsoe. And this is, this is why defense is so important because it changes the tempo of the game. And when you pick it up full court like Bledsoe just did, it gives, it gives your offense the energy to get stops. Good block by Giannis. Giannis is pushing. Crowds into it. Ilya Soba, transition three. Misses. Look at Bledsoe, the little big guy with the rebound. Call timeout. Big time there by Eric Bledsoe, right on time. Chris Middleton knocked down a mid-range jump shot. And Middleton now is one for seven in the game, had been struggling 0 for six. Good timeout, good play to get him in the game and get a, to see one go in the basket, Smitty. Mm -hmm. The Middleton is big as Tucker knocks down the three. How do you feel if you're Chris Middleton? You remember back in the day you could play half the guys. Well, he had P.J. Tucker and Eric Gordon. He chose Eric Gordon and P.J. knocked down that three. I just think D.J. Wilson at 6'10", his versatility on both ends is going to be important for the Bucks. And there he is, the beard, <laughs> making it look easy. Jumper with another three, knocks it down. 45-47, Bucks up by two with 4.06 left here in the second quarter. So, Isaiah, I go back to you. That's two for the Bucks now. <laughs> yeah, and, and again, it, it, it will even out. And hey, Giannis. the freak with the left hand jam. He's everywhere. <laughs> I mean, this is give him his right hand. The end not, the floater again, Smitty. You know, and I, it, it's I, not give him his right hand, Smitty. It's I'm going to give you a layup. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you a layup because I'm so afraid of you shooting a three. I'm going to force you to take a layup. And, and little kids, if, if you want to make your team, don't imitate the defense. Oh, <laughs> great pass by Connaughton to Giannis for the alley. Yeah, don't, don't imitate what we're seeing tonight <laughs> defensively, little kids at home. Great pass through here by Connaughton, and of course, just throw anywhere by the rim, and Giannis can get it. And what a luxury to have a guy that can play that well and take up so much space running the floor without the basketball. Giannis with 11 points and eight rebounds here in the first half. Now goes to 13. And Mike D'Antoni talked about it. He said, we want to be arm's length away, but we don't want to give him so much space where he has the advantage going downhill. You know, when, when he makes the spin and he turns and dunks. Help me out, Smitty. Come on, Smitty. George Hill is on it. He's behind him, Smitty. He's not favoring his right hand. He's giving him a layup going. And it's not going to his right. It's going back straight to the line. left. Yeah. I don't even think it's back to the left. Oh. It's a straight line drive. And I, I think you got to have more pressure. Play a little bit more three-quarter than that, Isaiah. Coming up next, American Express Halftime Report. Baron Davis, Candace Parker, my main man Shaq, and Connaughton with the big three. James Harden for the early three. Knocks it down. Good start for James Harden and the Houston Rockets coming out with knocking down a three ball. They struggled in that first half with knocking down threes. TJ Tucker said, Thank you, Giannis, for shooting threes to the attack of me. No, they didn't struggle. They were 10 for 24. Oh, oh, my goodness. Watch your Capella. head. Giannis, watch your head is right, Smitty. You see the Houston Rockets bench? They got up on Yes, they <laughs> did. Good job by Lopez. We talked to Bud at the beginning of this game, in our pregame, and he said, Brooke Lopez is just having fun. I asked him about what are you doing for him and saying how well he's playing on defensive end. He said he's having fun. 
And we have a good relationship, communication. Brooke is the one guy that can go at him yeah. in the section. And he said he goes ahead and says, you know what? Brooke got me today. Yeah. Brooke's got a great, great sense of humor. And he said sometimes, you know, you, you need to break up the monotony of what goes on day to day. And Brooke does a good job with his sense of humor. You got to allow James to shoot the mid-range shot. Because if they're going to defend him like this, well, he, I mean, he's open now. And he, he, he ends up making a layup. But too many times he's passing up 12-foot shots. Good job by Capella. Giannis with three people on oh, yeah. the finger roll. <laughs> that, huh? that was a foul. And how about Hill with the steal? Again, the, the backcourt pressure of the Milwaukee Bucks. Picking up full court. Not a great game for Giannis. Not a great game for Middleton, but Eric Bledsoe has had a fantastic and it's been advantage Bucks defense so far. James Harden with another floater there. Middleton, three. Oh. What's more than a run? They oh, got to get going. They got to get going quickly. Oh, the James Euro step. Good. I got to pick up and put a little pressure on the Bucks right now. 102.89. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. Tonight, the Rockets taking on the Denver Nuggets. Sets it up to the outside, and there's a three-pointer by Gary Harris. Gary Harris, one of the better three-point shooters in the game today, by 35%, but don't ever leave him. All the way to the basket for the Beard. The Beard says, you know what? You can't stop me from getting to the basket. Oh, great pass to Capella. They can read each other's minds, and they also can go get that ball wherever it's thrown. Capella can. Eric Gordon inside. Got to get Eric Gordon, Gordon going. Gordon. Going to have to do that. He gets some calm in no man's land. I know that, Matt, you love three is more than two, but sometimes two is wide open. Chris Paul gets a breather this time of the game, and Harden. Boy, that was on a strain all the way to the basket. Harden just passed Tracy McGrady for 68 on the all-time scoring list with 18,384 points. Pass inside blocked by Capella. He averages about two a game. Harden to Capella. Very one. dreamlike, yeah. rocking on one end and dunking on the other. Harden, little cat and mouse with Beasley. Sets up P.J. Tucker from the wing for three. And that's what James Harden does. He finds the open man. Harden steps back and fires. Oh, my goodness. He was covered with a blanket. What a shot by James Harden. Walker on the drive back. Outside, Barton with the miss. Up ahead to Capella! What a great pass, right over the top from Harden, right on the money. Harden on the drive, lays it up and draws the foul from Jokic. Well, Capella's already got a double-double, 11 points, 10 boards. Great pass. Capella! up the ladder. Oh, give me that cap dance one more time. When he first got there, they had Emmanuel Moutier, yeah. who they were very high on, so it took Murray a little, a couple years to get, to get past that. Rebound goes to Capella. Back to Harden! Oh, I think he was up so high. He got a bloody nose. <laughs> I love that celebration. Harden again this time. Takes it to the basket for two. And that's too easy. It's almost like they're afraid to get in front of it. They're afraid to have contact. Well, you're going to give him a layup or an easy bucket every time. A lot of people didn't know about Will Chamberlain. There's a basket by Harden. It's good, and he's fouled on the play. And it's like we're watching today's era, Will Chamberlain and James Harden. Harden with a three. And a timeout called by Michael Malone. Eight on the shot clock. 
Harden steps back and fires Boom. and hits. James Harden, 35 points with his fourth three-pointer of the game. Harden, man, he went out in the parking lot and took that shot. He was a good four steps behind the three-point line for James tonight. 38 points, six assists, and six rebounds. Now he finally got his average. It's time to get him out. <laughs> That's what they're going to do as Harden comes out of the game. 38, 6, and 6. And he's the Rockets player of the game brought to you by Frost. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. And this afternoon, the Rockets will be taking on the Sacramento Kings. Bagley is averaging better than 18 points and eight rebounds over the last nine games. So it's just like he would be playing in his sophomore year, except it's in the NBA. It's Pauly Stein. Really nice that they started to start him. He was coming off the bench most of the year, putting up incredible numbers. James Harden. Another three-pointer. There's a good example of the unassisted three where James gets the three-point shot on his own with no help from his teammates. You know, Bill's been around uh, a long time doing superior work. Started out uh, at 11, now two. Great pass to Capella. Good play of the timeout for Mike D'Antoni, who's among the best in the league, drawn up plays like that. Nice pass again to Capella. He said, hey, Bagley. This is for your 20th birthday. <laughs> Harden will bring it up. If you don't come out and get him, that's what happens. And James Harden with his second three of the game. Harrison Barnes. Double team on Barnes as he puts it up and misses. Rockets double team from the baseline. They've been doing that all season long, and it's very effective because the ball handler doesn't know where it's coming from. Another trap door opened up. And a king fell into it, but James was fouled on the three-pointer anyway. Alley-oop again. Capella working him over inside. James Harden is feeding him like a baby. Fox with a miss. And Heal does not. Well, the Kings know that three is greater than two. <laughs> that stopped the 13-4 Houston run, that three-pointer. By Buddy Heal. They've got their backcourt set now for quite a while. Yeah, they're really young, really talented. Yeah, Fox is 21. Heal is a veteran. He played at Oklahoma. There's another basket by the Beard. Harden with 15 points already. PJ comes over now to set a pick. Back out to Daniel House. Great no look pass by Harden. That's a good vote if you're going to vote for D. House for sixth man of the year on the Rockets because he has come in and he has been spectacular shooting a three ball. Two seconds. Harden to the basket. He'll go to the line to shoot two. He beat his old buddy, Corey Brewer, who knows every move James has. Yeah, they finally guarded Bogdanovich. He had made four threes in a row. Harden, just kind of an afterthought, just threw it up. He didn't really have his steps right, so his steps were a little bit off, and he still threw it in. Daniel House, extra pass to Harden, who's wide open. Four threes for James Harden. Harden steps back, hits again. Unbelievable! That was criminal what he did to Bogdanovich. He's got 27 already in this half. See, the Kings are going to start doubling him now. Eric Gordon from Pasadena. Well, that's what happens when you double and triple the beard. Eric Gordon, Chris Paul, and, the, and company take over. Harden to the basket for two. 53rd time this year that Harden has scored 30-plus points. And we're still in the first half. You see how quickly Fox... Picks up Harden. Now it's back to Eric Gordon. Eric's got a lot of room. You can't give these kind of shooters this kind of room. And Gordon now is five of eight behind the three-point line. So the Kings are going to start trying to double the ball out of James Harden's hands. So guys like Eric Gordon got to pick up the slack. That was a big-time shot. Yeah. Great shooters like Gordon. They love it when you double-team Harden. I mean, that's just more opportunities for them. 
Alley oop. Better get back. Well, the Kings never stopped the ball. No, Cauley Stein was in no man's land. He had no chance. Harden. Outside, they picked him up. That left Capella open. Waiting his turn with a reversal for two. The improvement, I think, too, for Clint Capella. He's developed a little bit more range in his offense. And Harden puts it up with the right hand. He just bumped. Looks like that bumper pool. He was just bumping around, getting in there. Harden steps back, and finally, he had missed five threes in a row, and he finally makes one. And Harden now. Six threes tonight, six of 17. He's got 36 points. There it is, right there. <laughs> Come and get it. Good morning. He, Clyde, he Dre him. <laughs> Clyde Drexler's seen that before. He knew what was going to happen. To the basket with a floater. What are you going to do? They had him out on the rim. That's an 8-2 run by the Rockets. Trying to guard him out at the three-point line. He just goes by you. There's Harden again, floating it up and in. He's so soft around that rim. It's almost like he's throwing up a jello basketball. Just, just gets up there and he's got a great touch on the rim. Harden with the basketball, five on the shot clock. Harden puts it up and in. James Harden now has 2,000 made three-pointers in his career, becoming the ninth player in league history to reach that milestone. He heals around Harden, fires it up and missed it. Bagley trying to get it, and Harden got the rebound. Rifles a pass to Capella! James Harden doing it all! Harden's ball again, seven on the shot clock. Goes around the double team to the basket. He's fouled. Got hit upside the head. And he'll shoot two. And here you hear the MVPs. What James Harden has done this year for the Houston Rockets is even give them a chance to have the home court advantage. They, they really, without his scoring this season with all the injuries, there it is, the ninth. 50-point game this year for Harden, the 18th of his career. Well, it's good to be back home after a five-game road trip. And for the second time in just a few days, once again, it's the Kings and the Rockets on NBC Sports California, powered by Xfinity. And it's 2 nothing. He is, he is strong and silky smooth, but I do like the fact, don't, don't foul him, put him at the line. Harding got by Bielitsa too easily on that drive. 8-4. Oh, nice pass to Capella from Harding, 16-11. Six minutes left, Kings only have 11 points. Here is a wide open Tucker. That's just way too easy. So whoever's on the weak side, listen, when that goes away, you have to come over and rotate. Make the pass be the one all the way to the corner. Kenneth Farid is in. He was a great pickup for this team. Plus, when Clint Capella went down. Here's Harden's three. And he gets it to fall. He now has 11. That's his first three-pointer and three tries. Bad pass picked off by Harden. Rockets look to... Take advantage of the turnover, Shumpert. And it's 28-19, timeout, Sacramento. Three-pointer, no good. Clint Capella with the Rockets up seven, and here's James Harden. He scored 11 in the first nine minutes of the game. Although he did take seven shots. Not as efficient as we saw the other night, but that's still very good, and that is good by Gordon. And it's, uh, again, a double-digit lead, 31-31. Gordon has eight points. Nice pass, Harden to Capella. Left hand toss. Pick your poison with those two. Barnes on Harden. That's 14 for Harden. I don't know how you guard him. Harden now has 17. Yeah, you can't create that much space against the Aaron Fox, meaning uh, it's an offensive foul. You, you kind of just throw him out of the way. Harden looking for two more. 19 first half points for James Harden. Rebound Capella. Willie's one of five. 
screen set for James Harden. Now he accelerates, goes all the way, puts it up and in, and James Harden has 21. He's got a chance to be pretty good. Yeah, you think so? Oh boy, Fox slipped. First turnover of the quarter, and Harden forces Dave Yeager to take a timeout. James Harden now with 23 points on only 12 shots. Tucker gets the bounce. 67 to 51. That's one area of James Harden's game I think that is really underestimated is uh, the ability to pass the basketball. Right now. And that's where you made a good point earlier about the attrition of Chris Paul and have to always worry because we've seen what happened including last year. Three Harden. 26 for Harden. Wow. I mean, it's not else you, what else am I going to say other than wow? Uh oh. And if the C parted, they had 566. The Elite Set now with the assignment of guarding James Harden, who has scored 29 points. Make that 32 and a chance for 33. Well, here's the bottom line. James Harden is just great. I mean, foul or no foul, he made the shot. He's just a phenomenal talent. Here's Fareed. Now to Harden. Gets by one. Numbers. Look out below. He's getting away from the Kings yeah. right now. 109-89. Just like the Kings next year. We already know how they're going to play. They're going to step on the gas and they're going to go. Harden has 33 for the game. Not a bad two game total. He had 50 the last time he played on Saturday night. Make that 36. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, you, he's my MVP. All right. Okay, I, you, you brought you over to his side, huh? I mean, you got no. to give a guy credit. I mean, yep. uh, he makes it look easy. It, it is not easy. From Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, this is L.A. Clippers basketball. Talk about your final four. Here we go into the last lap of the 82-game NBA season. A very possible playoff preview tonight. The Clippers greet the Houston Rockets. Here's Garrett Temple guarding the man, but to go inside and finds Capella. You forget that Harden's a very willing and very capable man. Houston shot 61 three-pointers last night in Sacramento. It was maybe even more amazing than that, Don. They only shot 33 two balls. Yeah. 33 two-pointers, 61 three-pointers. It's, it's unbelievable how many that is in a 48-minute game and how that affects your defense. But if you're making enough of them, then it's effective. And it obviously was last night. They beat Sacramento easily. Harden through the paint. Temple chases him. Harden with the bucket. 9-4 ball game. Clippers may be a little out of sync because that guy's not in the lineup too, Ralph. What he brings mentally to the start of these games for the Clippers. Yeah, they set him, set him down in the second half the other night. And Doc said, we, we really missed it. Another nice feed from Harden to Capella. You can't let Harden get in that deep. He's either going to score or he's going to do that, throw it up to Capella. Temple trying to make Harden work by picking him up full, which is, which is a good idea, but I don't think Temple can do it the whole game. Drive to the hole and get fouled again. Yeah, a large part of the, the plan or the hope against Harden is to wear him out, make him work at both ends of the basketball court. Maybe the fourth quarter doesn't have quite the pop. That'll go, and uh, Doc Rivers has seen enough, thank you. Just can't imagine how easy he makes it look. Change of speed. There's the steal by Tucker. Here's Harden. Into the corner for three. Creates that space with that one little step. But his ability to go by you is what sets that up. And then that step back is lethal. Somehow find a way to get three. And heavy traffic could not get off the shot. Three guys on. Gordon. Bingo. I'm not sure how you defend that, Ralph, because it's so far behind the line. Only 35 points so far, and the Rockets just continue to rain threes. 10 of 16 now. Shamit misses. Rebound Harden. 
reigning MVP, reigning scoring champion. Just can't stay in front of him. The temple was set, ready to go, ready to move, and he's so shifty. Yeah, there he again from the same spot. So that's obviously a, a play call and designed to get Capella over the top. Zubots not seeing both man and ball. Backdoor pass, the lob, the jam. That was a design play out Absolutely. of the halftime. Harden flipping it up to Capella again. Hey, he's just something else. He just does it with the absolute greatest of ease. Inside to Capella out of the timeout that, as they started the yeah. second half that way. And that's got to be a record for, for being tossed. 63 seconds into the game. Goes to Alexander out to get him. Go to the hole. Lots of contact, scores. Wonders why he didn't get a foul call. He gets to enough. Michael Green for two in a row. He gets enough whistles. Yeah, I guess so. Right? He's already can't shot call eight for Joe's. Yeah, can't call a foul on every possession. I hope not. Here will go again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A layup drill for James Harden. Catch me if you can. Three plus one. Well, I, I think he badly wants, and I think the uh, Rockets really want him to get a second straight MVP. And uh, he's got quite a case to be made. Wearing those gold shoes. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston. AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. And tonight, the Rockets taking on the New York Knicks. Fox puts it up and in. Damian Dotson. Dotson, a Houston product. And let me tell you something, this kid can play. He's getting an opportunity on a bad oh, Between the legs to Capella. Showtime. Got some good young players, and if they could get some veterans to sprinkle in, they could make a move next season. I, I really like Knox. Uh, I like Moutier. Uh, he's not playing tonight. I like Robinson. I like Dotson, Damian Dotson. And I love that step back from that guy right there. Damian Dotson made some All-American teams at the U of H. He was the first real player that Kelvin Sampson had in that U of H program. And Capella with the left hand. Yeah, Damian came from the University of Oregon. Strip by Harden. Best post defender in the league. Alley up to the house. Best alley oop passer in the league. James Harden's got to be the MVP. If anybody votes for anybody, anybody else besides, else. just come on. I'll tell you what, when you win 65 games, you're tired the next year. You're very tired. And there's a foul. Again, somebody invading James Harden's space. As the Rockets take in on the young Knicks, who have about seven players on the injured list. At least seven. And Phoenix, who the Rockets play Sunday, have about the same number injured. And both teams have the same incentive to not win to try to get uh, the first pick next year. James with a step back. Never hit anything but the net. Oh, the Rockets get it back to Harden. He was wide open. You know what he did? He, he waited for John Jenkins to come to him before he shot the ball. Nick's still in that 2-3 zone. Harden to the basket. You know, Robinson was ready to block that shot, and he got by and got on his hip. Don't stick that arm out there, youngster. Harden got him on his hip again. <laughs> Master class right there. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt. Rockets uh, can uh, hold on to the ball. They will do it. There's a difference of about seven seconds. Shot clock, game clock. Both teams in the penalty, so Knicks don't want to foul, and they don't. That's a great play. Capella cutting in from the corner. A lot of young people come to the game. Alley up again. Well, the Knicks come out still playing James Harden on his left hand, inviting him to drive. Good follow by James. Eric Gordon on the drive. That's what he did. He is really good. Lance Thomas. Eric Gordon says, I'm not going to take much time. No, I'll be right back with you. And he shot that from the Toyota Center logo on the floor. That was at least eight feet behind the three-point. Harden. 
Nice. Gets it right back. Beautiful pass by Fareed. And a beautiful shot. Oh, the give and go and give. Yeah, those two work so well together. But anybody with Harden and Paul, Chris Paul, they work together with any big guy. Harden. Throws it up and it goes in. Everything this season is going in for James Harden. You know, the uh, great thing about P.J. Tucker, uh, since the start of the 2012-13 season, he has played the most games of any player in the league, and that counts, folks. A three-pointer. Pretty wide variety of music between Cher and Khalid. Yeah, big genre gaps. And this is the 30th home win of the year for Houston. And the Rockets now go to 52 and 28 on the season. Live from Toyota Center in downtown Houston, AT&T Sportsnet proudly presents Houston Rockets basketball. And tonight, the Rockets taking on the Phoenix Suns. All right, Bill, back to you. Thank you, Michelle. She's always good for a dancer for, uh, or two every game. And she, she got us uh, a three-pointer right there. Strong, it's quick, it's athletic, but his knowledge of the game is really what sets James Harden apart from the pack. Troy Daniels with a miss. Daniels started his career here in Houston. As a free agent. And Capella just toying with it. Yeah, I mean, what, what the Rockets are doing on the offensive end, Koskroff's going to have to make an adjustment. Harden, right through. What double team? <laughs> He went by five guys then. He's just so quick. He's been going by five guys all season. Harden gets double teamed again. Goes down low for an easy two. We're just picking the Suns apart yeah. defensively. Well, Dwayne Wade has been phenomenal. Yeah, he point. can still play, yeah. and he's retiring. So, Dirk, <laughs> pay attention. Harden with the continuation score of the basket and the free throw for James. I can still do it. Eric Gordon can still do it. Averaging four threes a game. Double team. Manuel House is open, but passes the three. And goes for a slam. Martin goes baseline. And stays in the air and draws a foul. Look how strong he is. He just is unbelievable with his strength. Rockets will find out maybe later tonight who they will play in the first round of the playoffs. Harden with his first three of the game. Chris Paul brings it up. Backdoor play to Harden. Easy. We don't play. get many that easy. Good play out of the timeout to, to really burn the Suns the way they've been playing James Harden very strong. Let's go backdoor and loosen up that deep. Offered off the bench with 16 points. Harden with a bomb. Rockets had certainly had an advantage uh, in the playoffs last year against the Warriors until Chris Paul went out with a hamstring injury. There's P.J. Tucker. He missed the final two games, and the Warriors won it seven. Wow, how about that power move and the floater in the paint? This goes right through Bender. Saw Jack Sigma on that list. Jack was a uh, assistant coach here with the Rockets for several years. Jack only, was a great player with the Seattle Supersonics, and they won a championship. The only person I didn't see on that list is Rudy Tomjanovich. He should have been on it. And, that's his, and this is what is, you know, everybody who gets in this year to the Hall of Fame is very deserving. But Rudy T should be in the Hall of Fame as well. Coach the Cleveland franchise. There's Harden with a three. What the referees were talking about with Harden's step back three, they've had to figure out a way. You know, a lot of people say, well, that step back is a walk, but the referees say it isn't. There's Harden with another bomb. You're looking at a guy who's teaching out there on the floor. Master class, James Harden. Daniel House with the 21st three by the Houston Rockets. Up ahead to Nene. Oh, he barely got it in there. That was a rub in, Nene. <laughs> Go ahead and lay it up, big fella. You got to remember, though, they won 65 games last season. So this season was just about the postseason. And then they had to get. Oh, oh, Harden at the buzzer. 
Well, almost. They got two tenths of a second left, but Harden says, I know I'm leaving the game. I'm going to leave it with a bang. Good evening, everyone from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, where former MVPs go head to head in a game with a lot on the line as we close in on the end of the regular season. Tonight, the NBA on TNT is presented by State Farm. It's the fourth and final meeting between the third seed Houston Rockets and the sixth seeded Oklahoma City Thunder. High screen by Capella. Hutton inside, pushing. And goes into Adams for two. So James Harden, who averages 36, gets the score there. Welcome back to OKC. I'm Roz Gold on Wooday. Paul George told me today, honestly, we need this game. We want to lock up a spot and be comfortable. We need this win for our confidence against a good team and our momentum heading into playoffs. And tonight would be a good test if this is our first round matchup against the Rockets, he said. Now I asked PG about the slippage the Thunder have experienced and he said they had to improve their defensive stamina. They were being aggressive on the first option, but teams were working the ball to the second and third side and forcing the Thunder to rotate and they were breaking down. He said when the Thunder defend through a full possession, guys, they are special. It's picked up by Westbrook. He'll come flying the other way down the lane. Oh, getting up skyward that time was Ferguson. Here comes Austin Rivers. And Harden finds a gap. He'll slither through and he gets it to go. Oh, he makes it look so easy, but that the degree of difficulty there off the charts. The success of the Thunder to me, we know about Paul George. And, and Russell Westbrook, but that man right there, Schroeder, the third leading scorer on this Thunder team. If he is rolling and clicking, this is a different Thunder team. Schroeder had 14 in the fourth quarter oh against Minnesota. Goodness. There's a three, and that is put up and in, and Harden is exploding with 14 first quarter points. Could have taken it himself as George got stuffed initially. Goes at Harden, hangs, and it bounces off the rim. George trying to keep up with Harden, and then has to step and blows right by Stephen Adams. Boy, just so slippery is James Harden. He's now got 16. Ferguson trying to size him up that time. Boy, he went into the body, and Harden still able to knock it down. That's what that James Harden is so impressive. Former teammates going at it. Harden, the runner, and he gets it to drop in. They're trying to handle Harden here. Harden, use that left hand, and rattles in. That's a tough shot. It's good defense, just a better shot. Remember, we can live with that, right? We can just, just continue to make him force him into tough shots. Running shot, and that time, the bucket and the foul. Harden now with the last 12 for the Rockets to push the lead back up to nine, which is the biggest of the game. Harden lobs it up, and Capella, the feathery alley-oop touch. And right now, the Thunder have to play through this. That was Jeremy Grant's turn. Harden on the step back. Didn't get the call, but knocks down the tough shot. James Harden, that's his first made basket here in the third quarter. Green knocks down a three ball. You want Gerald Green taking shots. See Ferguson just trying to set himself up on the defensive end, keeping his hands back. Harden, another step back. And that time, he connects. So tough to defend. Harden and Westbrook. Shot clock at nine. Harden, the quarter is up, and it's down by Capella. Capella with the slam, giving 18 points in 33 minutes. Westbrook kicks it outside. George, three. Rebound, batted out there by Westbrook, chased to midcourt. George and Tucker get tangled up at the other end. Paul, the layup is in. A lot of incidental contact there between Tucker and Paul George. It's Schroeder and Harden, shot clock at seven. The drive and the floater is up and tapped up and in by the uncovered Tucker. And Tucker's got his first two. From the field tonight, it's George in the corner to Westbrook. He's picked up by Tucker. Westbrook inside. Two-point game. Shot clock at four. Ferguson watches Harden. Harden drives, puts it up high. Tucker off the wing with a foul.
You certainly don't need a three right now for the Thunder, but it would be nice to have a timely one here. It's off the rim and picked up by Westbrook. He'll put up a running three. Good! Whoa, what a shot! Here comes Chris Paul. Off to James Harden. Bumped by Paul George and fouled with 15 and a half seconds to go. Lead is three, timeout Oklahoma City, 15 seconds to go. Westbrook will drive and jam. It's a one point game, quick foul as Westbrook jumps on the back of Harden and draws the foul. No timeouts, Thunder. In and out, two point game, here comes Westbrook. Off to Adams, Westbrook corner, George for the lead. Gordon, Harden got open for the win. The Thunder of one. Harden had a chance at the buzzer. Continue from Houston, Texas. We welcome you from the Toyota Center in downtown Houston. A sellout crowd is here, ready for game one, round one. It's the Utah Jazz, the five seed, against the four seed, the Houston Rockets. Allie's report on Clint Capelli. He's dealing with an upper respiratory infection. He has not slept much the last two days. Going up top there, no problem. Breathing up in that air as Harden sets him up perfectly. Now a turnover, Paul right into the hands of Favors. Rubio on the move. Paul's with him, and the left-handed layup is good. And Ricky Rubio is active early. Jazz fans know that when Rubio is hit for the shot, there's the foul. Count that basket and one. Chance at a four-point play for Eric Gordon. And he three pointers up and in. James Harden in the books. His first three-point attempt is good. Rockets going Austin Rivers, Daniel House on the floor for the first time. He's, He's two for two from behind the arc. There is his second three. Harden gets going hard to his left hand and taking it right to the big shot blocker, Gobert. This bench unit for the Rockets have been terrific. Losing in Bob Mute and Trevor Reza. Harden looking for a foul, gets the layup. A modified floater with the left hand for James Harden. Rubio leads the Jazz with six, and Harden now has ten. Again, looking for Capella. Right back into the hands of Harden, giving 12. And suddenly a seven-point Houston lead. And now Harden on the drive, Harden with the finish. The seize party for James Harden. First points of the quarter after he put 12 on the board in the first. Look at Harden. Set it up to four, there it goes. An assist from Harden, a three-point bomb by P.J. Tucker. And wide open. James's dribble penetration ability sucked the entire Utah team in. And Tucker had a wide open three. Harden goes right by Ingles. Gobert there. Three with Capella cutting from the baseline with a two-handed jam. <laughs> Jay Crowder. Long mid-range and a back tap by Ingles, but right to P.J. Tucker. So, 10-point Rockets lead, under three and a half to go in this first half. And Harden setting up Tucker. Four three, and he's got another one. Well, you can see they decide to leave Tucker alone in that left corner. He's going to eventually make him pay. He's wide open over there just shooting horse shots. Started all 82 games this year. P.J. Tucker the third time. Now a steal by Capella. And Paul back on the floor. We'll be patient as we approach the three-minute mark. A little step back three from Harden. There's another one down for the Rockets. Uh, you got to get some offense right now. Settle this crowd down. You got to get a couple hoops for Utah. It's get, they're getting awful close there, and Houston are breaking this thing away. I see so that. Good. Cavs are two steps. Here's another three. threes for the Rockets now. Houston's unlike anybody else. It's pretty much James Harden. It's pretty much an ISO situation yep. every time. And it's tough to defend. It goes right by Ingles. Yeah. And lift the top for He was screaming before he even got the ball in his hands. That's one of the 90 million reasons right there. <laughs> why Clint Capella loves James Harden. Mitchell. Oh, 
Rejection. The oh. beard. And Akeem Olajuwon is sitting not too far from me. is cheering that one on as Olajuwon threw many of those shots. There is a dream as Olajuwon threw many of those shots out of this arena. First basket for him. This time Harding to Capella. Harden the scoring champ. Capella wide open. The turn of the flush. So active. A lot inside after the first little window for Houston. They're getting a lot of action in there with Harden and Capella. Rubio, another three. Missed again. He's missed his last two. The Rockets are perfectly comfortable with Rubio shooting threes. Yeah. Here's Harden on the drive. And a finger roll and a foul. James Harden. They've been giving him the lane. They've been giving him the right hand. He's taken it. And he has made him pay. Yeah, they pushed up on him, but right there again, he takes it right to Gobert. Gobert. You know, Gobert's in a tough spot. If he leaves early, Capella gets the easy dunk, and if he leaves late, there's a chance of fouling James. And Harding's always had an unbelievable knack of getting to the line. You see it's his first attempt, but always been a guy that draws a ton of fouls and gets to the line all night long. First free throw attempt, other than Eric Gordon for the Rockets, and... Harden knocks it down, makes it a three-point trip. James Harden has 20. Utah got it within seven. Step back, Harden. Yes! Vintage. <laughs> that is tough to go, Jack. Yeah, the Rockets looking for a knockout punch here, up 17. A lot of basketball to play, though. 7.50 remaining. Harden kicks it. House. On the take. House! Oh. Someone's got to come over there and help on that. I mean, House pump fakes and gets all the way from the corner for a dunk, and there's nobody stopping him at all. There's Harden. Finishes again. James Harden keeps stacking him up. 25 points, 10 assists he has. Late in the clock. Tough shot coming. Cephalosha. That has been a familiar tune for the Jazz tonight. You know, the Rockets, since the All-Star break, top five in defensive rating in the NBA as Harden is fouled. I mean, this team turned it around defensively, you know, a couple of years ago, prior to last season, with Ma Mute and Ariza and company. I mean, they became a very good defensive team last year. Cephalosha again for three. And that kind of night for Cephalosha. Harden on the run. Harden taking on Mitchell. And that's too easy as well. There have been a lot of easy layups for the Rockets here tonight. 108-86. TNT's playoff coverage continues at the Toyota Center in Houston. It's the usual packed house, better than 18,000 here for Game 2 of this Western Conference opening round series. The fourth seed of the West, the Houston Rockets facing the number five seed, the Utah Jazz. Shot clock down to four. Here's Martin. Game one, Utah shot just 39%. Oh, my goodness. Here's Harden all by himself. Oh, my goodness. He dropped him and then did the shimmy, and the crowd was just waiting for it. That's what he wants back, Harden. Shot clock at five. Harden goes right around Rubio. Harden can shoot with his right hand. Mitchell's pass picked off. Tucker for Harden. For three, yes. Already, Utah with four turnovers, which has led to 10 Houston points. Because they shouldn't have started favors, as you see. You're going to force Harden to the right, and now he's going to step back to the right. right play straight up basketball. This, this is the NBA. So Crowder hits the three. DJ Tucker, the corner specialist, right back with a three pointer. Puts the move on, got the step, kicks it out, house the three, yes! They have to quit sending him right. This is going to be like practice, like a drill. Hard met by Rubio. Took a swipe out of the attempt to knock it away. Oh, hard <laughs> over Rubio. Yes. Yeah. Here's Harden with the runner. They had made. Their last six shots, that counts, and the foul. Ingles back on Harden, 
steps back and fires. Yes. Houston without a field goal the last seven minutes. Well, that streak ends off the lob from Hardy to Capella. Maybe he'll try to play him physically and then steps back. Steps in front of him, but Harden with a step back and hits. So Harden from downtown, that's his fourth. He's four for seven from beyond the three-point line. Harden fires and hits. And the foul on Sephalosha. Because they're sending Harden right, he scored every point except these three on the right side of the court. So his adjustment, game two, is to not settle. And look at the great Hakeem Olajuwon. When you impress that man, you're impressing the best. Harden with a bullet to Tucker in the corner. And he hits the three. And again, the Rockets with a deflection. Here comes Hart. Nice pass, and Gordon completes it. O'Neal with a deep three. Harden putting a move on O'Neal, beats him off the cover. Here's Harden with the step. Harden. Harden with the rebound and puts it home. Harden with the runner. Harden calling for the pick and he got it. Sets it up. Oh! Down on a three-point attack. Here comes Harden out of the pack. Step back for Harden. Yes. Three-pointer over O'Neal. That counts in the foul. What a play off the setup. Capella will head back to the line. Harden lost it. It's a four-on-one. And it's completed by Niang. Here's the assist. Triple double for Hart. Welcome to the NBA first round on ESPN, presented by Mountain Dew. Tonight from Salt Lake City, the Utah Jazz look to make it a series against the Houston Rockets. Houston has dominated games one and two, becoming the seventh team in NBA history to win each of the first two games by 20 or more points. A loss by the Jazz tonight, and history says this series is all but over. Hart lops it up there, and the Rockets finally on the board, two minutes and 20 seconds in. The incredible basketball IQ of James Harden, and also just keeping an elite shot blocker like Gobert on his toes as Harden draws the foul on Rubio. Harden fouled, and he'll go to the line for three. Ingles commits his second personal. We know about the injury to Chris Paul. There's some moves made in the offseason. Well, the moves don't work, but Daryl Morey says that's okay. We'll move on from that. We'll make some more moves. They get Reed, they get Rivers. Great no look by Harden to Rivers. And here the Rockets are looking as good as they did last year. Harden with the blow box. Kick out, Gordon, 4-3, hit it! And that is eight three-pointers for the Rockets here in the first half. Harden, pass, Rubio, floater, Capella, great tip in. Wow. The first quarter was dynamite offensively, but both teams have gone cold. There's the look by Harden, lobbing it up for Capella. There's a good, another turnover here. Six steals for Harden, and then he is mauled by O'Neal. Harden looks shaken up, too. Harden has not scored a field goal since the third quarter of game two. He passes it here to Capella for the slam. Two guys on Harden. Green is open, and it's good. A three for Gerald Green. Harden facing a double team. Here's Green again. Good again, getting the bounce off the front iron. Mitchell's three. No good. I mean, think about it, Doris. This is one of the greatest offensive players maybe we've seen in the NBA having one of the worst offensive games we've ever seen in the NBA. Harden going to go back to the line, hits the deck again. Gordon, wide open, sets himself, but can't hit the three. Tucker offensive rebound. 
And then he turns and screams at the official, wanted an offensive or a defensive foul. Crowder tried to save it. Houston ball. Hard. And he's finally on the board with his first field goal at the 733 mark of the fourth after an 0 for 15 start. Deep three, hard here, and he's made two in a row. Uh, and the lead is six. Here's Paul driving. Gobert with another block. What a play defensively by Gobert. He's got six blocks now. Mitchell misses the alley oop jam. Second possession in a row. They put James in the deep corner. Gordon goes right at Gobert. Swatted again. And again, it's five on four with Harden taking his time to get back, but Ingles missed the three. You're right. They got a wide open shot because James Harden was down by the free throw line. Gordon connects on a three ball. And the lead is back to four for Houston. Rubio, beautiful play against Capella to make it a two point game. Hart drives, floats it up. No. And a foul called on Gobert. But we're in the last two minutes, only one foul to give for the Rockets. Harden now at nine points in the quarter, 17 for the night. Gordon right in the grill of Mitchell. Utah down four. Sweet move by Mitchell. And the against Rubio. Harden leans in. Good! Out of three! What an answer! The reigning and potential two-time MVP with a terrific shot. Here's Mitchell on the drive. Scores. Two-point game a minute to go. Tremendous answer. Back-to-back -back buckets by Donovan. Harden drives and the shot is blocked by Gobert again. A late foul call here. On who? The worst stretch in NBA playoff history of misses before a make. Yep, his team is up four because of his free throw. Mitchell driving again, spinning on Gordon, and he was fouled. So he gets them both, two-point game, nine-second difference in the clocks. Rubio again playing behind hard, Harden, four, three, off the back rim, offensive rebound, Tucker, and they foul him with 10.6 on the clock. Misses the second one, Mitchell with a rebound. Timeout, they'll be able to advance the ball. Gotta hurry it up here. Here's Mitchell, gets a look, short, rebound Tucker, and he's fouled with 6.5 left. But too much James Harden in the fourth quarter. He had 14 points in the final frame. And a lot of those came at the line, but Rubio hits one second to go. And that's it. The Rockets take a 3-0 series lead, winning in Salt Lake City, 104-101. It is a packed house at Giving Smart Arena in Salt Lake City, better than 18,000, and this is, let's say, a, a boisterous, high-energy crowd. Game four of this first-round series, fourth seed, Houston Rockets taking on the number five seed, Utah Jazz. Rockets looking to close it out, the Jazz hoping to extend to a game five here in Houston. Harden fires for three, yes. I don't care which way you shade him, what you do to him, just get the blindfold and get ready to play and stay in the plays. But it's up to the rest of the teammates to make things happen. Oh, dude. Oh, fire. Game three, solid performance, five points, five rebounds, 23 minutes. And the good touch by Eric Gordon. His heart down the lane and scores. Got the roll. Hard for three, yes. We love stepping back. O'Neal all over Hart with help from Tucker, who sets a physical pick. Double it again on Hart. Tucker scores. What a job defensively. Tucker Jarrett. Foul one of an offensive foul on Hart. Crowd of felt he was pushed. Hart able to knock it down. Here's Royce getting set. And the crouch is hard. Looks to put the move on, and he does, and this time beats him off the dribble and finds Capella. Hard through the foul, so he got the shot off. Let's see if they call it. And the act, yes, they do. He's taking on the look of what we saw game three. Well, if Crowder didn't go six for nine, this Utah team is down 15. O'Neal able to 
knockdown for three. Harden for three. Harden, do not wake up a cold killer on the court. Harden, yes, for three. Harden kicks it out. Gordon on fire from three again. Harden lost the dribble, able to recover and shoots. Yes. Utah outscoring Houston 15 1 in this quarter. 13 points, 13 to the 15 for Mitchell Harder. Harden off the drive with a strong move. This game is over, and he's talking about the next game already. The Utah Jazz outscore the Houston Rockets 31 12 in the fourth quarter. Good evening, everyone, from Houston, Texas, where the Rockets will play at home and hope to close out this series after losing game four. It's game five, first round Western Conference playoffs. It's the fifth seeded Utah Jazz playing the fourth seeded Houston Rockets. The winner here plays either Golden State or the Los Angeles Clippers. Here's Ricky Rubio, 18 points and 11 assists in game four. Harden the other way. He's averaging about to eight points less in the playoffs than the regular season Tucker three. And that's the three you're going to see throughout this game. Coach Quinn Snyder said they're going to concede P.J. Tucker's corner threes to try to take away that penetration and those shots from James Harden. Crowder thinking three, driving inside, lost the ball on a dribble again. Vacuumed in by Chris Paul. Harden up high. Zavonja with the spinner. Gobert comes up with it, battling Tucker. Tries to make the fake on the big center, Capella. And out of bounds, and Utah's ball with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Harden and Paul, a combined 2 of 12 with five turnovers, Reg. Five of the eight turnovers by your two stars. Harden with a four. Capella once again is right there, climbing the stairs. Rebound Harden. And it's those shots. If you want to win on the road and you're the underdog and you want to extend this series, you got to make those. Harden will drive and put it up. And finally, it will drop in one of eight. Harden gets it to go. The number one score in the NBA. Harden bouncing over. Here comes Nene. Shot clock at four. Harden with a three. It's Royce O'Neal. It's rejected inside. It's picked up by Utah. Angles three. No. Tucker, Paul, Harden. Have a wide open three miss by Utah. Step back, triple. Good! Harden ties the game at 41. See what that three did at the other quarter. That was wide open for a score and for a shooter. That sometimes that's all it takes. Gordon, long three hit. Oh. at home. Royce O'Neal, the trail knocked away by Capella. Final seconds. It's Harden with confidence. And the try to the rack. They got to get Spider Mitchell going downhill. He's doing a lot of setting up his players, but he's not doing anything aggressive off the screen. Nice move there by Eric Gordon to get all the way to the cup. So that makes it 48-44. Rockets by four. Stolen by Harden. Good! 51-44 Rockets. Houston five consecutive empty trips. With the reigning MVP and a floater down the lane, which did not go in the first part of the game, first quarter in particular, but drops right there. Mitchell free, Carter is there to clean it up. Mitchell really has struggled shooting in this series. I know he's had two 30-point games. Nice pass and finish there by Capella, but Mitchell has taken a lot of shots to get those two 30-point games. You mentioned that P.J. Tucker has played all around the globe, and the reason he had to do that was his biggest knock coming out of college, and the reason his then-coach Rick Barnes told him not to, who's now the head coach at University of Tennessee, is he couldn't play a traditional five in the league, and that was so important, and now his best quality is the fact that he can guard everyone.
Nice knock away by Harden and a good story by Alley. And here comes Harden for the Rockets. Harden by three defenders and gets it to go. No shot blocker. Gobert on the bench. It's O'Neal. Harden is there. It's Epelosha on the cut. He slips. Trying to keep it alive. Harden climbing over him. Back the ball. With the steal. It's off to Gordon. Gordon inside. Nene couldn't find the handle. Chris Paul. Hounded by two. Off to Harden. Shot clock at eight. James Harden. Fouled on the play. Count to two. The chance of MVP for Harden. He's the reigning MVP. He's the league's top scorer. And he comes in leading this fourth seed Houston Rocket team. It's a four-point game. Mitchell's three is off. Tapped around. Tucker claims it. Approaching four to play. As Houston tries to close out this series. Harden with a floater. That's what superstars do. Uh, they're not worried about their shooting percentage. It's all about getting buckets. Harden with the floater. Got it to go. Harden with 24. The lead is three. Angles with it. The following football. He's tripped to the ball. Another Utah turnover. And a subsequent foul on O'Neal. Great hands by James Harden who was top five in steals this season. Look at this. You bring it down low for the guards to get it. Quick hands. What a beautiful play defensively by Harden. Well, he's one of the top thieves in the NBA. Top five in steals again. He has 24 points, five rebounds, six assists, and chance of MVP cascading down from the highest reaches of the arena. From the free throw line tonight, Harden is 2 of 4 for the season 88% and showing it there. A beautiful day in the Bay Area as we welcome you to Oracle Arena where the Western Conference semifinals begins game one between the Golden State Warriors and Houston Rockets. A series that many have been hoping for and waiting for. A rematch of last year's conference finals where the Warriors won in game seven on their way to their second consecutive NBA championship. Ball deflected, Harden comes up with a curry on him right now. Harden hearing the boos from the crowd, leans in. They let it go and Harden flips it up and in for his first bucket. I liked how in the last few games of that series, how active Utah was off the ball when Harden was isolated, stunning at him, trying to give him, instead of just stationary help defenders, like out of the corner, Iguodala right here, run at, stunt at Paul or Harden. They had some success, don't you think, against them? And he wasn't obviously as explosive or as efficient in that first round. I, I did, I liked what Utah did defensively from game three on. Alfonso McKinney has checked in for the first time. Clay Thompson sits down. Thompson hit his first and only shot as a three-pointer goes. McKinney, a good young defender, step back Harden. And Harden upset. And a late whistle and a foul. Crowd doesn't like it because it came late. It appeared McKinney hit him. It looked like he hit him on that left arm. So three free throws. Harden against Draymond Green. Step back three is good. Harden second three-pointer. He's got 13. Harden pass inside. Nene spins. His whole career, Nene, when he's been healthy, he's a heck of a player. Harden on the drive. Whips out a pass. House right corner three. It's good. That's the adjustment Harden has to make. Mix and match. Whether take that three or put your head down and make a play to the rim or for your teammate. Harden, it's good. There's a crowd silencer. James Harden, he also thought he got fouled. Iguodala quickly goes down the other end. Reverse bank shot is good. Gordon gets a good look. That's good. Eric Gordon from downtown, his first three-pointer. He was 0 for 6. Curry nearly taken away, and it is. This time Harden, helped by Tucker. Gordon tries another one. 
and ties the game. Gordon with back-to-back -back threes, and it's even at 53. Now on the switch, Curry guarding Harden, who gets past him, throws it up, gets it back off the deflection, tried to float it to Capella. So the Warriors have been very well aware of that part of an offensive weapon for the Rockets. Eric Gordon. That's good. Eric Gordon from downtown. That's his third three. He's got 19 to lead the Rockets, and it's tied up again. James Harden floats it up, and there's the first lob. Harden to Capella, and the first field goal for Clint Capella. Five-point Golden State lead. Durant on Harden. Harden for three. That's his fourth three-pointer. He's four for 12. Harden shake and bake against Curry. Draws the foul, and that's going to be Curry's fourth foul. Harden blocked, but a foul. Iguodala bumped him. Looney blocked it. But Harden's going to get back to the free throw line where he's nine for nine. Curry out with the five fouls. Does it depend on, obviously it depends on how the game goes. For me, I would love to be able to play him right now, but I have to say, he hasn't shown discretion with his fouls. That he knows how to stay in the game and play with fouls. That's a good point. I'd have to trust him. But right now, I can also hide him defending P.J. Tucker. But they're just going to put him in pick and rolls. Harden goes right at Looney. Little push off, then pulls back, knocks down the shot. 29 for Harden. Rockets down two. Gordon against Curry. Curry with five fouls. Curry reaching in. Gordon drive pass. Curry right on him with the five fouls. Leans in, pass to Capella, knocked loose and picked off by Curry. Thompson to Iguodala for the slam. And the lead is five. Hall over to Gordon. Gordon, long three-pointer. It's good. Eric Gordon from downtown, and it's back to two. Lob it in once again, Durant. Single coverage, shoots over Harden, knocks it down. Harden fakes the three, drives. Inside pass to Capella. He fumbled it a minute, and a held ball. Capella wins it. Shot clock at four. Harden makes the drive, throws it up, and is fouled. This is a huge one to cut it to three. And Harden with a 30-point game. Durant isolated, drives on Harden, gets inside, and is fouled. One of the great playoff performers this game has ever seen. You think about it, he has absolutely carried them today. Curry less than normal, Thompson less than normal. Five-point game. Harden to the basket, lays it up, and banks it home with a foul. And Thompson picks up his fourth foul. James Harden now with 33. Kevin Durant with 35. Warriors by two. Neither team with a foul to give. They've been in the penalty for a while. Curry, crossover, three-pointer, bang! Tucker will inbound, just over 24 seconds remaining. Harden drives, gets inside, and throws it down. Quick bucket, and that cuts it to three with 21.3 remaining. Obviously, the shot clock is off now, so the Rockets will either have to come up with a steal or foul. Durant catches. Chris Paul waiting for the double team. Ball stolen! Paul knocked it away! House picked it up! Here comes Harden. Shot clock off. Harden steps back, puts up a three. Won't go! Rebound goes to Paul. Ball knocked loose, and Gordon was out of bounds when he had it. Golden State ball, and a technical foul. Paul's just been thrown out of the game! With 4.4 remaining. And the Rockets think Harden got fouled on his initial three-point shot. So Golden State will get a one-shot tech to go. That could increase it to four with 4.4 remaining. So with 4.4 remaining, that will do it. A pulsating win for Golden State. A heartbreaking loss for Houston here in game one.
All eyes tonight on the NBA scoring champion, the Rockets James Harden, the reigning MVP, and how he'll respond to a controversial game one loss. The Warriors' Kevin Durant has arguably been the best player in the league in these playoffs. That serves as our backdrop for tonight. From Oakland, California, it's Game 2 Western Conference Semifinals on TNT, presented by AT&T. The fourth-seeded Houston Rockets and the number one-seeded two-time defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors. How about Iguodala? Eight points in three of four in ten minutes. Four assists now for Draymond Green. Six of seven in game one for Iguodala. Starting for the first two times. Here comes Harden with the drop. And he gets it to go in his first field goal tonight. You see the run. The drive by Harden and Green couldn't knock it away. The other way, Iguodala jumps it on the fly and hammers one home. Rockets have never led, trailed by as many as 14, down now by 11. Green, Harden, three, good! Harden puts in a triple. And he's only been shooting from three-point territory, 33%. Rockets are shooting 45%, Warriors are shooting 45%. Rockets have never led, Warriors have led by 14. Oh, three by Harden! Right up! His eyes are fine, he said. Uh -huh. It's Harden the other way by Green floating up, and there is Capella! What a game for Capella. Bounce back game. Thompson intercepted. Great pick right there by Harden. Ahead to Paul. Rockets have, have numbers now. They did. Gordon. Three. Good! Nice shot by Eric Gordon, who continues Reggie to shoot well from outside 11 points. Rockets missed 33 of their 47 threes in game one. That one will rattle home by Gordon. Tonight, from three, boy, are they on target. Rockets are 13 of 27 from distance. Harden, 4 of 5 in the second quarter after the eye injury. Looney is on it. Off the tucker. The fake, the fire, the triple. Durant, long, two. Rebound, Harden. They could make it a single digit deficit going to the fourth. He'll dance, he'll bump, he'll backpedal. It's a clean fouled as he goes up on a three point shot. Now, this happened an NBA high 95 times in the regular season. It's happened for a seventh time in seven playoff games so far. That's a good call. That's an easy call right there. I mean, there's contact right there. Here's Looney on top. Shot clock at four. It goes by him with an easy floater for two. And that is the shot that he really struggled with versus Utah in the first round. Golden State leads this series one game on Harden again. The drive and the two. That's way too easy. I mean, they're playing on the side of him, and it's like a cakewalk all the way down the lane. Curry comes out on Harden. They switch, and they put Green on him in the shot clock at six. Harden, step back, three. Good! That is rhythm. Wow, now. he does indeed. Couple lay-ins. Harden down his screen in the top and Euro step for two. Harden's got 25. And the ball, and it goes inside with Harden getting it from Paul. Win, 115-109, six-point win in game two, four-point win in game one. And the Golden State Warriors go up two games tonight. Welcome once again to the NBA Conference Semifinals on ABC. Here we go for Game 3. Can the Rockets respond after losing the first two at Oracle Arena? The Warriors fans also here at a sold-out Toyota Center. But these Rockets fans all fired up their team back home. Harden with eight to shoot. Curry stays in front of him. Harden now takes it to the basket on the elbow. Leans in. Drive one on a foul. Harden the rebound and put back. Those are the kind of plays you always talk about, Jeff. Curry off the dribble. Ball fake, layup, misses. Draymond Green right there for the tip. But that's what dribble penetration does. It opens you up, even on missed layups, to second shot. Gordon to the basket. Curry deep in the corner. Ball stolen by Harden. And Harden to Miguel 
collide. Gordon, no hesitation. Harden to the basket and the finish. But I like the decisiveness of that drive. Looney on Harden. Harden gets past him, throws it up. Capella with another tip. Mike Speed inside. Capella gathers double team and still gets it to go. Harden, step back three. Got it. Harden the drive, the finish. It's good. Thank you, Lisa Harden lays it up and in. During the regular season, the Houston Rockets were the second best team in terms of opponents' three-point percentage. They've done the same thing in the playoffs. What about them defensively that, that makes them good defending the three? Harden steps back and nails the three-pointer, his second three. Grant already eight points here in this quarter. I mean, played two minutes. And he's done it getting to the free throw line, which you don't want to allow a score to get going from the line. Austin Rivers from downtown. Boy, he has shot the ball so well from three-point range in the playoffs. Rivers up top to Paul, finds Gordon, extra pass. Checking the seams and knocking down the three. As Harden gets to the rim again. A new 14 for the Rockets. Harden takes it to the basket, layup, missed it, gets it back, banks it home. Harden having a big third quarter. Shumpert gets a good look and hits the three. Come on, Shumpert, two for two, both from downtown here tonight. Still over two and a half left to go. Harden, step back three. Harden knocks it down. These two prolific scores putting on a show here in the third. Harden flips it up and in. James Harden's got 30. And the Rockets regain the lead. Curry misses. Harden the rebound. That's a makeable shot, but put pressure on the defense. Harden gets inside and draws the contact. There you go, Mark, and he's going to shoot free throws. Austin Rivers, he's been hot from three. Hits another! Austin Rivers! Gordon, three-pointer. Tucker tried to reach and get the rebound, couldn't get that one. Durant to Thompson, quick release, it's good. Clay Thompson from downtown, and it's a one-point game. Harden, stolen by Thompson. Curry ahead of the pack, Rivers in pursuit. Blocks the shot, Thompson blocked for a foul. Two perfect free throws there. Durant against Capella. Pull up, one footer, in and out, that one halfway down. And a foul on Thompson. Rockets back on top. Curry against Tucker. Falling away. Won't go. Long rebound comes out. Picked up by Thompson. Ball knocked loose. Still loose. And Chris Paul comes away. Five to shoot. Harden gets past. The floater's up. Won't go. Tip by Capella misses. And Thompson the rebound. Curry has Capella on him. Razzle Dazzle gets in the paint. Drives layup. Missed it. Tucker tips the rebound to himself. Harden on the drive. Step back. Tries again. Inside. Floats it up. Shot. No good. Capella misses. Chris Paul the rebound. And a new 14. Ball. Pass deflected by Draymond Green. Still loose. A race for the ball. Knocked loose again. And a 24 second violation. The shot clock went off. And that's the call. Durant against Capella. Pulls back, Durant the drive, corner three, Iguodala, bang! Andre Iguodala from downtown, and the Warriors go up by two. Harden, and a reach and foul on Curry with 38.7 remaining. Harden gets the bounce, ties the game. Durant the crossover, the pull-up jumper, won't go, rebound, Tucker! Chris Paul hounded by Thompson, five seconds. Paul gets to the basket, and a hell ball! Clay Thompson reaches in and grabs it, and they'll jump it with 1.5 remaining. Paul tips it back, and the buzzer sounds. We're going to overtime. Paul finds Capella. Draymond Green got a hand on it. Tucker, little floater, and P.J. Tucker with his second bucket. Draymond Green, and Harden picks up his fourth foul. Gordon for three, Eric Gordon from downtown, a 
four-point Rockets lead. Shot clock at five. Play Thompson fakes. Iguodala, another corner three. It's good. Andre Iguodala does it again. And it's a one-point game. Harden gets in the paint, floats it up and in. 36 for Harden. Durant on the drive. Tries again. Goes baseline. Double team and still gets it to go. Chris Paul now has Draymond Green on him. Paul gets passed. Now Green stays with him. Pass inside to Tucker. And he banks it home. Thompson, little fake patience, but misses the jumper. And James Harden with his eighth rebound. Shot clock again, down to five. Harden, step back three. Bang! Harden, the drive, floats it up, shot's good! Is that a call or a no call? Nope, no call on that. They just let the players get up. Five point lead, Harden with 41. Steph Curry behind the back. Drives down a lane and misses the jam. Oh, he missed it. And Harden the rebound. Warriors have to foul. They're not going to let this clock run out, are Warriors they? Warriors are going to let it run out. It's like the Spurs Nuggets game at the end. And they will not foul. And the Rockets will get the overtime win. Good evening, everyone, from Houston, Texas. The NBA playoffs on TNT are presented by AT&T. It's Game 4 Western Conference Semifinals with the number one seeded two-time defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors and the fourth seeded Houston Rockets. The Warriors are up two games to one. Green is coming off a triple-double and they had won every game where he had recorded those numbers but not on Saturday. A tip in by Capella. Wow, what a way to begin for Houston. What an athletic play there by Capella. Because the pass was behind him. Nice job to redirect it to the rim. Wow, look how far this was. Oh my goodness. He knocked that down from way outside. Thompson is on Harden with the try. And James Harden did that so well Saturday. Well, you've had Andre Iguodala, you've had Draymond Green, and then not turn Clay Thompson all taking their turns trying to guard the MVP. The reigning MVP, Harden. Dancing and kicking it out. Tucker three. The past two games, a shot over 40% from three. Livingston is on a fifth different warrior. Three. Oh, down he goes. Foul called on Livingston. And that is Houston's game. And that's Harden's game right there. You knew he was going to do the step back to the side, to the right. Harden, step back three. Good! James Harden. Harden tonight, three of seven. Thompson's defense there. Step back. Three. Down. Good! He's done it again! I mean, there's not a lot you can really say because we've seen this throughout his career. Dances with the basketball, the step back, and he just lures you into this. You think you can close, but while he's shooting, he's coming forward. And this is absolutely contact. You've got to let the player come down. Harden has nine points in a little over the last two minutes. 46% shoot for the Houston Rockets. They go inside. They sneak it up and in. Gordon pulling the trigger. Foul on the play. I believe that's Thompson. That's going to be number three on Clay Thompson. It's an Iguodala pass for cutting Durant. Loose inside. Picked up by Rivers. Harden four of nine. Five of ten. Harden with the drive. He drove a lot in game three. That was the game plan. Tonight, the threes are falling as well for the Rockets. Drive, Harden, a lot of traffic. Got his own miss and puts it back up and in. The rebounding. Plus four advantage here in this first half for the Rockets. Into Iguodala. Oh. To get by a couple Rockets knocked away. Good defense by Houston. Shot clock at five. Curry to Green, open lane, he'll try. 
And it's taken by Chris Paul. Three, Harden, good! Down goes Green. Hit his head on the floor. Harden knocks down the triple. Harden again the screen, and now he's got Thompson on him. Houston has not missed the four shots they've taken. They're five of five. A three by James Harden. Five of five shooting for the Rockets in this third quarter. And five of nine from downtown for the MVP. A little dance, a little shove, creates the space. And is claiming for another four-point play. Didn't get the call. It's Tucker with a spin in the green. And on top of that, what about Curry, who had those 11 first-quarter points? Only two cents. Going to go right by Looney again and collapse the defense. Step back three. Terrific. The birthday boy, Paul, will inbound. Three cut by James Harden. What a pass by Chris Paul. Harden with the dance shot clock at five. Coming out Livingston over Looney. And that was the shot, the teardrop, the floater that he was missing versus Utah. But he has found his rhythm here versus the Warriors on that floater. Harden with the shot clock at five. Screened by Tucker. Switch on defense. Here comes Thompson. Into two. And he split the defense. How in the world did he split the defense of Looney and Tucker? It's called a Euro step. One of the best at it to do it. Steph Curry in this series is 10 of 42 from three for Golden State. But he has a right here with a fake and a three, and he buries it. Look at that, 11 for 43 now. Harden. He's got 35. You see how he used that chicken wing to create space against the taller Kevin Durant? Durant's got 30, he's got Paul's defense, and he goes across the lane. What a tough shot by Durant. Ooh, ooh. We're having an offensive duel going on right here. You saw this in game three. 15-footer Kevin Durant. Here comes Curry. It's Green with the break he got by Rivers and dives in. Paul into Steph Curry, dancing, driving, feeding, Tucker three. It's picked up. Green got it off to Durant, now to Tremont. Galloping, driving inside, did not get it. Harden and Thompson, shot clock at four. Harden, three, off. And saved by Clay, gets it off to Curry. Curry into Tucker, three, no. Rebound, Igudawa. Back to Curry, three, good. What a shot by Curry. Two-point game. It's Gordon looking for the inbound. He's got Harden. Gets by Green. Bumps into Thompson, who picks up the foul. Three-point game. Timeout. Golden State with Igudawa grabbing the ball. Igudawa will inbound. Here it comes. This is for a tie for Durant. No. It's back to Durant. Curry for the tie. No. Rebound. Paul. Foul. Golden State. Two points. This has been a series featuring historically good performances. A series which has had a finals feel to it. These two teams separated by a single point after four games. It's a series tied at two. In what will be tonight for Turner Sports, our final broadcast from this special arena in Oakland. Good evening, everyone, from the Bay Area. The conference semifinals of the NBA playoffs on TNT are presented by AT&T. The Houston Rockets are the fourth team playing the two-time defending NBA champion Golden State Warriors. They switch, and now Gordon goes on Durant. A pass down low, bobbled and turned over. Picked up by Paul, and here comes Harden the other way. He's got the matchup against Curry, which he wants, and he ends up with two. Gordon, another end, three short, gets his own miss. He's got the defense of Iguodala on him. Here is Harden outside, works on Green. The dance fires and buries it. 
Mm. I'm going to see this. Dribble, dribble, three, four times. Step back to his right. That's his patent move. Hart will take it. Leading into Denae. And Denae gets the two on the feed from James Harden. Oh! Oh! From Harden. And just like that, the Rockets have chiseled into a one-time 15-point lead for Golden State. It's down to 11. Harden's got it. Looney's on him. Shot clock at five. Eight and a half to go on the half. Three. Good! Nice shot outside by Harden. Remember, in game four, plus 27 points by the Rockets in that win. Harden. Outside, Tucker finds himself free for three. A great shot outside by P.J. Tucker. The other way, pushing the pace. Curry, the fake in the drive. Rebound by Tucker. Curry is down hard. Curry. Five on four the other way. Harden into green. A push, a drive, and a deuce. And back out to Thompson for three. And the rebound inside by Clint Capella. There's about a minute and a half to play in the half. Into Capella. Oh, yes, there by Harden. Nice. Oh. Oop. Nice crossover. Harden will take it inside. He is an illusionist. Wow, is he something. Harden and Thompson to begin it. Harden has been terrific. Five of seven. Tucker three. Good. He's been spectacular from that corner three. That's his third made from the corner. Harden, look away. Tucker yeah. with a sledgehammer. It's Harden on top, cross the defense of Looney. Dribble, dribble. Harden know it to this quarter, a floater, good! Mm -hmm. Harden for the last couple games, floating inside the paint, five of nine. There's a turnover right Bad there for Golden State. Well. You better One believe four. it. In the corner, great steal by Tucker, who's been magnificent tonight. Everywhere. 13 points and nine rebounds and a steal. Here comes Harden, step back three, Green defends. And James Harden knocks down another three. Thompson, defended by Gordon, shot clock at five, changes direction, finds McKinney, knocked away by Harden and picked up by Shumpert. Harden has got nine points in the quarter. They have a chance here to take a lead. Doubled on top, makes a move to the rack, and he gets the two, and the Rockets have come back from 20 down to take a lead. Gordon to miss three, Iguodala the other way, into the back, pedaling Harden loose inside. James has got the rebound. Lead for Gordon into Thompson, cruising in for two. And the Rockets back on top. Warriors by one, surgically working in, in south. Inside is Harden, who works into Iguodala, and again comes up with a foul on the Golden State defense with his uncanny move. Thompson is on Harden. Shot clock at one. Harden's got a fire on the fly and got the floater to fold. Under five to go in the fourth. Gordon spinning free. Oh, Another wow. one! Oh. I mean, we had a great shot of that. There wasn't a lot of room for him to get that up, Kevin. Two-point game. Thompson on the move. Green tees up a three. This has gotten him going. Looks down that lock is big. Iguodala defends. Cross court Gordon. The pump drives into a thicket in the corner. Tucker three. Nope. Stepped out of bounds. Wow. Curry two. Rebound Looney. Thompson three. Green, the switch, and a foul. Oh, Curry. Triples in. Green playing with five fouls. He's played 39 minutes. Thompson has played 42. Curry has played 42. Iguodala struck inside and got the two. Most dangerous man. The one taking it out of bounds. Nice what? back cut there by Andre. Nice play by Curry to find it. Paul on the wing. Looney defends. Up high for Capella. Rockets down by six. Here comes Gordon. Lost the ball. Thompson's defense there. Suffocating. It's Capella on top. Paul with a drive inside. Looney swats it away. Shot clock at nine. Paul to inbound. And they look for Gordon, who is shoved from behind. Ten points in this fourth quarter. Brings it to within four for the Rockets. 
Will backpedal on defense. It's Curry with Gordon on him crossing midcourt. Approaching a minute to play in regulation. Now there's three players you can help off on the floor here. Switch and Tucker's on him. Curry, five to fire, and a floater on the floor. Curry's got the ball and fouled on the play by Tucker. Six-point game. Harden. Switch. Screen. Harden making the move by Curry, finding Capella. Tucker is all over Thompson. Iguodala off balance, free fouled. Harden facing the defense of Iguodala gets the screen from Capella, drives on Looney and takes it to the hole. Three point game, 18.6. Thompson with it. Lickety split. He goes up the middle. Gonna foul him quickly. Iguodala. To Thompson, hemmed in, stapled in, threw the ball away, loose and picked up by Looney into Thompson. The hesitation in the two. Paul, Tucker, Paul, three over Curry. Rebound is long, game is over. The Warriors go up three games to two. State Warriors facing off against the Houston Rockets as we welcome you to the NBA Conference Semifinals on ESPN. Presented by Wells Fargo. So much drama through the first five games of this series between these two rivals. And the Rocket fans will pack the place tonight, hoping that their team season does not come to an end. Hoping they can force a game seven. Harden gets past Thompson. The floater is up and good. First field goal for James Harden. A mistake by Clay Thompson shielding James Harden, allowing him to get a direct line drive. Calling a 23 year old over reliable. That curve feels that way about him as Harden shot misses Draymond Green. Another rebound. Lost it. Picked up Tucker. Harden layup. Backs it home. Come on, Chumper. Gets it over to Harden. Harden gets behind the line. Hits a three. His first three pointer. He's got 11 points already, though, here in the first quarter. Harden. That's good. A three pointer. Now the Rockets have shot 52% of their field goal attempts are from three. And fires a three. Can't hit. There's not a lot of guys who can play defense like that in this league. For a sustained period of time, too. That was that was a tough possession. Tucker, print three. And that defense was awful. And Harden answers right back with his third three-pointer. Each with 19 points here in the opening half of game six. Cook can handle a pass. Green fakes a pass, fires a three. Hey, Mike. Well, remember, Mike D'Antoni told us before the game that without Kevin Durant, they were going to make sure that they could not play and Steph Curry go off. He said, we just can't fall asleep against him. I asked him at halftime. He said, well, we're one for two on that. And right now, this series, it's the worst shooting playoff series of his career. He has really struggled shooting the ball as Gordon knocks down that three. Now, he basically won game five for them with that fourth quarter performance after Durant went Step out. Step back three. Horton, Horton all the way to the rim and banks it home. James Harden now with 25. Harden makes his move, floats it up and in. Harden step back, puts it in. James Harden drills the three-pointer. Up top to Thompson, Thompson for three. In and out. And Capella the rebound as we approach a minute remaining. James Harden on the drive, trying to draw some contact, banks it home. Curry had 12 points in the fourth quarter of game five. 17 points in the fourth quarter of game six. This crowd absolutely stunned. Harden, three-pointer. That goes. James Harden from downtown, but it's still a five-point game. Tucker fires up the three-pointer. That goes down. And it's a four-point game. Curry fouled with 12.3 remaining. Rockets just trying to extend it. And Curry quickly fouled by Harden. Six-tenths of a second go off the floor. 
Curry, 33 points in the second half. And that'll do it. The Golden State Warriors advance to their fifth consecutive Western Conference Final. For the second straight year, they eliminate the Rockets here in Houston as they take this series in six games and they win game six without Kevin Durant.